Here we are, welcome back, Nova South, oh, never mind. This is William & Mary University versus St. Clair College Green. So it should be a good one here today. Here we are in game, what are we thinking of this already? Well, right off the bat, I see St. Clair coming out with a lot of pressure. Nitrix actually going to be the third man uh, for the green team. Quint was last weekend, Nitrix is this weekend. So we'll see how that works out for the Saints. Seems like Vesh is going to try to get the 50, just slightly beat out, and Nitrix is already in the air. He's going to be able to hit it down. Dolphin going to be able to read that, though, and Truth is going to set up for what should be a solo play. Doesn't look like he has it all the way right out, though. Nitrix is going to be able to cut that off, setting up some simple pressure, going for the flick, but saved up by Dolphin. And it seems like right now both teams putting on a little bit of pressure, but dealing with it equally as well. Yeah, both teams playing very, very well, feeling out each other's gameplay styles here, trying to find a crack in their defense. And just like that, Vesh finds a goal to start this game off strong. Look at them, very, very happy with what they've done indeed. Absolutely. Yeah, and Vesh uh, last weekend was looking so, so, so good. He was finding almost every double. He was playing practically tennis off the opponent's back wall. <laughs> so, uh... Honestly, I hope we see more of that from him this weekend as Spoots taking up the, the, uh, the sidewall. Can he get to the ceiling? No, not quite. And he's going to get beat out. Nitrix and Vesh there to help on defense. Vesh, he needs to find a 50 right now. He has the flip reset. Elects not to use it. Flicks over the defender. Nitrix to the sidewall. He needs to find someone in the middle. It looks like it's going to try to be Spoots. Can he find him? Spoots electing to actually fake that challenge as he thinks that Dolphin has it saved out. Not wanting to waste boost. Wanting to make sure that he stays smart. Rotates. And uh, right now, I think that's going to be the key for St. Clair against some of these Ooh. other teams as Vesh finding the target once again. He shot lights out last weekend and it seems like he's just tearing that right over to this weekend as Vesh finds another one top corner. Avery, what do you think about what we're seeing so far as we get into the 333 mark? I mean, it's 0-2 right now. Saints Green had a little bit of a switch with their roster. They're playing with Nitrix instead of Quint this time. So I think it's going to be really interesting to see how they play with him. I know that Nitrix is a very talented player and and I'm just excited to see how they all work together. I think it'll be good. I completely agree with you. I think that's a big question mark right now is how is Nitrix going to perform? And it seems like right so far, I think he's doing quite well. I've seen him getting a couple of demos and he's really putting the pressure on, looking kind of like a backline enforcer right now for the Saints as he goes up. He has 30 boots. He needs to try to force a 50 and he does. He's going to have the sidewall, one boost. He's gonna leave it for Vesh. Can Vesh find the center? He can. Nitrix with the quick shot, saved out by Legacy. And it seems like right now the Saints, they were just trying to get a little bit warmed up so far, but it seems like right now they don't have to play that much defense. The pressure they're putting on these uh, William & Mary University right now is looking really good so far. And if they can just keep it up and keep the rotation steady, avoiding bumps and demos, I think this should be a pretty clean game for the Saints. Yeah, St. Clair playing very, very clean, being unrelenting in their pressure and not letting up just like that. Spoo is gearing up for another goal, but William & Mary ready to take that defense. Lock it, but just like that, Nitrix finds a way in and scores the goal for the team, and that is a 3-0 lead for them already so quickly into the game here. Yeah, Spoots starting the playoff from the back line. He's going to have that air dribble and elects to use the flip reset, sending it high. Vesh is going to be able to find that center down, and Nitrix there for the cleanup. Like I said, one, two, three play style coming out right now, and as that third man goes up, the other one rotates back. So it's looking really good, really smooth rotations from the Saints. Really good shot out actually by Dolphin, but a better save by Spoods as he's ready and the whole team was actually ready. It seems like their boost number is looking pretty good right now to set up for the clear. Dolphin, you're going to have to scramble back, but he makes the clear happen. Truth, what can you find right now? Are you going to be able to find this challenge? He does, and it's going to be to the back corner. Legacy, missing the challenge. Spoods now off the sidewall. He has no boost though. He's just going to dump it into the end of uh, William and Mary. And uh, now it just seems like St. Clair, just focus on defense a little more. Let's try to get a sidewall clear. It's going to happen. Boots off the ceiling. He has the flip off the ceiling. Can he use it? He does. Does he have the ceiling double? No. It seems like a little bit of a weird double commit there from Vesh and Spoots, but Nitrix able to dump the ball back into the back end. And as long as he can keep that pressure up and not get sidetracked and sidelined, getting beat to the ball, they seem to be a little bit faster right now than William and Mary, and I think that's really carrying them so far on the offense. Definitely, they are being much more fast. But Truth going fast down the lane, gearing up a goal, but Spoots ready to block it there. But now it's near the Saints net. They need to get it down lane here, or else it's going to be a rough time. Truth trying to keep it on to the Saints side here. But Vesh carrying it all the way into the goal, and he almost gets it, but Dolphin there with a the massive save, and there they are bouncing it back and forth. Here they are 
One minute remaining left on the clock. Avery, what are you thinking? I'm thinking it's looking really good for this oh, game right now. <laughs> Vesh with the hat trick. It's 0-4 with around a minute left. It's not too, like, it's, it's not really <laughs> lost. But, I mean, I... William and Mary kind of got to score, like, right now. Like, it has to happen right now. Otherwise, it's kind of seeping, seeming like the first game is a little bit over. I mean, Saints are playing really, really well this first time. Like we said, both teams are feeling really, really good. And you can just tell with the way the Saints are playing, they're super, super confident, and they know that they're very able to absolutely just 4-0 right now, I guess. Definitely. Nitrix carrying it down lane again. They want to get a 5-0 lead. They are not letting up the aggression here. 30 seconds left on the clock. William and Mary need to make something work here. Spoots going for the wide shot and he lands it from across the field. What an air carry. Wow, the Saints are on fire today in this first game. It's not looking great for William and Mary, but it's looking very, very good for St. Clair College. And as teams start to get more desperate, the clock is not on your side. You have to send the full house. You have to commit. Obviously, if we see those side boosts and mid boosts in the pads, if they all get stolen and you don't have anything left to you know, get back on defense, it only takes a man like Spoods to then take it up the rest of the field. Simple air dribble. Can't be much better than that. Spoods with a good save right there just to clear out the shot and alleviate some of that pressure. Truth trying to find Dolphin right now. Can he find the bump? He can, Ooh. but oh my oh gosh. God. Spoods with an amazing save just pinching it off the side of the of the coal. With the bump too. He was bumped there and he's still just... <laughs> that, for... that was absolutely insane. That's amazing just recovery. Like, They're wow. going for number six. Aww. Oh my gosh. There they are. What a good first game, guys. I mean, not even letting them score once. That incredible save from Spoods. I mean, it's looking really, really good for them. I don't mean to be a jinx, but Matthias said 2-0, and maybe we should have agreed, question mark? I don't know. I like to be a realist here, you know. I don't want <laughs> I like to be try to be impartial, you know. I'm a Saints fan, but, you know, got to come on the cast with – Try to be a little bit neutral, but you can't ignore the facts that our Saints are cracked today. They are scoring a 5-0 lead, 5-0. That is crazy to start this day off right. Yeah, and I think, honestly, what's looking really good for the Saints right now, Vesh obviously shooting lights out. Spoods is kind of looking like a defensive mastermind right now on the back wall. But I want to give a little bit of a hats off to Nitrix right now, stepping into this role. He's finding demos, he's finding bombs, but more importantly, he's alleviating pressure by dumping pressure into WM University's end. And right now, that is helping Vesh a whole lot. Really easy for him to find those shots, as he doesn't have to waste any boost getting down the field if Nitrix can be the one to put the ball where it needs to be. As we get into game two right now, Dolphin off the sidewalk, he finds the air dribble, he has the flip reset, but he's going to use the flip a little too early for my liking personally. I think he should have definitely waited just a little more. Vesh off the off the sidewalk, going to find the musty, can he find Nitrix? No, just off, yeah, just shot just a little bit offline there, but it's okay, we got lots of time, 4.30 left to go, oh, and it's wow. going to end up William and Mary being able to slot one in. It's going to come off the pass from Dolphin. He's going to be looking for his man in truth. A little bit of 1-2-1 one, one play. Spoods, really tough save coming out there. He didn't really know where Truth was going to be able to shoot that. It's just when you leave a man back there, it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. Usually doesn't go in the way of the goalkeeper. Absolutely. And I mean, that was a rocket from Truth as well. I mean, it doesn't matter how fast you are. You just can't make it. Like, 100 kilometers, that's... You can't even react in time to that. And I mean, Spoods did try, and he was very close, but he just didn't get there. 1-0. Four minutes, 10 seconds on the clock. It's not looking too bad for William and Mary, but there is a lot of time for St. Clair to kind of get back what they need and pick up a goal and decide what they want to do from there. Yeah, William and Mary starting this off much, much better, carrying the momentum one goal after another. This is looking like a reverse situation of the last game here. Am so go to hats off to William and Mary for finding it in them to just collect their thoughts. You know, that was a re that wasn't a good loss, but learning from the mistakes and they are cooking. And I got to say right now, like I said before, this is why I said 2-1. Anything in Rocket League can happen. This is an eSport where, you know, you think you have an opponent in the bag and they come right back. And right now it seems like Truth and Dolphin are the two guys right now who are doing this for W&M. Truth finding these shots right off of Dolphin's amazing passes, and it seems like the third man Legacy doing a good job of keeping the defense on, able to set up his two guys for those plays downfield. Right now, from St. Clair, 
You gotta stay calm, okay? You gotta work on your offense. You know what can work here as Spoots trying to find the air dribble bump. Saved out by Dolphin, though, as he doesn't get the bump quite to go as Spoots. Truth, giving it to the sidewall. He has the demo on Nitrix. Spoots is gonna have to try to make a play off the ceiling. He finds the first look. Can he find the 50? Not quite as Dolphin saves it out. It's going to be Truth looking for a bump on someone right now. It seems like he was trying to bump Vesh. And Dolphin, now off the sidewall, what can he find? Not very much. St. Clair was looking a little bit rusty in defense in the first couple of minutes, but it seems like they've sort of found their footing right now. I don't want to cast or curse it, but they <laughs> definitely look a whole lot better than they were coming into the game opening up. Ooh, yeah, like that air save there. But it's going to be... It looks like William Air have an answer for every single thing St. Clair is doing, though. They are playing a lot better, but with the points lead, William Mary can just stall this out if they need to. But look, just as I say that, the Saints are mounting an offense against them. But then they hit it right back. This is a very back and forth game here. It's not looking great for the Saints. They're running out of time here. They need to start getting goals if they want to win. Yeah, it's a little bit of ping pong right now. I mean, two and a half minutes, Saints can score. I think that William and Mary have basically decided that they have to play more aggressively. We saw the demos, we see the bumps coming out. More demos again from Spoods to make the space there for Nitrix, but it's just not gonna go in. Spoods taking out two defenders is massive for the team. It's just so unfortunate that it just didn't make it into the net. But plays like that are exactly what the Saints oh. need right now. Dolphin with the, I think, ground pinch. That was very good mechanically. I wish I could do that. Wow, just wow. amazing. Gets it right past all three defenders there. It's just too fast. They just couldn't react in time. W and M are looking locked right now, and especially Dolphin linking up his teammate Truth for the first two goals, and then finding off the sidewall, getting a flip off the ceiling, and finding the ground pinch is absolutely unbelievable. Great shot out by him. And with a minute 54, the Saints really have to make some adjustments right now if they want to come back into this game. And adjustments they are looking to make as Nitrix setting up Spoots, but it's going to be saved out by guess who? Dolphin. It seems like he's there for W and M every single time. That's got to be like his third save at least in this game so far. Are, and it seems like right now they are finding good solutions to deal with the Saints pressure. Legacy, even finding the demo in the backfield. Truth, can he use the flip off the sidewall to set the teammate? He can, but it's not quite going to get caught out as uh, Spoods now taking it off the side. Can he find Vesh? He can shot bouncer, but it's off the crossbar. Nitrix, can you finish off the double? No, you cannot. Just a little bit of, honestly, just, I don't know. I feel like the Saints are looking a little uneasy right now. But it's all good. Right now, if I'm the Saints, you can't let some oh, of a game like boy. this get to your head. It's hard just not calm to, calm down. <laughs> I know it's hard not to, but you just got to calm down. Don't let the game get to your head. Come back. You are on match point, obviously. And if W and M take this, and of course, it's going to go 1-1. Obviously, next game wins. But right now for St. Clair, I wouldn't worry about this game. It's already over, said, and done if I'm the Saints. Don't let your mental get to you. Reposition, start talking, calming with your teammates, finding out little gaps that you can find in this offense that they're setting up right now, and find some momentum. Maybe wow. And that's back. exactly what they're going to do right there. Spoods with the sick air dribble, going into the flip reset, using it perfectly, bar down, and it doesn't get much better than that. Good momentum heading into game three, hopefully. That, that was well, a beautiful shot, wow. Maybe oh they goodness. can close this out. It's not over till it's over. Three goals, one minute. Maybe they can do this here. It would be an amazing game to see it. Matthias really wants the 2-0 in this series. He I really want the 2-0. Right. I called it out. I want them to prove me right. <laughs> and, and maybe they... it's my fault that they picked up four <laughs> goals because I, I did say, oh. oh, maybe maybe Matthias was right. But William and Mary said, uh, no, we're going to score four times now. We were just kidding last game. Yeah, William wow. and Mary proving me wrong time and time again. They are playing amazingly. They've learned a lot in between these two games. Look at that shot. It's perfectly in there. Saints just don't seem to have an answer to a lot of these goals. They don't have someone in the net ready to defend it. And I will say, uh, William and Mary, they are looking way more mechanical than they were last game as Legacy's going to find the double. And it seems like all they needed was just one game to kind of warm up, you know, get the ring rust off. And now they're fully locked and loaded. Brutalizing the Saints as they have a 6-1 lead right now. And honestly, again, you're the Saints, like I said before, you just can't let it get to you. You just got to go into game three. You know you're at least not, you know, having to win two in a row, as William & Mary will have to pull out here. 
And uh, I think with that, you just gotta, you know, just build the confidence. And you just gotta trust in yourselves that you will be able to pull up this game three. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of people say, just go next. Just take a breath. This game doesn't really, you know, it's already done. Don't let it get to you. Just nice deep breath for the team and figure out what you can do to make it better. Besh is just going to go. get one more with zero seconds on the clock. It's, good it's for not going to get them the game, but it is very good for the mental, absolutely. And maybe that can kind of transfer it to the next game, I guess. I mean, this next game is it for the series. It's 1-1, and I guess we're just going to see which team comes out on top. Now, I feel like it does need to be said, though. Don't get me wrong. All credit to W&M right now. They have St. Clair up against the ropes. They got to see a reaction out of St. Clair. They got to see if, how they're going to bounce back. But if I'm William and Mary right now, whatever I was doing before, it seems like Dolphin was kind of the plug man for truth. Set that up and keep running with it. If the Saints cannot deal with it, you need to keep doing it. This is a team that nobody wants to play around with. And so if you're William and Mary, you take this serious. Obviously, the Saints will as well. They're both teams facing lower brackets, obviously. But right now, it's just going to be a battle of who can kind of adapt more. And I think, as for the Saints, clean up a little bit on defense. Might be looking pretty good. Absolutely. I mean, I completely agree. Game three is a little, I guess, kind of scary for teams, especially when it's just a best of three. Um, but I think it's fun, honestly. I love when series go to this. It just it just makes me all giddy. I, I just, I love it. It makes it so much more exciting. The stakes are higher. I mean, probably not for the teams. It's a little stressful. But as a caster, I absolutely love it because it's just more Rocket League. It's a really good shot coming out there from Legacy. Assist from Truth. And man, they have St. Clair on the ropes. All credit to William & Mary. They look amazing right now. As Truth's going to find the pass down to Legacy. And Legacy just finding the sort of almost pinch shot to put it up into the top right. Yeah, they're doing an amazing job just carrying the momentum from the last game into this one. Truth, just ready for it, finding those early game goals and leading his team to victory here. St. Clair trying to mount a good offense. They almost get a goal, but Dolphins ready. They just have such, like, I feel like St. Clair and St. Mar Mary, bleh, William and Mary's offenses are evenly matched, but their defenses are unmatched on the side of William and Mary. They just have an answer for every goal that they take every shot that they take. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I mean, St. Clair have been called a bit of a wall when it comes to defense, but they just don't seem to have that right now. Like maybe they're not as comfortable because Nitrix, you know, they haven't played with him as much. Um, Nitrix is playing very, very well though in this series. I mean, Spoo's trying to get the shot there. The defense for William and Mary is just it's so beautiful. Good. It's It's amazing. Nobody, is really doubling, nobody's tripling. Vesh with a really, really good demo, and Spoots there is gonna go. get the goal off of that. This is exactly what the Saints needed. Just a beautiful, beautiful play. Those demos are so important to make room for the offense, and Spoots just with a beautiful shot on that. And I think the most important thing to realize here is, just to realize how good Spoots is on that double, he's gonna get bumped, and he has to recover in order to put this ball in. And you know, as cell players, man, Feels like they can get almost anything to work out in their favor. Spoods finding the recovery, finding that double. St. Clair tying it up. Three minutes left on the clock. What can they find here? Vesh on the sidewalk. Can he find a 50? Not quite. As Truth is going to be able to carry it. 12 boost. He's going to find the power shot. Nitrix forcing a save out of him. Spoods on the sidewalk. He's going to get beat by Legacy. Or no, sorry. That was Vesh, actually. But Spoods is actually going to be the one to help Vesh out and be make sure that he's not going to be able to get by. A little bit of a side wave dash there to try to kick the ball into Nitrix, but Nitrix standing strong right now as he challenges Legacy on the sidewall again. It seems like Dolphin, a lot of boost in the tank. We know he's dangerous. Picking up that 100 off the back wall. He's going to like to use his flip. He now has to get a flipper set if he wants it again. He finds it. Can he get the 50? Not quite, as Vesh is going to be able to save it out. A little bit of team play off the sidewall from Spoods and Vesh being able to clear that ball. Vesh, you need to find a play here with 36 boost. You have the arrow right. You have the flip. The defender, though, able to react, and it's no, no other than Dolphin, of course. It's been him for the entire series. I feel like Dolphin's just been this stalwart defense-type backline defender, but he also is getting really involved in the passing game up front, a really critical key player for w and mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's very important, and it kind of just, sometimes it just seems like the Saints are just getting knocked around the field by the William & Mary roster. Everybody's just bumping because you kind of just 
begin to realize like, okay, we just need space, let's hit them. And it works. And it's very frustrating when you're the team that is constantly getting bumped because you know the potential that you have, but you just can't do it. Spooge with a really good air control, gonna get it past one defender, but just runs out of boost. Nitrix is up for it, tries to get the flip reset and he does almost off the wall, but it's just right back to the orange end. One, one, a minute, 40 seconds on the clock. This can go either way. And I think right now, the Saints boost management is going to be key here as they set up these next couple of defenses. With a minute 30 left, it is any man's game. And I think right now, this Dolphin's going to go for the shot. It's going to be saved up by Vesh, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. There are going to be a couple shots forced out. Truth with the boost steal, actually, in the bottom. That's going to be huge for William and Mary as they come out from the side. But it seems like a little bit of a mistouch. Vesh, the sidewall, he's going to leave it for Legacy. Legacy on zero boost, though. And now, all of a sudden, William and Mary looking pretty pretty low on the boost numbers comparatively. That's going to be a pre... I thought it was going to be a pretty good shot, but it's actually forced wide out right now. Vesh not having to really pull his number to get the save. Spoods off the sidewall. Can he alleviate some pressure? He can. Vesh trying to find Spoods, but Spoods is going to be at zero boost still from the previous air dribble. Nitrix off the sidewall. He needs to try to find a man in Vesh, but he's not going to be able to. Dolphin cutting it out. He's off the ceiling. Can he make a play here? Spoods with an amazing save. He has to do it right now. He has to be the defender for the Saints. He needs to keep their top bracket tournament life alive right now. Spoods with the slight clear. Vesh, can he beat his man? Not quite. It feels like no matter what, Legacy is really finding the pockets that the Saints can't right now. And they are going, they're setting up some amazing offense. And if I'm the Saints right now, slightly worried. Demo goes out from Truth. It seems like that's going to be a roller. Oh, wow. But Vesh with the amazing help on Nitrix with the save. And they keep going. Yeah, this is getting very down to the wire here. It looks like it's going to be an overtime scenario. It's next goal wins if... They don't find something soon. It's looking very, very dangerous. Vesh just barely misses the goal. But now William Mary all mounted for a defense. It's going to be probably one more shot on the goal. And then we're going to go into overtime. Saints not letting up the pressure. And here we are in overtime. Two to two or one to one. Game three. It's a very dicey scenario. Who thought and both we would teams, be here? And both teams, sorry, Avery. Both teams no, fighting for their uh, top bracket lives right now. Any goal takes it, obviously. Nitrix, he needs to find some help in the back line. Spoods with an incredible save. It feels like he's been there for the Saints all this series. Spoods then forcing a 50. It's not going to go in the way of him, though. Nitrix, you need to make a play, and that's a big bang downfield. But Truth, being able to get found by Dolphin, where's the save coming out from? It's Spoods again. It seems like he's just in the perfect position right now for all of these. And right now, St. Clair, what can they do? They're building an offense. Use the wave dash, Spoods. Let's get a flick going. Can you find the double? Can you find the dunk? Not quite. Legacy with a huge save right now, keeping William & Mary in this tournament as we hit the 45-second mark. St. Clair's offense going up. And it seems like Spoods, can he beat his man? Not quite. Legacy forcing the weird shot out of Spoods. Not able to find as clean of a shot as he wants. Demo's downfield. It's a breakaway. 50 coming out there, but Vesh able to save it. Demo again coming out in the field. Vesh needs to turn around and find the clear. Leaving it for Spoods. Can Spoods find the redirect? He can. Is this it? Oh, the double no. forced out by Truth. Spoods with the demo, though. This is going back and forth, and the pressure is building. The pressure is building indeed. It could be anybody's game here. Spoods knocks it towards the net. And then Vesh manages to slam it in, and that is a win for the Saints, taking it all home here today and advancing further into this tournament. And it seems like this was going on forever. William and Mary <laughs> really had them up against the ropes there for pretty much the entire overtime. And it seems like Spoods and Vesh being able to link up just to make sure they get by. And uh, it seems like, you know, Spoods heading up top. Seems like they really didn't have a lot of boost on the side of William and Mary. Probably forced out from a couple demos of Nitrix, which we saw a little bit earlier, about five seconds before that. And you know, you get on the other side, 33 boost, your back boost is taken. What can you do? You can't find a high challenge. Vesh can, though, as he's the shooter, and he finds one. Really, really, really intense gameplay there on the side of the Saints. But uh, they get it done, nevertheless. Yeah, that was fun. I mean, it was kind of scary, though, because Absolutely. William and Mary were playing very very aggressively like they were triple committing on the Saints end and it was very it kind of looked a little done for the Saints like the aggression that they had was just amazing but that play from Spoods and Vesh just absolutely saved saved the game saved the series for them it was amazing yeah that was an amazing game you guys were right it was 2-1 a very well fought game I thought it was going to be 2-0 after that first game from the Saints they were overwhelming in their offense a 5-0 lead that was crazy but uh, we're going to be... Any other thoughts, guys, before I close it out? 
yeah, let's just flip to the bracket real quick. Let's see what we're going up against next. Uh, as we see, seems like we're going to be going up against Concord University as they get their 2-1 victory over Alvernia Gold. Uh, seems like right now, <gasps> USC able to get their victory over Penn State Blue. Uh, let's go to the top of the bracket real quick. Let's see how the Nichols College series is going. They 2-0 Michigan State University. I didn't see it really going any other way. Nichols College is such a good school. They faced our gold team, NECC uh, Legends, week one, and they took the gold team to the distance. The gold team did prevail, but nevertheless, take them to the distance. We know what Nichols College is capable of, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a very tough run to qualify if we have to go through them. Absolutely, I agree. I mean, who do you think is the team to beat in this bracket today? Nichols College is definitely the team to beat. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I mean, as we just talked about, they're very, very talented. And I mean, any game that they play is just super, super exciting to watch, just to see the skill that they bring out. It's always very fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how our next opponents fare. You know, I wasn't expecting much from Willie and Mary. I'm going to be honest. I didn't know too much about them, but they gave us a really good run for our money there. Gave us a great game. So you never know. Maybe our next game will be an amazing game as well. But don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with our next game very, very soon. We'll see you right here in a bit.
And welcome back, Saints fans, as we get into our series versus Concord University. Not much known about these guys. What are we saying for predictions? I think we're gonna. it's going to be 2-1. I'll give it the 2-1 now. No 2-0 this a little time. A little bit of confidence. And there is a demo right off the bat from Concord. They are putting up the pressure to start this game off right. And I got to say, right now, Pancake looking pretty good on the side of Concord, defensively already being tested, and so is Spoods, though, on the other side. E.T., what can he find? He's going to like to take the touch and find a demo onto Spoods. Helix on the wall. He can't really find anything to go, though. He's going to rotate back out. Pancake looking for a guy in the center. It's going to be E.T. Cleared out, though. Spoods, you need to try to find a carry here, or Pancake's going to dish it back into the center, and he is. Flippery, uh, not flippery set, sorry. <laughs> Using the flip off the sidewall. And he's actually going to bump Helix into the ball, trying to find a little bit of a pool shot almost. But uh, right now, I think both teams looking pretty clean as we uh, start the first minute off. Both teams playing very clean. Pancake looking for a goal here. He's setting it up for his team, but Spoots ready to defend it right here. Sending it right back down lane. But Helix ready to gear up for another attack here. Just back and forth playing a little bit of ping pong here, but Saints gearing up for an attack here. But there's a demo from Vesh. The net is a little bit more open now, but Concord ready to send it all the way back downfield. Wow. Great clear by Spoods there as well, right into the corner. I want to dive into that 2 1 you talked about. Why Why no 2 0? I think it's so fun when one of us guesses a 2 0. Does anybody want to guess a 2 0, or do I have to be the one? Uh, you know, I'll be I'll be the fun one today. I'll say, I'll say they take 2-0. I think the Saints are coming off of a little bit of a high as the series that they just went through. So, you know, we'll see how they look. And, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, you know what? Why not? 2-0 on the side of me. You'll take the 2-1 Aves as uh, we get into it right now. And same with you, Matt. I'm we'll switching to 2-0. I'm right switching to 2-0. What? You're, you're switching to the 2-0, okay. Matt. Yep. Yep. So, me I and believe. Matt both on 2-0. We thought we converted him to a 2-1, but <laughs> he is... He is very, very stuck to his roots. There we and are. Very well stuck to his roots. He should be. <laughs> if the Saints are going to be pulling out plays like that, I want to take a look at this. Spoons with the 50. He's going to find it off the side while using the musket to get the original height. Vesh with a sick redirect. Pancake not going to be able to get to the save in time as that ball had so much power on it. Saints looking good. Taking the 1 0 through three minutes of game time. Well, I mean, now I kind of want to say 2 0. <laughs> now you guys are like, I. I was used to two of us being 2-1, but I, I guess just because both of you guys are saying 2-0, I'll still say 2-1, I'll be the black sheep, I guess. Because, I mean, Concord, they're looking pretty good so far. Only down one with two and a half minutes left. Vesh is just absolutely tearing through these defenders right now. Keeping it on the orange end. Vesh trying to clear it. He's going to pass to Spoods with a big, big clear over to the blue end. And right now, uh, Concord looking a little low on boost there as ET has absolutely nothing. Vesh with the drop down pass to Nitrix, but it's not going to be found out. Helix, he has boost. He's going to find the flip, but he can't use it right now as Vesh clears up the reset. Spoots, deep cross downfield. He's going to try to play it off the corner, but ET's there to meet him. A little bit of an awkward touch off the ceiling, but ET recovers well. But Spoots is actually going to fake out the 50. ET thought he was going for a 50. That's not the case. Spoots with the dunk on Pancake. And actually, ET and Pancake then able to team pinch it out of their own net. Really good team play there on the side of Concord. Hopefully no overcommits from the side of uh, them though, as uh, you know, those team pinches, while they are good for distance, they do waste a lot of boost, and they do also put your team in a little bit of an odd position if, if the other team can just send it right back in, obviously. The positioning, not too good as they are both in the same area getting in front of each other. But it's not gonna happen. This time it was saved out, really good play by them. And I gotta say Concord looking really good defensively and that's what I was getting to. They're looking really good defensively right now against the Saints uh, after letting in that first one. <clears throat> Definitely. But they are not letting up the offense here but the Saints just have better answer for defense here. Vesh able to knock it out of the net there, send it downfield to Boots, gearing up for another goal but there's Helix ready to defend it. Nitrix keeping up the pressure, bouncing it off the wall. Vesh going for the goal but just gets blocked by Pancake there. You're right, Concord has an amazing defense here. It's hard to get past it, but they do have that one goal lead, and if they can just stall it out here, it's looking like a win for them. But they are not just going for a one goal lead here. They want to make it a two goal lead with all these shots on the goal here. They almost oh get it God. in. Wow. Save. Yeah, great save by ET indeed. Vesh going to knock it right back though. 
A little bit of an awkward play there from Vesh as he's trying to get to the corner. I must preface this as demos come out on the field. St. Clair is looking really good right now, and the reason why they are able to get so much pressure is because I have to highlight the fact that they have been getting boost steals in the backfield a lot. And those boost steals leaving the defense off of a demo with only 33 to use, you don't have any boost, you're going to be put in an awkward position. Saints doing really good at that uh, right now. And it's also burning a lot of clock time, as you see here. You know, it feels like the ball's kind of just stayed in the blue half, and at the same time, that timer ticking down slowly as we get to the final 10 seconds to go. Spoods off the sidewall. What can he find? Not much. He looks able to clear it out. Vesh, he finds the redirect. He needs to find a shooter now, and it actually is just going to be him. He has the fake. He has the wave dash, but it's not going to beat the man. However, this ball cannot touch the ground, or else St. Clair take this game. If you're Concord, they're going to oh. get the quick shot out, <laughs> but it seems that it was a little too low regardless, and even if there was no defender there, it was going to get grounded anyway. Absolutely. I mean, a little too low, but also a little too close because, Absolutely. I mean, Saints having that one goal was really, really good. But after that, they... Hey, Bash. <laughs> hi, Bash. <laughs> He's just waving to us saying hi. Um, after that goal, they couldn't get any more. I think Concord really showed how strong their defense is. And I'm really interested to see how this game's going to go because it really seems like they're picking up more and more defensive abilities like as they continue. And one thing has to be said, look, when you can beat the St. Clair Green team, or sorry, when you can allow the St. Clair Green team, I said beat because I'm thinking about the last yep, yep. <laughs> If you can allow the St. Clair Green team to only one goal on their entire game of offense, you know your defense is something special. But right now, that's not the question because you can't let any in right now if you can't find any. And right now, Concord, they have to build upon that offense, and that they will work on as Pancake. And the clear demo on Vesh. ET, can he find a man on the sidewall? He can as the challenge comes out. Vesh with a really good clear, lofting it high for Nitrix. He's going to try to 50 his man, as Nitrix is probably low on boost, and he is with 13 in the tank. But Vesh now has the full pad. He can go for a really good play here. He has the first touch. He has the second touch. He's able to beat ET, but Helix is able to cover on the back line, and St. Clair didn't have a shooter up front. Very unfortunate, too. You just saw Vesh just run out of boost there. I think there was a lot of potential for that to be a very good shot, but it was just at zero, and he just couldn't make that 50. Vesh already, though, with more aggression, plenty of boost in the tank to work with. He almost gets it past three defenders. Helix with a beautiful save there. Spoods going up, fakes the double for Nitrix, but it's just going to be saved again by Helix. This is what we're talking about. The defense from Concord is just so good. We need to figure out, if you're the side of St. Clair, how you can get past it. And what I will say is I can already tell you how they need to get past them, because right now, Concord, what you're noticing is Yes, they're getting these saves, but it's at the cost of the fact that they are lobbing all three of the players in the net right now. If St. Clair can find a demo or a bump, something to open up the field and find Concord, like catch them lacking a little bit on the back line, that is going to be what they need to do to find their offense. Concord, on the other hand, you have St. Clair going for these demo plays and these big, you know, boost steals and everything. If you're able to have a player with some boost and sit in that back line and he makes it through that series, the counter attack is what you have to work on. And that's exactly what they're working on right now is Helix going to force a shot out, but Spoods saving it. Of course, he's been the big man in the backfield for the St. Clair team. E.T. off the ground. What can you find? A little bit of a try for an air dribble, but it gets 50 out. Pancake not letting one go to his back line. He's going to find another demo in Helix. Pancake on the carry still. E.T. he's going to pick up the carry now. However, it's going to be 50 out. The Saints, even with a man down, they are able to not let Concord gain any ground. And as I say that, though, of course, we had to have one. It's infamous. The caster curse. Oh no, as oh, Concord finds it. Pancake, you know, as you kind of set up shots and then they, you know, keep going, you mix in some demo shots, shot after shot, after shot something's going to end up falling. It doesn't matter how good the team is. Absolutely. It's just pressure, you know, pressure leads to diamonds, and, you know, Concord find one right there. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that was a little unfortunate for Spoods as well. He just, like, fell off the wall and tried. He was so oh, close to gosh. saving it. Sadly, not this time. Helix with a beautiful shot and the assist from Pancake as well. Just a great prediction oh. off the wall. Absolutely slotted into that top corner. Just couldn't be saved out. The caster curse is real, guys. It's happening. Yeah, just it's like, here. Just like that, a super even game switched so far into Concord's favor with a 2-0 lead. But the Saints not letting up. They want to even this out. They're going for a goal here. Spoons aiming for a goal. He looks like it's clean, and there we go. Spoons finds it. Both teams getting very aggressive here. 
letting their defenses down and letting these balls fly. EC had to force a save on the previous shot. He's going to hit the back wall and he's actually going to be a little bit awkward there and that's going to bite him in the butt after because Spoods is coming in on the air dribble and you have no boost in an awkward position. You can't get that second save. St. Clair doing a really good job of leveling their shooters. Nightshix with the quick demo, but they still have two minutes. They need to find something. Of course, if you're Concord, all you need to do is delay time or set up more offense. But right now, it seems like St. Clair kind of have them against the ropes. Let's see how Concord deals with the pressure. Let's see what St. Clair can put on them. Pancake looking for the 50. It's going to get saved out by Spoods. ET with the second chance shot. Going to be a little high, but he's looking for a double for a teammate, but the teammate cannot double. They elect to re- group and rotate and that is a really good sign from Concord right now as you don't have to send the full house you are up by a goal with a minute left you just need to wait for St. Clair to make a mistake and capitalize on it however that being said you can also not afford to make mistakes of your own that's trying to go for the bump on ET but it's not going to happen team bump in the backfield that's not good for St. Clair Spoods is going to have to try to burn time get a pretty good job of doing that and he's going to find a clear can he find the 50 he can drop down and it's going to be next to Helix Concord keeping up some good pressure here as we get into one minute left. Absolutely. Concord, time and time again, as we've said, their defense is just a wall. And I mean, Saints have one goal. They have a minute to get one more and at least bring it into overtime. But they really just have to pull it together. Nitrix with a beautiful save on Pancake shot there. It was it looked like it was going in, but Nitrix just came out of nowhere and said no. I'm not letting that go in. Trying to do something for his team, trying to get this goal. 45 seconds on the clock. Saints really, really need to do something here. Play aggressive, get those demos, get it back to the blue end and do what you can, get that shot. With Helix keeping it all the way on the orange end, they don't want to let any Saints have a chance at even winning this, but Vesh finds an opening. He's bringing it downfield, ET. What a fake. Yeah, <laughs> he almost got it, but he did not get it in time. Pancake. Send it back down, and the Saints almost scored a goal, but ET's there to save it, but they're not letting up the aggression here. They need to find a goal. Helix trying to carry it downfield, make sure he secures this win for his team. They're playing very, very defensively. Ten seconds left on the clock. The Saints need to score goals. This is going oh to be the last time, God. and the Saints even it up. Vesh with the goal. What an amazing job. Spoods. Absolutely wonderful. Just that bump was exactly what they needed. A beautiful, beautiful pass to Vesh, and he just makes that space, and Vesh has enough room to just slot it in. 2-2, two, two, six seconds on the clock. Unless somebody scores now, it's going into overtime, and Saints really just need to take this momentum and, and keep it going in this game. And this has been a great game so far, of course. St. Clair finally being able to pick the defense's pocket when it seemed like they couldn't at all throughout that entire game, but they finally make it happen into OT now. ET with the quick clear out and Pancake. What can he get going downfield? You need to try to find a teammate right now, but it's going to get 50 out by Vesh. ET off the play. He's going to be able to send it awkward off the sidewalk. Can he find a shot? Not quite. Spood's going to be able to be the man to it. Vesh, can he find a quick save off the back bar? But, Ooh. oh man, that is so rough. Helix at the right place, right time coming in. Just slightly beats Nitrix to the ball. We see Vesh with a pretty good save. It was actually Spoods who came in and really good attempt by Spoods, but no one else to help. Yep. Concord, they line up well, able to find one. We got a 1-1 one -one series, making us look absolutely ridiculous, <laughs> me and you, Matt, as we said there was going to be two. <laughs> definitely, definitely. But uh, you know what, at the end, like we said, it's Rocket League, anything can happen, and it seems that Avery's 2-1 prediction is uh, falling into place, hopefully. I oh. hope. I mean, I love being right. We know. That's just how I am. I always say I'm right, but, you know, I hope to be right this time. And, I mean, just the aggression from Concord is massive. Like, they're constantly triple committing on their attack, and that's really, really huge because the Saints just can't combat it. They just can't do it. Having to deal with all of that aggression from a team is so, so hard. Spood's just great mechanics that he's been showing throughout this series and the last as well just with beautiful air control beautiful assists he's kind of he's got it all almost with a shot there but it just is a little wide and back to the orange and it goes and here we are in game three concord versus saint Clair college it is a tough one it's been neck and neck back and forth when it's overtime last game this first goal will decide a lot for both teams it seems and you got to be the tempo setter if you're St. Clair right now. Beautiful save out by Nitrix as that ball was pretty much in the net. And uh, right now, I think 
Yeah, you gotta find some pretty good defense right now as Spood's gonna be a little awkward on the goal line. He's kinda waiting, waiting for one of his teammates to make a play. It's not gonna quite happen, but it ends up going the other side. St. Clair need a clear here. This is a lot of pressure coming from their back line and they're getting their boost stolen. Shots are gonna be coming out soon. Spoods able to alleviate that pressure with a demo and then he even gets bumped by ET just to accelerate down the field and he's gonna get a touch. Helix with the musty trying to set up something downfield. Not gonna happen as Vesh cuts it out. Nitrix, he has the flipper set, he can use it, but it's not going to quite go where he exactly wants it to. If he was, if he was Nitrix, yeah, you know, you probably want that to go a little more to the right, try to find a centering pass, it's just not going to fall for him. Spoots with a quick shot, forcing out ET for a save, and uh, Pancake with a smart rotate. You see right now Concord doing a really good job, no matter what, always having one guy back with a lot of boost, able to get rid of that pressure, and then also, really big moments there is they can also get the clear. Clears are massive, offense. absolutely. I mean, having a good defense is such a big part of Rocket League. And with the aggression from Concord, it's it's hard because we know Saints Green is a very good defense. We know how talented they are. But just with so much aggression, it's hard to do something about it. A huge clear by ET, but Nitrix is just going to make the save on it. It's just ping-ponging at this point. It's just orange and blue, orange and blue, which is kind of the point of the game. That's just how it goes. But three minutes left, and no goals are coming out yet. Game three, this can go either way. Yeah, it's a very, very even game here, but it looks like Concord's mounting up for a goal here, but just as I say that, they knock it right back downfield. And uh, someone has left the game. What has happened there? Nitric is, is out. I think we're going to get a tech pause here. Hopefully a tech pause. That was a little bit weird. It seemed like Nitric just kind of DC'd. Maybe he's right back in it. Maybe a little bit of a network error. Yeah, he's right back in it. We're... No need to stop, we're right back in it. Here we are, sending it downfield, and the Saints are not letting up on the aggression here. Really impressive on the Saints on the 2v3, not able to let that fold, and they stand strong. Nitrix, good to have him back out on the field, obviously, having that 3v3, and now we can finally get into some actual Rocket League there. It would have been very unfortunate if Concord or the Saints uh, scored with that little man disadvantage there, as, uh, you know, that's just not... It's just, you know, no one wants to score in that, you know, way. So, anyway, that, that you know, that problem is no longer an issue as Nitrix comes back onto the field. The Saints looking for some quick offense. Helix wanted to clear it out. Spoods on the sidewall. Can you read the ground? Not quite. The defender was able to get there. Vesh leaving it for Nitrix. Nitrix just coming in. What can you do? Air dribble. He gets the beat. He's going to find the corner. Helix, though, wanted to send it back. Going to fake the flip. I like to use it on the ground. He's going to be able to find, try to find a clear, but it's not going to quite go. ET with another clear off the back wall. It seems like Helix was able to get a touch just centering that ball. Spoods, though, using a lot of boost to try to relieve some of this pressure. Dangerous shot out by Pancake, but he doesn't quite find the mark as the St. Clair defender was able to clear it out. Nitrous with a huge demo, setting up Vesh. Vesh with the fake. He's going to try to find the shot. ET forcing the quick save out. Time and time again, ET on this back wall. I mean, he's just a saves machine. He's been finding everything for this defense so far. And I really think, I'm going to be honest here, whoever scores the first goal in this game, it's probably going to be the, you know, they're probably going to take the series because it's just, there's so much momentum and build. The first goal is going to be a moral crusher. I feel like we might see an overtime with 0-0 zero, zero goals with how this game is going. It's been nearly four and a half minutes without any goals and 30 seconds left on the clock. It's not looking like that's going to change with it just going back and forth and back and forth. But just as I say that, the Saints almost find a goal. It seems like every single time they just barely miss it or gets defended by such a great defense from Concord. But uh, it's, it's not looking great. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it must be a little, oh, almost a very good shot for me to even save by Spoods. But I was going to say, it must be so tiring to not have any goals on either side, just working so hard to attack and defend, and just nothing is working out for you. Zero seconds. It's dangerous, as has been said. It's going to be oh, knocked wow. down to the ground, but that was almost a goal from Concord there. That was very, very close. But here we are, game three overtime, 0-0. Zero, zero. Whoever wins this takes the series. And that was so dangerous there as the double came out. Helix just didn't have enough boost to find it, and the other shooters were just short of the mark. Nitrix forcing out a 50 mid-air. Spoods, he's trying, he looks for a bump almost, maybe a pass even. Spoods able to contest him on the shadow defense though, and he's able to get the clear. 
Look out for the bump, though. It's coming in behind you. He gets it, but Vesh able to stand tall. Can you use a wave dash or something to get down the field? Tries to speed flip for the boost. He gets it, but he gets demoed instead. At least that boost didn't go to a Concord attacker, as now they try to move the ball down the field. ET with a quick shot out. Can he find the double? He can, but it's going to be saved out. Quick shot out, and Nitrix keeping the Saints' top bracket life alive as he comes up with a huge save. Vesh, he needs to find some sort of offense down the field or some sort of clear. The Saints are up against the ropes, but Spoods is back. He needs to try to find a huge clear here or just something to alleviate some pressure. He's going to elect for the air dribble. No one's with him. He has a flip reset. He can't try to find the other one. He's going to try to find the 50, but ET with the amazing save. He reads Spoods like a book, and he knows exactly where he's going to put it. Vesh with an amazing double, but again, saved up by Helix. Concord, what are you made of? What is this wall that you put up? What is it made of? This is insane defense on the side. And now Helix, he has the flip, but he can't quite use it. Defense coming out, Spoods with the save. This is absolutely insane. Vesh, he can't have the flip oh, no. on the ceiling. He doesn't have enough boost to get to it. Concord again setting up with the defense, and Helix clears it for what feels like the one billionth time. That's Another very, huge very, shot very to slide to the opening, oh, but again no. a save from ET. What are we thinking about this one, guys? This is a very tight game here. Lots of close goals, and their net is wide open. Concord looking for a shot on the goal here, but they don't manage to see it. And St. Clair managing to contest this ball and send it right back where it came from. But it's back and forth and back and forth. Vesh sending it into the corner. But Helix ready to send it down lane here. It's not looking good. Wow. This is taking Demo. absolutely forever. Oh my goodness. Two minutes. Oh. ET was very good. Ball control <laughs> what a save with from the Spoots. save. What an amazing save. Just so many hero plays coming out from a couple different people on these teams. So massive for their teams. Nobody wants to lose this. Two and a half minutes into overtime, nobody scored at all. So this is so big. The longer the timer oh, no. goes, the more important it is. Oh, you got to be kidding me! <laughs> With a beautiful flip reset and wins the series for his team. Absolutely what the Saints needed. Beautiful placement there, just incredible. Vesh showing absolute Polish power as he takes it <laughs> off the sidewall. He's gonna find the flip off the ceiling and use the flip to read the ball. Absolutely amazing play by Vesh there. The Saints just squeak by again, but I gotta give again a hats off. Concord, oh my God, the defense, absolutely insane. All three players making such huge saves there and clears. I'd be lying to you if I told you this one wasn't a nail biter. It, I was scared. It's just huge. So many, so many plays, like such talent from Concord as well. Like they put up such a good fight against our Saints. I mean, it kind of looked over for our Saints, honestly, with so many good shots. But Spoods with that beautiful save as well, saving them, and then Vesh with that amazing goal. I mean, the Saints are just really showing us how talented they are. Yeah, that was definitely unstoppable force meets a movable object. But the, like you said, that Polish power manages to push that ball into the net, scoring their goal and advancing them further into the series. May we see a little bit of a look at that bracket before we go. And here we see, looks like OSU, looks like they're still playing, right? Well, that could be the truth, or it could just be the fact that we haven't gotten the results Ooh. in quite yet. It seems like Nichols College in Indiana going at it right now. We'll see who the winner of that is, and we're getting very close to that semifinal match. Yeah, I thought we had a long game here. Maybe they didn't report. Maybe it's still going an even longer nail-biter game going for them. But here we are, and there's the loser's bracket there. Hopefully the Saints will keep out of that if they keep playing as well as they have been. Now, it must be said that um, on the other side of the bracket, obviously, you know, of course, I've been talking about Nichols College a lot in the beginning, you know, but right now um, we have another match going on below us, and that's going to decide who we play against. I believe it's OSU Scarlet, and I don't remember the other team. I just saw them very briefly. But I, what I do know is OS. oh, Gamecocks is going to be the next one. And it seems like OSU Scarlet, I've seen, you know, their name around here a little bit. They're a team that I kind of know about just a, just a you know, tad. So I just know that they're a big team. I just know that they're a big name team. So uh, assuming they take that series, of course, you never know, right? But, you know, assuming we meet them in the next round, definitely going to be another uh, really, really uh, Close game. stressful match. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's how I got to put it. A good match, a good match. Yes, you absolutely. always want that stress. You want that tension. And we'll be back for more tight, stressful 
games. Good games right after this quick break. <laughs>
Hello, everybody. Welcome back to CRL Rocket League. We are back here against Ohio State University. Going into the game right away, St. Clair College Green is looking good today. Have a, had a lot of close games here. Nitrix starting off very aggressive, though. So here we are. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just right off the bat, uh, the Saints, yeah, coming off some close wins for sure. And, uh, you know, it's been a very entertaining stream, but you gotta wonder how much longer can the Saints keep this up? Obviously, these close series, you know, it's a lot of play time. You know, it gets to you eventually. Fatigue starts to set in. How are they gonna deal with it? Let's figure it out. Maybe they're just smooth. Maybe they're just better. I have no clue, but we're about to find out right now as demos come out on the field right now. Spoods taking it up the middle. He can't find too much, but he's gonna set it up the sidewall. Still has 40 boost in the tank and try to find a challenge, but he's gonna like to leave it right now as Vesh coming in trying to get the clear right off the rip both teams looking pretty good defensively and uh st Clair looking pretty good honestly i think uh right now the offense is looking you know a little it's only a minute in so obviously i can't make too many critiques but the offense is looking you know pretty good for the most part uh i think their clear game is decent and you know as long as they can just kind of keep their boost numbers watch their boost numbers hopefully they don't get too many pads stolen so uh, oh, you know wow. gonna be okay but that's right yeah, now. Yeah, as you say that. <laughs> yeah. Ohio State that's just, that's just scores me about, a goal. You know, I it keep talking, okay. but um, <laughs> List right now finding the beautiful yeah. shot. As you see, CRL Sprint Contender. Wow, that's are, a logo. a pretty good team. That is a logo <laughs> and a half. Vesh, he's going to be on the kickoff here. Let's see what he can find. Or actually, it's going to be Nitrix as Vesh goes to the backfield. Ohio State looking pretty good offensively out the rip. Um, it seems like they kind of caught St. Clair lacking a little bit in the boost numbers. So we'll see how they respond. Spoods up the middle. What can he find again? He's going to go for a little bit of an air dribble. Can he get the flip? No, but he's going to like to leave it for the dunk. He's just going to be oh, a little wow. wide as Gaines with a big save. What are we thinking about it right now? How are the Saints going to look? And how are they going to get a goal up on this board? I think they just need to keep the aggression up and try and make sure that they don't give any more goals to Ohio State but they are good at setting up these goals, but Ohio State is ready for it. There's Gaines with the good save there. Nitrix gearing up for another goal, but does not get the setup to go as he wants. Ohio State sending it down the field. There they are, Nitrix keeping up the pressure. Both teams getting very close. Besh almost gets it, does not manage bump. to sink it in. And his teammate, Spoods, almost gets it in as well. This is getting very, very, very close. They need to find a goal here soon. There yeah, and Avery, are. thoughts on what you're seeing right now as well? I mean, I think Ohio State is showing a lot of promise right now. From what I've seen, Spoots has brought out a lot of very good solo plays. They have been saved, but it's really showing us the potential of what this team may have in this game. With two and a half minutes, only down one, Saints have a lot of time to get it together and figure out exactly what they need to do. I know we're a little late, but any predictions? Anybody think a 2 <laughs> I hope the Saints take it. A um, little bit biased on the prediction right now as we sort of see the result. Oh, I wow. think I'm going to say it's going to be hopefully 2-1. Uh, hopefully the Saints can take this game. If not, hopefully they can have the reverse sweep. And, uh, you know, we're going to just see how it goes. List with the flip reset. Just getting it over Vesh. So close, but just so far. And 2-0 uh, right now as we go to two minutes left. Saints got to really push up the pressure here. They got to really up the tempo. They have a minute per goal here that they need to find. Vesh carrying it up, up in the air there. Nissan sending it down the lane there. Ohio State not letting up the pressure there, but Saints able to knock it down. Gaines always ready. They are ready. Every time the ball goes towards the ground, Ohio State manages to find it. No, Ohio State's locked on defense right now. Liss is going to find his, uh, his third in the game so far, shooting lights out three for three. And he's telling St. Clair, I don't know if you're ready for us just yet, because we are going, and they are locked right now. Liss showing the absolute big body weight room, telling telling St. Clair to get, <laughs> get swole, get I guess, as he just babies them into the net. Uh, Dison off the air dribble, what's he gonna find? Not much is gonna get 50 out by a Saints player. Vesh off the sidewall, he needs to find a little bit of an air dribble, gonna be forced out by Gaines. Spoods with a quick challenge, sent out though by Dison. A little bit of a dangerous ball here, Nitrix with the shot, but Dison with the save. Gaines off the sidewall, 60 boost. He can try to find a flip right now. He's gonna fake the flip and elect to go for the ground pinch. He's gonna get hit out though. 
Desan off the back wall. 90 boost again. And right now, I'm sort of seeing a formula right now. Ohio State just keeping their players back with boost, and they look like they're going for more of a solo play approach in terms of uh, scoring, as far as scoring goes right now. Kind of a big double commit, but it gets saved out nevertheless from Ohio State. Desan with the corner. Can he find the read? Yes, he can, almost, but it's just not going to go. Wow. However, when you make a play like that, it doesn't necessarily always have to go in. Desan showing exactly why. It just immediately has the defense underwhelmed, sort of overwhelmed with the yeah. pressure. Hitting the ball out, not a very great clear from Vesh. Able to get cleaned up by Ohio State as they lead 4-0 in an absolute trouncing of the Saints right now in game one. Ohio State playing immaculately. They have amazing offense. What a double demo there from the side of the Saints. But I don't think that's gonna be enough to get them a goal right now. But as I was saying, Ohio State just playing amazingly now, defense-wise and offense-wise. Like, look at these goals, not letting up the pressure already just so early into this next round here. It's, uh, it's not looking great for the Saints. They have 30 seconds to make four goals, but they haven't gotten a goal yet, so it's not looking good for them. It seems like right now they're just having troubles finding their mark on offense. The defense right now, you can't really worry about it. You only had a minute left. You had to send the full house. But credit to Ohio State as they look absolutely amazing in game one. All of their players looking really good defensively. And Liss bringing out a lot of really good offense where the where the rest of the two are where the rest of the two lack. Of course, they're the plug players. So Liss is clearly the shooter for this team right now. And uh, shooting lights out, he's currently doing. Uh, that is going to be a win for Ohio State. They played impeccably. Couldn't even really find a flaw in any of their gameplay, so the Saints are going to have to look back and really analyze and find a gap in their defense and try and find some way to defend against their overwhelming offense. They have their work cut out for them here. Do you guys have any thoughts before we go into our next game here? Yeah, I mean, it's really tough that Saints couldn't even pick up just one goal in that game. I think it's really important to at least have one when you're a team. We saw they seem pretty calm. They're still locked in. We just saw the team there, Saints. And they don't look too upset. A game like this, you kind of just can't let it get to you. So I think that's really important that the Saints just go next. And they have time to make these fixes and adjustments that they need. They just kind of need to do it a little faster than Ohio does right definitely. now. And now it is a best of five instead of a best of three. So they definitely have far more chances to try and make up this deficit that they have here. However, I will say if they don't move quickly, they're going to be in trouble right now as Gaines tries to get the redirect flick and he gets it. Gaines with the delay flick. He's going to have the perfect setup on this ball. Car in wave dash. He just needs to find the pocket. He's going to be able to just put it a little too fast for Spood. Spood's almost with the redirect to save, but it just sadly lost into the top corner. Ohio State right now looking absolutely magnificent on all fronts with their rotations, their boost. Everything is looking like it's on for them. St. Clair needs to respond 30 seconds in, and we are already down 1-0. Matrix, what can he find? He's going to be on the air dribble. No boost, though. He's going to get the second touch, but he cannot make anything else happen on the sidewall. It's going to be up for Desan. Gaines with no boost. He's trying to elect to help his teammate out, but he's going to grab that mid pad. Better to rotate than to just get stuck caught in the in the midfield. Liss, a little more defense out of him. He's going to get the quick save off of Vesh's shot. Spoods off the ceiling. He's going to find the 50, and then Gaines is going to send it to the sidewall. Liss going to get 50 out by Nitrix. He's going to put one in the center, but it's going to get cleared out again. Ohio State having an answer for everything the Saints are throwing at them through 356. It's a very, very close, and Nitrix manages to find the shot on the goal, but Desan are ready to defend it. And the Saints need to find a goal here and they don't repeat what happened in the last game. Nitrix is going to find the demo. It's in the pocket there. Gaines going to try and get out of the corner there. But Nitrix is going to carry it downfield. But OSU not letting up the aggression. Just to oh my say gosh. that the Saints find the goal from downtown. Vesh with the score. And that is an even And I want to see this one more time. Yep. It happened. Cooks wow. are pinch coming out from Vesh there. Absolutely beautiful shot as he knows the defender's almost there to beat him. He needs to force a quick clear out. Cooks are pinched down the field and he absolutely bangs it home. Saints, what a way to respond when you just think you're in your back line a little bit awkward. Vesh, big time players make big time plays and he just made a huge play right there tie it up. Spoods in the middle of the field. He's going to go elect to go up again. Not getting beat up by Liss quite left. Nitrix 
Let's see what he can find. He's on the back wall. Can he somehow get this ball down? No, not before the OSU defender is able to get it out of the mix there. Deson with a quick center. He's going to even find the demo. Actually, it's just going to be the trade. And uh, 2v2 right now as it stands. Vesh able to come out. Does he have the shot? No, Deson able to clear it out. Nitrix, can he find the corner read? No, Deson there yet again. Amazing defense from Deson. And it's any man's game right now. Is any man's game indeed? We got about three minutes left on the clock. Spoots going for an amazing goal, but Lish defends it. But Vesh there to keep up the pressure, and Nitrix also there to try and secure this goal, but they're ready. Gain's gonna send it down lane there. Nitrix gonna carry it into the corner, try and get it around, away from Ohio State here. Gain's gonna send it back towards their goal, send it to his team. Nissan gonna carry it down lane again. He's back and forth here. Both teams trying to find any opening that they can. Deson going to find the de demo on Vesh there. Which is going to save the goal. He's very, very close back and forth here. I mean, I must say that Saints are looking better this game than they did game one. They do have a goal. It's 1-1. It's not 4-0 right now. This is still winnable for the Saints. I think this game is very, very important for them to win because it's really tough to go on series point when you don't have a game. So I think that Saints just need to find this momentum and get that ball into the net and just do what they can to defend it. That she only has one boost and never mind, make it zero as he comes off the ceiling. Not able to find the shot there as Deson's gonna be able to get the easy clear save. Liss has zero boost, he needs to try to force a 50 on Spoods, but Spoods is stronger as he does have more in the boost tank. Gains with the 50 off the corner, it's going to be found. Vesh, a little bit of an awkward touch, but he mixed up with the ground double into the ground pinch. Not going to be just, you know, a shot, but he kind of did it more just to clear the ball, I guess. Nitrix, he's going to try to find Vesh in the corner, but Vesh has that boost. He's going to try to make a play. He needs to try to get this 50. Deeson with the 50, though. Spoods making a solo play off the top. Can he find the shot? No, the defense. Wait, that's an awkward ball, though. Who's going to put it in? And it's going to be Vesh. Defensive errors on the side of OSU. St. Clair take advantage. They lead 2-1 with a minute 11. But I must say, that is a rare error on the side of OSU. And, uh, you know, this game is not over yet with a minute left. Anything can still happen. OSU definitely still able to find overtime here as a possibility. Absolutely. It's not over until it's over. Ohio State not going to go down without a fight. Avery, what is your thoughts on this situation here? I mean, mostly when you're so good at Rocket League, a lot of it is just capitalizing on the other person's mistakes. I think that's really important to be able to do. And as we saw, Ohio State made just, they just had a little bit of a slip up there with their defense and Vest was there to slot it in. Spoots did really, really well with that assist. I mean, seeing Liz here, I think we should talk a little bit about them because the potential, the hat trick first game, I think that Liz shows a lot of potential and skill right now. I think really good stuff out from Nitrix. He got the save as you were talking about, just saving the Saints from going into OT. He makes it up off the pass from Vesh with an absolute laser beam to the top left corner. Gaines not able to get there in time. Saints looking a whole lot more comfortable, and it seems like the series should. Oh boy. Don't I'm not going to do it. Don't say it. <laughs> but the Saints are definitely looking a whole lot better right now. And I will say uh, they definitely seem like they've improved a lot since game one. Definitely have learned from the mistakes. And they are playing very, very well right now. But Ohio State could turn this around if they don't play very carefully here. Vesh going to carry it down another field looking for another goal. Nitrix going to try and guess where the ball is going to go, but doesn't quite get it. Spoods hits it in the air. It's all teed up for Ohio State, but they don't manage to find it. The ball is up in the air, though. It's not over till it's over. Gaines going to carry it to his teammate, but it hits the ground, and that is a game for St. Clair. Very good and second game, yeah. I mean, so much better than the first game. I think yes. Saints really just needed to get a little more comfortable. Maybe they didn't expect Ohio State to come out with aggressive players like Liss and that hat trick. It's a little scary being the side of St. Clair, but I think this game has really showed us how much better St. Clair can do, and they just need to take this and carry it on. And I was sorry, I was going to say, uh, you know, I was just going to say uh, St. Clair, yeah, they were looking a whole lot more uh, better on defense, and I think their offense as well. Huge step up. I think we saw a couple more demos coming in. We saw a couple more bumps. But to me, what stood out was the passing was a lot better and a lot more clean on the side of Claire. Let's see if they can keep it up. 
Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, definitely. it's really, really important, just those passing plays, having your teammates to be able to give you that ball and create space for you. Already into game three, 1-1 one, one for each team. This series can absolutely go either way. Lish coming out with that aggression again. Tavesh Gaines is going to clear it back to the orange side. Just really aggressive plays coming from Ohio State. This is so, so important. And St. Clair needs to be able to be a little more aggressive just to carry that back. Yeah, and I think right now, uh, Liss, man, finding everything. I was going to say, I think right now they actually look a little bit awkward in their back line. Yeah. Um, and my prediction is actually going to come into play there as Liss off the huge pass from Gaines off the redirect on the sidewall. Liss has been shooting lights out this series, and he shows why he's not to be messed with. He puts Ohio State up. 1-0, 4.23 on the clock as the kickoff is won by Spoots. Dash with a quick demo. We need to see more of that from Claire if they want to keep on going in this series. Right now, it's going to be cleared downfield. Spoots, how can he get this ball out? 50 on list. Nitrix with the team help. He's going to elect to use his flip a little bit early, but it's okay because he forces the 50 on Gaines. However, Gaines is actually going to keep the ball in a great position as all three Saints come in. This might be a little more of an overcommit, but it seems like Spoods not one to let that happen. He gets it really nice save on the back end of the Saints, but now how can they recover? The pressure is building. How will they respond? Yeah, how will they respond indeed? That is the winning choice here today. Liss going to get the demo. Gaines going to get the save there. Spoods with a nice goal. Besh going to get another goal and even it up for the team. What a goal. Much needed goal for St. Clair evening this game three up here. This game is going to be a decisive one. Look at Desan just barely missing the save there. And I must say the passing from Spoods again, like I said, Passing plays, just dumping the ball down, but being able to find a teammate, it's what this game is all about right now. Vesh with the 50, what can he find? Awkward ball, but he can't get the backflip in time. A little bit of Tiki Taka coming out from the Ohio State, able to get the ball downfield. What are they gonna find with it? Passes up to Liss, is he gonna get blocked? Yes he is, Vesh up there for now. Gaines, can he find the side wall read? He can, spoods the clear downfield. It's going to Desan. Let's see what the Saints can do to get rid of this pressure. Nitrix off the corner, what can he find? Not very much, but Spood's able to help him out as Gaines able to find it. And uh, honestly, right now the Saints, they're looking pretty good uh, defensively right now, but they need to build some offense if they want to build this game back up and take it. I agree. I mean, with wow. that list, with the second shot, I, it's always Liss, I swear. It's always been Liss's name on the screen with the goals mainly. I think the aggression from that player is a little intimidating. I think Saints just need to relax and fix a little bit of their defense and figure out how it's really just one player that's, like you said, shooting lights out in this series. So they just need to figure out how they can almost remove him, more bumps, more demos, making more space, kind of getting that player out of the way is so, so important to the Saints. I definitely want to keep an eye on Liss. They are definitely getting those clutch goals when they need them. And that, just as I say that, Liss gearing up for a big thing, but they miss it. And Spood's gonna take full advantage of that, that managing back. to sink a great goal from the air to the ground. Critical was, error there from Liss as he just misreads it. Spood's able to block one out from the ceiling. He knows he can't let this opportunity slide and he doesn't let it go as he ties the game up 2-2. And I gotta give a credit though, OSU looking really good so far through these two games and even through this third game right here. And uh, like I said, these opponents are going wow. to get tougher and tougher as you move up the bracket. Liss, you are an animal. What did you do here? Air dribble, he's gonna use the arrow right to pick his shot. Simply just a better shot. Spood's not able to quite get the clear off. The ball was just too fast. Liss with a hat trick again. Ohio State up 3 to 2, 220 left. As soon as you dealt Liss, they managed to make things right again. They missed the goal, they whiffed it. They were like, I'm going to carry this, my team. I'm sorry. We're just back into the lead here. And they are keeping up the pressure. Liss trying to make it another hat trick there, but not managing to get it. He's on on the defense, trying to guard Vash. Vash there with the goal though, and it's back and forth. Both teams foregoing defense, just going for goals and goals and goals. Call him Ronaldinho, the way he dribbles the ball past everybody there. He's able to force the turn. No one's able to get there. Shifty from the side of Vesh, hitting the flick top right. Saints tying it up, 3-3, three, three, two minutes left. Blaze yeah. getting the demo off rip. Sorry to interrupt you, Avery, you had no, a thought there. 
I mean, I was just gonna say the control from Vesh there is very, very impressive. So many players in this series are just really showing the mechanical talent that they have. Mechanics in this game are so, so hard and just being able to hold control of that ball and get it past the defenders and slot it top corner as well is very, very important. And Vesh showed us that and it was very, very good. Yeah, and right now, St. Clair, what can you do to win this game? You gotta find something. Demo coming out, Deese on the Spoods. Let's see, Trick's able to carry it. He's going to try to find that side ball. Vesh able to be waiting downfield. He's going to try to bang it into the corner, but it's gonna be banged out by the OSU player. Demo coming out from Vesh onto Gaines. Let's see what St. Clair can do. Can they build this pressure? Huge Demo coming out. Spoods off the side. Can he find Vesh for the shot? He can! And that is what it's all about, St. Clair, wow. with the passing play. Once again, Spoods finds his man. It's actually going to be an inverted passing play, actually. <laughs> really good 50 on the side of Spoods, forcing that pass out. That she's one to go up and get them. He's a sniper, we all know. He's the big scorer on this St. Clair green team, it seems. And uh, if Vesh is activated, everybody's got to be on watch. Absolutely. I completely agree. And I mean, Spoods as well with those passes, like we talked about, passing plays are so, so important. And having a player like Spoods to hand that ball over to you is just amazing. Like, you can always trust this guy for this pass, essentially. Wow. And his saves with a beautiful save there. I thought that was going in. It really looked like it. But Spoods just with an incredible save, clearing that out as well. 3-4 for St. Clair, 30 seconds on the clock. They kind of just need to defend and make sure OSU don't get another goal in this game. But OSU's in this tournament for a reason, and the reason is, is because they are not one to just be shunned out like this. They need to find something right now, but they are the team to do it. Let's see what they can do. 15 seconds on the clock. It seems like St. Clair able to dump it into the corner. It seems like Liss able to clear it out. Gaines, he just gets beat by his man. It seems like the pass is going to be high and lofting. St. Clair, you just have to burn a couple more seconds of time. They Spoons are looking to do all that with the air dribble. He's going to get demoed out, though. Liss still has this ball. He's in the corner, but he has nothing. He needs a teammate to help him. What's going to happen? Really smart play by Nitrix there as he lets the ball drop. And uh, the Saints moving up. Yeah, well played, guaranteeing them the win there. Now they have a lead in this series. They are here to win it. They just have to win one more game. It is best of five, first of three, whatever you want to call it. We are in it for a little while longer. And the Saints are feeling good. I mean, we saw them all smiling. I don't know if a joke was told or something. I guess we're not in on it, but they're <laughs> happy, which is always good. And Nitrix with a really smart play at the end as well that we talked about at the end of that game, just letting that ball touch the ground. Sometimes, not usually in the higher ranks, but sometimes players just like want to hit that ball and they want to keep that up, but that's not smart because the other team can absolutely capitalize on that. So letting that ball touch the ground is one of the smartest things you could do. Demos coming out of the gate here. Very aggressive from both teams. Spoots going for the big save there. List trying to get a little bit of an early goal there. List going to also get the demo on Nitrix, who just got up again, I think. Oh. Spoots trying to find a way in here. That's some advantage they can press for their team. It's very back and forth here to start game four. Yeah, and it seems like Spoods is going to get another save again. This next shot going to be forced out wide by Gaines. Deeson, zero boost. He has to try to force a 50 buy time for his team to grab boost. Nitrix electing not to give him that time. Dribble down the field, but it's not going to find anyone. And right now, Spoods, you need to make yet another save. It was going to turn into one. I guess it just didn't register because the ball hadn't have been going long enough. But that was definitely going in. Spoods, huge defense on the backside of the Saints. It feels like he's been doing that for the entire tournament. And uh, honestly, I think right now, St. Clair, you got to find something offensively. You can't keep up this defense forever. It is Rocket League. Shots do start to pile up, and they do start to get harder and harder to defend as boost numbers get low. You need to find some sort of offense right now as this ball, it feels like, for the most part, has been in the orange half. And there it is. Deeson with the quick double. Again, after you let shot after shot after shot fly, you need to be able to alleviate some of that pressure or else stuff like that happens. That's almost left hanging there by Spoods. Yeah. Spoods catches me. <laughs> you know, they don't always, it's tough. They don't always fist bump after every goal. So Spoods is probably just kind of in his own world. It happens. They, Like I said, they don't always fist bump. So sometimes you just have to be like, 
hey, I'm here. And then they fist bump you. Vesh was not left hanging by Spoods. That was really, really tough. Um, very good defense, though, coming up from St. Clair. Even though they're down one, they do have three minutes left, which is very, very important for this team. They just need to capitalize with that time. Vesh trying to see what he can do, but zero boost not helping him. Liss, the terror that it's, he seems is just... I, I'm scared every time he's on the orange side. I, I'm a little worried. I'm a little nervous for St. Clair. Yeah, Liss is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Desan not managed to get the air hit there. It's going to be sent down to the Saints' side. They need to get it out from their side. And Vesh is there to answer. Going to pass to the Spoods. It looks like they're gearing up for a goal here. Does it sink, but no gains. And Desan there to defend. Vesh still there on the enemy side, waiting for it to pass maybe. Nitrix. Going to have to rush back to his side, go for the defense with Gaines, shooting the goal there. What a, what a save. save! Spoods! There we are. Desan playing very well, passing it to his teammate. Gaines going for the slam, and, and he hits it! And Liss there for the assist. What a goal from OSU. And I must say, when the Saints defense is spread thin, Spoods, he can't save everything. Let's be honest here, you know, save them all. shots, you can't save them all. You can't save them all. Sadly. It's just as simple as that. <laughs> but I mean, man, what an effort from Spoods on that last save there. Sadly, just can't get to that one. As Ohio State go up 2-0, they're doing a really good job on offense right now. And it seems that St. Clair, honestly, that is where they're lacking. A little bit of an error there forced out. Oh, no, team oh, bumps boy. coming out. They are in wow. complete disaster right now. OSU taking really good advantage of that, though. A little bit of an error on the side of St. Clair, but it's okay. They happen. OSU just looking a little more comfortable in this game right now. Looking like, you know, they have it under control. But with 2.15 left, you know, anything can happen. Let's just see how our Saints respond. Avery, Matt, what do you guys think is going to be a way for the Saints if they get uh, back into this one? If they get back, it's going to be a tough way to get back into this one with a 3-0 lead from Ohio State. It's not impossible. They have enough time to do it, but... It's getting very close. If they don't start getting goals soon, it's going to be a tough ride back. It's looking like a Game 5 scenario, if I had to guess for it. With the demos coming out from Spoods, maybe he's trying to make a play for his team. But List there, always ready to defend Ohio State, the masters of attack and defense this game. It's not looking good. Avery, what are your thoughts? I mean, Ohio State, the masters of attack and defense. It, I have to compare it to Spoods, who really just seems to be the master of defense, except for, you know, like we said, can't save them all. But he is just showing that he is a wall. He really does not want to lose this. And it's so, so important for the team to have these saves come out as well. Even if it's not you, it's important for anybody on your team to just stop that, try to stop that momentum. A little bit of a fake there. Nitrix is going to start to clear it out. If they score, they need to score right now to be able to win this game. But, I mean, OSU are just terrorizing the field right now. It's always on the orange end. And with a minute on the clock, 3-0, the Saints, uh, it's kind of looking like it might go to a game five here. One minute and a three-goal gap to close. Nitrix looking to close it out with his team here. Setting up for a goal, but not being quite able to do it. Vesh not going to let that pressure up. But there we are, Desan sending it all the way down. Nitrix ready to answer though. The ball is going back and forth. Desan looking for a goal setup for his team. And Gaines looking at the ball. They're just taking it slow. They have the advantage. They can only take it when it's good for them. They're just going to play the defense probably and try and close out this game with a guaranteed win for themselves. But Liss always going for the aggressive play. Look at Liss getting another goal on the board. A 4-0 lead. For OSU, it's looking very dire for St. Clair College Green. And it seems like the offense is inevitable. List doing a really good job of finding that off the pass from Gaines. If I'm St. Clair right now, the strategy is pretty simple. Don't let it get to your head. You need to just calm down, okay? Slow down, you know, whether you have to slow down or speed up the play, you can talk about it right now. This game does not matter anymore. It's over. It's said. It's done with. Don't worry what about do you it. Mean? What it do all mean? comes down to one game. It's as if this series hasn't happened yet. Four goals in you four need... seconds. Let's see it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the I biggest wish. upset in Rocket League. The Saints are going to get four goals. No, I'm just kidding. I the wish. game's over. It's game five, which is fun. I love game fives. Oh my gosh. I love it when series just go like all the way to the end. It makes it so, so exciting. As I was talking about earlier, like you said, the Saints just need to take a breath, go next, realize that they can do it. They just kind of have to tweak a couple of things. We've seen a couple of mistakes, I guess, from Ohio. So 
it's really just seeming like Saints can capitalize off of it. They're just they're missing something in that, and I'm not sure what it is. What do you think, Patrick? Um, right now, if I got to be honest with you, it seems like Spood is is handling most of the backline pressure. What it also means is, though, it could be a cause of the fact that Boost is getting stolen right now. Demos are going out on the side of Ohio, and it seems like right now just no one's able to get to the ball other than Spoods right now inside of the defense. Obviously, Vesh as well. We missed a couple of good opportunities with Vesh and Nitrix. They were able to get a little bit of pressure, but just not able to finish. Those are huge misses, and those are huge mistakes that cannot be done if you want to beat a team like Ohio State University. As I say that, though, that's just exactly what needs to happen. They need to get more aggressive. I want to see more of Spoods on the offensive side. You just need to. It seems like right now, as the captain, he needs to be the one to make this push and make the Saints have this game. And uh, Nitrix is going to look to just, you know, air it out right there. Uh, clear downfield. Spoods is going to be able to contest, but it's not going to be enough. Gaines, can he find the shot? Not really, but guess who's there? He's always there. It's Liss. He's going to open up the scoring for game five. And in dominant fashion, I might add. Seems like the clear from Vesh, just not strong enough. Liss able to read it out. The Saints are in a dangerous position right now. That is a huge tempo setter and a huge morale killer. Hopefully the Saints can stay strong, but they need to come back and they need to do it right now. Usually in any other circumstance, I would say that you have a lot of time to work with. The pressure is on right now, and that's exactly what is eating them alive. Vesh with a huge missed opportunity. It's stuff like that that you just can't allow to happen if you want to beat a team like this. Vesh looking to make up for what happened. Has the flip reset, elects to use it, but it seems like Deson better clear out. And I must say, what Ohio State is doing very well their pressure is unbelievable. The way they are able to find it into these back corners, they need to keep on doing this if they want to keep St. Clair on the ropes. Yeah, they definitely have unrelenting pressure indeed. Look at this, but the Saints are keeping the pressure up on their side of the field. They need to find a goal and they need to find a quick. They don't want to have a scenario like they had in the past few games. Spoods goes for a He's goal. Bombing. That's going to get the demo. Desan going to get the save, though. Desan going to carry it downfield for his team, try and flip the pressure back onto the Saints. They don't want it to lose their lead here just yet. Gaines going to try and stop the pushback. Contest that goal right now. Saints, if they don't do it, it's going to be bad. There they do. They send it right back downfield. But look at that. Ohio State not letting up the pressure. Every time it seems like it flips for the Saints' favor, they're ready to answer just like that. You see it time and time again. Saints need to find a way against whatever <gasps> Ohio State is doing. Did Nitrix did break a he rule just... one? Okay. That's it. I'm upset now. Nightstrix <laughs> just breaks the rule one. I mean, I guess I understand. This is game five. It's really, really important. But me personally, I wouldn't let that one slide. Uh, so I won't. That's messed up. Why would he do that? There's lots of time. He could have just had a little bit of fun <laughs> in the rule one. But I do understand why he left. There I guess are. so Spoos could get the goal. Okay, I'll let it slide this time. Only because Spoos scored. I guess it was important for something. Best with a beautiful pass. Spoods with just the perfect placement there as well. Just right past the defender, just slips right by. And that's what I want to see more of. Our captain up in the offense. Can't have him sitting in goal. You're not going to win a series like that. Everybody needs to get involved here. But of course, you know, Spoods does love making really good saves, I guess. And I mean, that's just another one coming out there. I feel like we've been saying it all tournament long. Besh, can he find his man? Nitrix, a little bit too fast for the shot there. He's definitely going to want that attempt back. Spoods off the clear, but he's not going to find it. Can Vesh make the save? He does. Ooh. But the follow-up coming out from Deson, and when you have that much pressure on the side of you, eventually stuff's going to slip through. You know, Spoods, just a little bit of a weird miss on the attempt there. Rare miss on the side of him. Water off a duck's back. He needs to wipe this one off, and he needs to just focus on what is in front of him right now. And what it is is you have two minutes. You need to make a play. Two-minute drill. What can the Saints bring here? Absolutely. And, I mean, we talked about Spoods being the captain and needing to attack and try to get off defense a little bit. But it must be a little tough in his head because at this point it's kind of seeming like he – is the defender for Obviously, the team. Yes. It's him. So it's hard because you can't be everywhere at once, but I completely understand why we say we need him up, but we just also need him back. So how can his teammates kind of alleviate that pressure a little bit for him and fill in the spaces that he needs filled? Nitrix and wow. Vesh going to help doing that exactly as you point out there. Spoods, can he alleviate this backline pressure? He can. Huge clear on the side of him, but hold on. They have a little bit of a breakaway right now. Nitrix, you're going to have to find something big here. And he does. Huge clear off the side of him. 
Vesh up with the pressure. Can he find the demo? Nobody can find the bump on Liss. And actually, that leaves Spoods with a good pass. Nitrix, can he find anybody? Not quite. St. Clair getting the pressure on, but OSU dealing with it quite well. Absolutely. One. Yeah, with one minute left on the clock, the Saints need to find some goal here. Spoods trying to find a setup for his team. There they are. Vesh sets it up, but not enough. Liss is ready to defend it there, but Nitrix almost gets it as well. But that leaves the net open. Ohio State looking for another goal, and Deson finds it. It is. They are running away with it right now with a two-goal lead. It is tough. For and Clark. credit to Ohio State. That should be the knife in the back. That should be the nail in the coffin. You know, it really, it's really looking hard right now for St. Clair. I was going to get really, really hyped because I saw Vesher. It was one of Vesher Spoods that yep. almost had a really good uh, both redirect them. there. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it just, you know, it just didn't end up going the way it is. Ohio State University looking comfortable, but 30 seconds left. Anything can happen. If you're St. Clair, you need to make a move, and you need to make it now. Nitrix with the top clear, but that is going to be a pretty damning center by Liss. And if Gaines can burn oh, time with the double, wow. and he can, an absolute angle from Gaines. Let's take a look at this right now. He's going to go up top. He has the time burn, gets the flip on the reset, and he's going to use that flip to just absolutely smoke that thing down to the bottom. <laughs> I just love how you talk, Patrick. I, I just I just so enjoy casting with you. Smoke that thing is perfect. I hope you say it again because it just makes it so much more exciting. I love your analogies. I love it all. But what I don't love is 4-1 with 10 seconds on the clock. Right. It's kind of locked in for Ohio State and St. Clair might be a little upset but I mean it's okay it's all experience oh, and I mean two Nigerics goals with the two seconds two goals two seconds <laughs> it would have to happen literally right now for them to win so it's kind of over but a very good shot from Nitrix it does help the morale a little bit they're not getting beat that horribly Ohio State is just they're just really showing that they are so, so talented, and that is game five, and it is going to go in the direction of OSU. Yeah, the two, or it wasn't even a 2-1 game scenario because <laughs> it's the best of five, so all our guesses are wrong. <laughs> but it was a 3-2, two, 2-1 two, was we, the closest thing. Did we guess thing. best of three guesses in yes. the, the series? Yes. Wow. Oh, it, it was best of three earlier. Now, yeah, best yeah, of yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, uh, I will say, you know, obviously, defeat for the Saints – it's going to be about how can they bounce back, though. Obviously, you know, that's one of their lives gone, but you got a second one. They're in the lower bracket now, and now it's going to be a really big grind, a really big climb. They're on their tournament life right now. How are they going to come back? How are they going to be able to, you know, get rid of the flaws that they've been having so far, obviously? It seems like right now, I would say that the biggest flaw is definitely on the defensive side. I think that Spoods has been there for everybody, but I don't think that everybody's been there for Spoods just as much as they could be, yeah. right? They just need to be able to alleviate some of that pressure, and it'll free Spoods up to make some plays down the midfield. We obviously know about his passing ability and just how good it can be, but he needs to be able to get out of the back line if they want to do that. OSU not letting that happen is going to lead to the downfall of the Saints for this time. But lower bracket, you know, Let's see what we're up against. Let's pull up the bracket real quick, and let's just see what we can uh, expect right now. So, let's see here. Let me just find them. They're going to be above OSU Scarlet is going to be the next team that the Saints are going to be taking on. Of course, everybody no. expected it. Look up top as Nichols College is going to be uh, the next team that the winner will uh, face. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, we're oh, done. We're, we're not there. Okay, okay, okay. That would Sorry. be if we were gonna win, but we unfortunately lost against Con or right Concord. Wait, oh, oh wait. yeah, okay. the words yeah, are very small. There we go. Small there on we the go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit weird to read there, but yeah, yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Okay, so it's gonna be interesting uh, to see how the tournament comes out. What do we have to say uh, real quick? Anything you guys want to touch on? Or? No, I'm good. I'm just excited to get into the next game here right after. Well, I don't know. That game, it, we've <laughs> been having very, very close games today. I do want to say something. I changed my mind before I close it out. It's been very, very close games. Very exciting. High adrenaline, high octane, really pushing our Saints to the edge. You know, Spoods giving it his all and he just needs to rally his team with him, lead from the front, like you were saying, and to take his team to victory. And hopefully we'll see that after a quick break.
Hello, everybody. Welcome back to CRL Rocket League Qualifiers. We are back here. St. Clair College versus Western Michigan University is our next opponent, and we are here in Losers Quarters Finals. It has been a long, hard day for the St. Clair Saints, but they're here to win losers, and they have their work cut out for them here. What are we thinking of this bracket here? Yeah, I mean, very interesting as we see uh, the winner down below of uh, awaiting Indiana. Oh, sorry, Indiana awaiting the winners down below between Waterloo and Concord. We faced them earlier as we uh, were victorious over them. So we'll see what happens. But for now, you can't let that go to get to your head. Obviously, you see OSU. We just finished a series against them. Didn't quite go the way to the Saints, and they are waiting in the finals of the lower bracket. Shown up top as, wow, Nichols College completely swept OSU, wow. and they are waiting in the finals where the winner of the loser's bracket will go up, and they will have to beat Nichols College in two best of three or uh, best wow. of five series. If Nichols College is only if Nichols College can beat them in one, that's it. Yep. So as the losers, because of course Nichols College, the logic from that comes from the fact that they never lost their life and went to the losers bracket, so they have two lives still. Yep, they need the bracket so gotta, reset. Exactly. So you got to have the bracket reset, and then you got to become victorious through there. Really tough road, but it's anything that's going to get it done. Yep, the Saints have a long, hard road ahead. But their first opponent here today is Western Michigan University, managing to beat out many, many opponents, including the Arcadia Knights. So you know that they have something cooking. So. Yes, Absolutely. They have. What do you think about the bracket so far? I mean, I think it's going to be really interesting. Learning about Nichols just absolutely 3 0 OSU is kind of scary because OSU is a little bit of a tough team for us to beat. I'm really excited to see how Western Michigan plays in this best of five here, Saints Green. I'm hoping that that series didn't get them too much, like get them too down, I guess I should say. Um, I'm really just hoping that they're able to do what they do best and that's play Rocket League. Right, and I hope they, you know, I hope they're looking pretty good right now. You know, they're, they're getting some good offense going in. Of course, Vesh with a shot saved out by Skirt a little while ago. Skirt with a shot saved out from Vesh now as we play reverse here. Nitrix with a demo downfield. He has no boost, though, as he's trying to go for the center. Vesh will say, okay, that's no problem. I can do it for you, but Spooz is in the back because you need to have a guy downfield in case stuff goes awry. Vesh, he's able to clear off the sidewall, but he needs someone else to come through. Seems like Spooz going to elect to try to go for the... Save almost, making sure that he's on the backboard for any possible reads there. Nitrix, let's see if he can force the 50. He can, but it's not in his favor. Gengar doing really good to force it out here. Immediately, Saints forcing good pressure downfield. Yeah, the Saints are putting up good pressure for Western Michigan University, ready to push up their own pressure here. But just as I say that, the Saints are carrying it downfield. J Bar trying to knock it back. Spoon's going to get the demo on Skirt. It is back and forth here. Both teams feeling each other out, trying to find what makes them tick. Three skirt with a good save there. Gengard with a great save from Besh's goal. Gengard gonna get, get it in the air off the roof. Try and get the ground hit, but does not manage to land it. Spoods gonna carry it all the way down lane to their goal. This Spoods with a very slow shot. Nitrix there to clean it up. That is a game that is a game starting goal here for St. Clair. Yeah, and they need more of that. It's, you know, Spoods, 
we, we said we need to see him a little more in the offense and with the team play from Vesh, finally another player getting it out allows Spoots to create a lot of open space there and he does what he does best he finds that Nitrix doing a really good job being that backline enforcer on the other side and he finds his mark Vesh off the wall what can he do finding the demo but no shooter around Spoots it seems like he's always there he's the right man for the job when you need him able to keep it out it's going to develop into a shot but it's going to be very slow not really the intent there, just more of a clear out. A little bit of passing play here. That's wow. a quick shot. If he can't get the shot, you best believe he's blowing you up instead. Nitrix with a quick shot out, but it's going to be saved out. Good 50. Skirt with a downfield now to Gengar. Gengar going to get beat out by Vesh. Vesh needs to force a couple more 50s in this corner here, and he does. Nitrix with a 50 of his own. Going to send it down to the opposite side. Now Western building up a little bit of pressure. Let's see how St. Clair deals with it. St. Clair managing to mount a little bit of a good defense here, but J-Bar keeps going for those shots of Spoots. Manages to save it. They need to get this ball out from their side of the court here. It is very, very difficult, but there they are, sending it downfield, but just sending it all the way down to Skurry. He's trying to get the goal here, but there is Gengar there to set himself up and get the goal. Amazing play, indeed. And I really got to preface this, Skirt off the back wall, he knows exactly who he needs to beat. It's Spoods on the back wall, he's going to make sure that he gets the bump. Quick drop down, J-Bar sinks it. It's going to be 1-1 now, Western tying it up with 2.19 left. If the Saints want to get some offense going right now, they need to do it quick. But they need to make sure they don't make any critical errors right now. It's any man's game, you don't want to give up a critical error that could lead to a goal. Spoots, beautiful air dribble pass two. Skirt's going to be able to send it down wide though. Nitrix with pre drum he's going to get called off by Spoots again. Using the flip to get further down to get the 50. Not going to quite work out in his favor though. Nitrix, make sure he has Spoots back. Getting the clear, Skirt with a double. Can he find it? Not quite. Vesh, he's going to have to try to make another play off the sidewall here. But his two teammates say, don't worry, I have that for you. Right now, St. Clair doing pretty good defensively. They just got to find something in the offense and they are working on it. And they are working hard. They are working hard for these goals. It is all tied up with about 1 minute 30 left on the clock. Nitrix going downfield trying to find a setup for a goal for his team. There's Dash going for it, but Gengar ready with the defense. But Spood's there, down at the goal, trying to gear it up for an even better setup. But Skirt ready. Western Michigan's defense is amazing. Avery, what do you think of this situation? And just like that, as I asked for your opinion, Spoods <laughs> gets the goal. Sorry to interrupt whatever you're about to say. But I mean, I was interrupted by Spoods anyways, so <laughs> let's blame him. Kidding, let's not. It was a very good shot and a very good pass from Nitrix as well. 1-2 right now. St. Clair's up one. They have a minute and 19. All they have to do right now is just play a really good defense, which we know they have, especially with Spoods on the roster. They just need to stall out some time. If they want, they can kind of pad themselves in a little bit more, get another goal, but they don't have to. It's really just about playing time and not letting that ball in your net. Wow. That is wow. an awkward uh, position from Western Michigan right there. You're going to see Vesh off the ceiling. He's going to be the initial creator of the play. Key touch from Nitrix to put Gengar into a horrible position. <laughs> Vesh able to come down the wall, and he knows exactly where he needs to put it. It can't get much easier than that. St. Clair take the 3-1 lead, and I must say right now, they are looking very good. Had him in a little bit of a monkey in the middle of the situation, passing the ball above his head. <laughs> but just like that, Skirt coming out aggressive, taking a shot on the goal right out of the gate. Skirt bringing it up to the roof, trying to pass it to his team. There's Gengar going to follow up that up. Here's Vesh trying to get it out of the corner here. The ball is in the middle of the map here. Spoods just barely misses it with Skirt setting up for his team. There's Gengar trying to go for a goal, but they don't manage to find it. It's in the corner. Vesh is carrying it downfield, and Spoods is just back and forth. Here it is. Oh, that was dangerous there, but Spoods manages to carry it downfield here, setting up for his team, keeping up the aggression against Western Michigan University with 30 Vesh. seconds left on the clock. Look at Vesh. He's just kind of taking everything right now. He's made two 50s. He's forcing Skirt into a really awkward position. Can somebody be there for St. Clair? No, not quite. It seems that both attackers probably out of boost. They can't overcommit. Really smart there as it is 3-1. You just have to force for plays that burn time. Nitrix with a quick pass out. Spoots is going to clean that one up. Really clean game from St. Clair. And I just want to know, you guys, obviously, they're looking so much better than they were before. What are we thinking right now? They're looking pretty comfortable. What are we getting some predictions? We didn't really get predictions on the series. What are we saying so far right now? 3-0. 3-0. <laughs> 3-0. Immediately. That's a little bit... Um, Gotta go in with confidence. I Especially with how do. well they played this game. Top, ending it so early with a three-goal lead. West, Western Michigan University, not to be trifled with, but 
St. Clair just playing very, very well. With the ball still up in the air, they're going for the last goal there. Just manages to not get it, but well played by St. Clair. Matt going with a 3-0. Avery, I mean, you're going to be a little more safe on this one. What are, we th what are you thinking? I can't say 3-0. I just can't do it. <laughs> I can't. I can't be that one. Maybe 3-1? I'll say 3-1. I'll say 3-1. I'll be kind of close to the 3-0. I'll say 3-1. We don't really know how um, Western Michigan plays that much yet. We've seen a little bit of it, obviously, right now. And they play well. Uh, but I do think they can pick up a game in this series. I do. I'll say it flat out. I also believe it's going to be 3-1, and the reason being is because based off what I see in that first game, if Western keep playing the way they play right now, sure, maybe they get a game, but that is not going to be good enough to get these Saints to match point right now. I think that uh, if I'm Western, you got to start opening up the attack a little more, start sending the full house a little more. If you're really desperate, you really need to find demos. We saw the one play that worked, was bumping Spoods off the backboard. They need to focus more on getting that into the defense, getting someone into the defense, making that play, right? So I think that's what they need to focus on. And if I'm the Saints, with that knowledge now, okay, these guys are getting a little more physical, let's send someone to help, right? We can go to a little more of a defensive format if we really don't find their offense that threatening if they have to try to get a bump to create plays, right? That means their shooting's probably not the, you know, most elite if you have to then put a guy in the backfield. Obviously, it's CRL. So the shooting is going to be a lead. But what I'm saying is just of this caliber, right? So if we know we can save them and we know we can hold them down, let's get some help on the defense and let's try to drain clock a little more against these guys, get them to panic, start sending full house and losing their boost. Looks like Western Michigan already has their back up against the board here with the Saints taking goals already. But the net is open for Gengar to make a shot, but Spoots are there with the save. But Skirt going to set up his team again right here, setting it up, all up. But looks like Spoots got it out of there again. J-Bar setting up another pass, another shot on the net, just barely hits the crossbar there. We skirt very back and forth juggling, but the University of Michigan very much keeping up the pressure here. Nitrix passing it back and forth. There's Vash gearing up. Nitrix has the net open, but there's Gengar there to knock it right back. Nitrix is going to get the demo. Nitrix has his eye on the ball here. He's just waiting for the right opportunity, but Skirt doesn't need that opportunity. It's right in front of him. There's Spoods, they both went for the save, both miss. There's Gengar shooting it towards the goal. Oh, there's a 50, but just manages to go towards the Saints net. What a save by Spoods as well. There it is, they need to get it out of their side. Western Michigan just keeping up the immense pressure. But just as I say that they finally get it towards the blue side, but Skirt right there, ready to take it all the way back into the Saints corner. It is a tough match to see. So, and I think that the Saints are doing pretty good on defense right now. Obviously, they are sending a little more help there, which is nice to see. They're not getting too panicked. Team bumps going on the field for the side of Western Michigan. Can St. Clair capitalize? No, they have to rotate back. That's in a little bit of a weird position, but he's good enough that he can recover. He's going to use the flip off the ceiling. Can he find the double? No. Can he find Nitrix? No. It just seems that Gengar, able to be in the right position, right time, leading it out to Skirt. Nitrix and Skirt into a 50 in the favor of Nitrix. Spood off the sidewall. What can he find? Off the ceiling, but it's going to be odd, and he's not going to be able to get his flip. Vesh, he gets the challenge. He's going to try to set up for Nitrix to hit the center. It is going to be dumb, but it's going to be a little too slow, and it's not going to quite reach where it needs to be. Skirt. On the 50, he's going to get by Spoots, but Spoots is going to make sure to bump and then demo him as well. Absolutely bully play from Spoots there. <laughs> Very toxic as uh, the game keeps on moving on here. Knight with a quick shot, Gengar with a quick save, and it seems that right now we're playing a little bit of ping pong. Absolutely. I mean, two minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. Not a goal has come out yet, but both teams are playing very well against each other honestly i think both of them show massive potential i mean we've seen obviously a lot more of st Clair than we have of western michigan but so far throughout the series and from game one we could see that they are a good team and they do work well together uh with almost two minutes left i'm really just waiting for a goal to come out here and see how that goes for both teams Close game indeed with Western Michigan playing very, very aggressive right now. But looks like Nitrix able to get it out from under him. Just to say that he misses it. J Bar trying to try and keep up the pressure with his team. There's Skirt going for a little bit of a goal there, a little bit of a setup. There's Spoods there to knock it right back. It's just ping pong back and forth and back and forth. Gengar gonna get the demo though. Net is far more open. It looks like that is a goal for Western Michigan University. And like I said before, you got to keep up the physical play. Being birthed from the demo there, Gengar's going to be able to find his shot. 
Demo in the back line, that's going to be detrimental on the side of the Saints. Nitrix not able to get there fast enough, and you see exactly what they have to do. They just have to keep this up if they want to get into this series with St. Clair. And if you're the Saints right now, you got to start thinking about it. You only need one goal to tie it up. You don't want to really go down by two. That would be kind of the nail in the coffin, but only about a minute 43 left. You know, they actually do have quite a lot of time now that I say that, and I realize that the time is, you know, not quite against them as much as it could be, but you still have to really get going. And I think that right now the Saints, you're sort of in the area where you've got to start thinking about sending the wow. full house. And because now they have that nail in the coffin almost, now if you're St. Clair, it's not panic stations, but you got to start sending stuff. Let's start getting the strats out, kickoff strats, maybe bringing a couple of those in. you got to start getting quick offensive pressure. Absolutely. I mean, their defense as well, we saw a little bit of a slip up with a double commit. Could be communication issues. Like, I think it was Nitrix and Spoots both went for the save at the same time, and then neither of them went for it, which happens. It does, but it's just about recovering from that. And I think that their defense just looks almost a little in shambles a little bit at times, and they just need to kind of patch that up a bit. A minute left, two goals. It's not impossible. They can take a little bit of time, but it's oh, wow. not great. Spoods almost with a shot, but Skirt is going to save it out. A good demo mid, and demos are huge. At, like, demos make space, as we saw earlier when Spoods was demoed and couldn't save it. It's huge, so I really think that St. Clair needs to play a little more aggressively and make that space. Yeah, and I think where that stemmed from is so far this tournament, I've seen a lot of Nitrix in the back line. As I say, that two-on-one play, Spoods just him. He avoids the first <laughs> bump, avoids what would have probably actually been a demo, and he's able to then recover and find the save as well to boot. Vesh, down the sidewall, only 17 boosts. you got to find some sort of a pass. Going for the flip cancel and trying to get it past his man, but he's not going to quite get there. Nitrix, what can you do off the side? He's going to elect to use his flip to try to get a center out. Quick little shot off, but Gengar saves. No problem for him. Vesh, touch off the ceiling. It's going to be challenged up by Gengar again. It seems like no matter where St. Clair goes, this Gengar guy is <laughs> everywhere. He hits the backflip to delay time and then delays even more time on the air dribble. And it just seems like right now, Western playing where they had to play, doing what they had to do on defense. They shut the Saints out. Yeah, that was a complete flip of the last game there. It was not as close. Just complete dominance from the side of Western Michigan University. Saints played well, but they were just not able to close it out there and find a goal. Absolutely. I mean, it was a good game. You, s I hate to say it, but you did say 3-0. Uh, it is 1-1, so we're not going to see a 3-0. But could still be a 3-1. Me and Patrick are still there with our predictions. Uh, both teams are, like I said, looking really good. And I guess that was just a little bit unfortunate for the Saints. Just They just didn't have it, which is tough, but... Like I said, go next, take a breath, and you just move on to the next game and see what you can do with your team. I think it's important. Yeah, and I completely agree with what you say, and I think right now, St. Clair, you just gotta try to have the good mental, you gotta try to figure out what's going wrong on offense, and you gotta try to sort that out. Of course, the Saints being shut out in that last game. They gotta find some sort of, uh, you know, they just gotta find something to get it open. You know, they gotta crack the case open a little bit. And uh, it's just going to be about how they can find that. Gengar off the pass from Jabar. He's looking for a center. He's going to find it. He's going to read his own ground double off wow. the wall. And he's going to be able to slot that one bottom. Let's see what happens. He's going to get the first touch off the pre-flip. He just has to read. Spoo's a little bit of a miss, miss uh, challenge there. But that's okay. Nitrix in the back wall. He's a little bit awkward as well. Just a little bit of a shamble from the, from the back line. But... It is what it is. Western, up 1-0. If you're the Saints, you can't let this get to you. you got to find a way to get back in this game. Yeah, Gengar is definitely the one to watch out for here. I think he's scored most or majority of the goals for Western Michigan here. Just to say that, St. Clair playing very aggressive. Almost gets a good setup there, but not able to find it. And I think right now, Western looking pretty good. Saints hopefully trying to get some more offensive pressure here. Spoods, he's going to do just that. Electing to go for the shot. Saved up by Gengar. Bump just missing on the side of Nitrix. But if he got that to go, would have been a really good play. It seems that Vesh going to get bumped on the way down to rotation. Spoods is going to be left by himself. And as I say that, Vesh is going to be demoed as a result of that. Spawning in near the ball is Vesh as well. Nitrix leaving it for Spoods. Spoods up the wall. Can he find the pass? Ooh. He can. Vesh, can he read the double? Not quite. Only having 17 boosts in the tank. Not going to be enough to read that. Skirt 
off the top. What can he find? He's using his flip early. He's going to use his second one to be able to get that pass down, but no one's going to be found. Saints with a little bit of an offensive pressure here, and that's exactly what's going to happen. They set it up immediately. You could just tell it was very methodical, almost fainting out the bumps here. You see Nitrix running kind of like a shepherd with sheep there a little bit, <laughs> and he's just kind of corralling all the defenders, pushing them in the back of the net, making them awkward. And uh, I saw that defender going up the back of the wall, couldn't quite get the squishy save to go as it was just too late. Spoods putting an absolute dart into the center. Yeah, we'll probably have to see a lot more tricky plays like that from the Saints if they want to get the advantage in this game because it is very back and forth and it did take a lot from them to get that goal. Just to say that, J-Bar, huge setup there, but Vesh able to get the save on that. Skirt going for the goal. Spoods able to save it as well. It is very, very close here, back and forth. The next goal will probably shape up how the rest of this game will go. Very aggressive from both these teams as well. There's just demos upon demos upon demos. It's just, it's all over the place. And it's kind of just chaos, I guess. Everybody's just trying to make room and get in each other's heads. 1-1 with just under three minutes left. Both teams could do a lot here. It's 1-1 in the series as well. It's still fairly even for both these teams. Like we wow. talked about, Gengar is obviously a very very talented player with just a beautiful shot and a beautiful angle off that left wall too right next to the net and nobody's there to save it 2-1 St. Clair they have a lot of time to get an advantage back they just gotta figure out how to I guess work a little better together and stop trying to rely on hero plays like one save or one shot Right, and I absolutely agree with you. I think they just got to be looking a little more in sync. Spoods looking to take it off the ceiling. He's going to try to have the drop down pass for who? No one else other than Nitrix. It's not actually going to go the way of that. Maybe a little bit of a miscom on the offense there. Skirt and J Bar finding two demos respectively, leaving Spoods in a 1v2. How's he going to play it? He's going to bring it to the corner of the wall. Soon the teammates will come in, and they do. Pass up by Spoods. He's going to find Vesh. How can Vesh react to this play? Does he have the 50? He does. Nitrix, can you shoot the ball? Yes, you can. And, it, and I just I knew it was going to happen. That was an amazing 50 by Vesh. He's going to get the really good 50 on that, using the belly of his car to force the soft touch, maximizing the surface area on the ball, making sure that it drops down just really well played, and Nitrix there to clean it up. Absolutely, and that's exactly what we said they needed to do, having the passing plays and the ability for your teammate to open that space for you to score is so, so important for Nitrix there, because if... Well, without Vesh, that wouldn't have gone in. And that's a lot of plays in Rocket League, is without your teammate, it's not going to happen. And that's so, so important for the Saints to remember, is to keep working with each other, keep those passing plays up, just keep, try to keep it on the blue end. 2-2, two, two, a minute 45 on the clock. This is very winnable for both teams. It's just about, I think this next goal is really going to set the pace for this game specifically. Yeah, it is a very tight game here, very back and forth. The pendulum is swinging back and forth, just like the ball is going back and forth across the field. Huge save by Spoods. The Saints need to try and set something up here. It looks like Nitrix is setting something up here with Vesh. Spoods needs to go in for the save again. He's playing goalie. It is Nitrix there to tap it for his team, sending it up in the air into the Western Michigan's corner. He's going to try and keep it there and try and set up for Vesh maybe. But there it is, Gengar going back and forth. Both teams playing very, very well. Spoods carrying it down that with one minute left on the clock. It's anybody's game here, two to two. We're in game three. This could be a very de decisive match. And I think exactly what you're saying, this is a very big swing game as obviously the winner of this is going to then go on to match point. Let's see what the Saints can pull out of the hat here with 40 seconds left. Can they hit the defense? That's a really good shot by Gengar, but it's just gonna be off the post top bar part down, but it's just not going to be found. Vesh, he has a little bit of a breakaway. Can he use the 50? He can. Team pinch out. Save going to Gengar. Spoots. Solo play. 50 boost left, but he's going to get challenged. Can, can Skirt find the double? No, not quite. It's going to be forced down. Vesh with a huge touch. Can he find the shot? He just needs the power shot. He's going to fake it to Spoots. Spoots is going to get beat out. Nitrix on the defense, but oh, it's not wow. going to work out. J-Bar able to beat his man downfield. That's exactly what Western needed. And you almost want to think Maybe St. Clair just putting a little too much into the bag there. You see the nearest man back was Nitrix, and even he was at the halfway point. You could just tell they were kind of throwing their eggs into the basket, and they just pay for doing a little bit too much there on the overcommit. Just oh, as I wow. see that, really good <laughs> shot forced out by Spoods. That Gengar is always back, it seems. 
on the back, on the front. This guy is literally everywhere. <laughs> and as this ball touches down, Skirt's going to find the dagger. 4-2, Western Michigan. They go to match point. Yeah, it is looking pretty much like a good sweep game for Western Michigan there with the securing the two goal lead. Seems you know, like there's nothing you can do a here. Bit of a DC, but uh, he's back. But yeah, anyway, this the game's pretty yeah, much yeah, over. Yeah. <laughs> but it's no, but it's no problem. This game was over anyway. Okay. But uh, yeah, Spesh gonna ground yeah, there it. There it is. This one's going. <laughs> if the Saints want to win it, it's gonna have to go the distance. And uh, now all of us are wrong. We all suck at predictions. No, <laughs> maybe I meant the other way around. Oh my god. Do no, some... no, please, okay. no. Okay, no. I, I don't like be being horrible. wrong. Okay, maybe I, I lied. I'd rather the Saints win than be wrong for me well, i'd rather be wrong than have the saints lose it's a more i don't like being wrong it. but i'll take it i guess if the saints win obviously i mean the saints are very talented and we can see they're they're very calm right now i think just moving on to the next game is really really important for them not letting this one get to them is huge their mental is so so strong and i know that they can work well together they just got to move on and do what they can in this next game so here we are in game four match point for western michigan university tensions are high st Clair needs to find something here but western michigan uh, michigan university starting off strong i'm slurring my words because i'm in shock i'm at a loss for words for how amazing that beginning goal off rip was five four seconds in and skirt needs Skirt knows exactly what he has to do. He gets the pass off J-Bar, tells his teammate to get out of the way. He actually team bumps him out of the way there. <laughs> he hits the flick, and he knows it's going in. He just has to find the bump on Spoods, and he's able to find it. Ceiling pinch off by J-Bar, but it's going to be saved out by Thesh. We need to stop relying on hero plays, and we need more passing plays coming out on the side of St. Clair. I think that's going to be their key to taking it. A really good fake by Nitrix, but it's going to be sent out by Gengar again. He's going to be on the challenge, but Spoods is going to beat his man see what he can do he's gonna send it off the ceiling nitrix what can you do you have an open net he's going to slightly put it on the bar but it's going to then be sent out again tragic on the side of the saints they need to try to find something here these offensive woes that they're going through this is not going to be able to win you a series against a school like western michigan who are just on their a game right now it seems spoods with another save off of skirt he's going to find vesh Top, will it go? It will. It felt like it was bouncing around forever, but it <laughs> finally goes through. Vesh off the pass from Spoods. He's going to absolutely rail this one into the back of the net. It seems like it was just kind of going around. It hit bar, crossbar. It doesn't matter, though. It eventually <laughs> goes in. 4-10 on the clock, but they find their equalizer. Saints getting back into this one. Yeah, much needed goal there. You can see the relief on the players' faces. They need that. Maybe they can swing this momentum right back in their favor. Look at them playing very, very well on the de defense. There's Spood leading from the front, trying to set up a goal for his team. There's Besh right there with him, trying to get a bounce off the backboard there, but not able to find it. Nitrix going to find it in the air, though. Send it right back down on the ground. Set up for his team. There it is in front of the goal, but Gengar there to save it. All three of Western Michigan University all there on the defense. Vesh trying to keep it there on their side, but there it is sent right over to the Saints in their Saints corner. It's Spoods trying to send it way back down, but J-Bar gets the demo on Vesh. It's not looking good for the Saints. The net has less people here. They find it in the air. They send it right back down. Oh, it's not looking good. It's a very tense game. And I must say right now, St. Clair, they need to get out of their own end right now. Nitrox looking to do just that on the double demo coming out. It's actually a trade. Vesh getting just past him is Gengar, but Spoon's able to get past Gengar himself. J-Bar with a quick clear, but it's going to launch out to Vesh. Vesh slightly offline with the shot, maybe looking for a pass, but it didn't fall through. Skirt off the corner. What can you do? He's going to get by Nitrix. He needs to try to come through the side. He's going to try to get around Spoon's, and that he actually will. Ball's actually going to be sent back up to him, but it's going to be awkward as he just has zero boost. Nitrix with the clear. Can he use his flip? Yes, he can, just to build even more pressure. Since the save is going to be forced up by Gengar. Right now, both teams looking very strong defensively, and uh, this one's anyone's game. Avery, what do you think about what we're seeing right now? I think Gengar is an absolute powerhouse from what I've seen. Um, that's honestly just all I have to say. He's obviously a very, very talented player, and I feel like he's the Saints' worst enemy right now. Like he's, like we said, he's here, he's there, he's literally everywhere. Except for the fact that he's not because of us just done with him, which is really important. I think that they just have to get him out of the way. And, I mean, people like Gengar must feel really, really good to just be, like, that guy. Like, you're him. 
it's it's it must just feel so amazing i've never been him ever in rocket league but you know it must feel pretty good for him skirt with a shot spooge with the save as usual spooge is always there with the save he's like saint's wall honestly he's just constantly saving them from these goals on their net yeah, and I mean, right now, St. Clair looking pretty good defensively. Let's see, hopefully I don't curse them. Spoots with a quick clear out to Vesh. It's going to be now handled by Western Michigan. What can they cook up right now? Nitrix with a quick save out. It's going to be the sidewall. Who's going to be there to find it? Vesh leaving it for Nitrix. Not going to come back. It's going to come back to Vesh, actually. He's going to use his wave dash to get back on the floor. He's trying to get a shot, but it gets 50 to out. J-Bar on the clear originally. Now Spoots is going to send it back into the line. Right now, we're seeing a lot of big booming clears from St. Clair, but they're just not being able to find a pass or a man behind them. Hopefully that changes right now, wow. and it is going to do just that. Vesh with a huge shot, huge goal for St. Clair. He keeps their tournament lives alive. And uh, I mean, right now, St. Clair is on the ropes. They need anything. Vesh finding the answer for them right now. Yeah, Vesh securing the one goal lead, gives St. Clair that much needed cushioning here. So they don't feel like they're on the rope's end here. But J-Bar going to pass this out to Vesh. They're going to keep up the goal. Wow, J-Bar sending it way downfield. No one's there in the cor corner. No one was ready for that. There's Vesh gearing up for another goal. He misses it in there. And just like that, Gengar gets it out from their goal into the corner. And Nitrix there like a hound waiting to pounce. There it is. Back in the corner on the Western Michigan side. There's the setup, but he just misses it. And Gengar going to carry this downfield. Probably go for another goal here. But... Spoods ready to knock it right back out there. He's playing amazingly on defense. It's very back and forth here, playing ping pong back and forth and back and forth here. Skirt sending it downfield and right back, reflected right back towards their goal, but no one was there to follow up on that. That was a good send, but no one was there. 30 seconds left on the clock. Western Michigan University needs to find a goal here or else St. Clair can just play it safe and guarantee their win and bring this to a game five scenario. And right now, I think if you're St. Clair, you need to just kill time off the clock. You don't want to make sure, you want to make sure right now, nightmare if they get into overtime. I would say with how the momentum is going, they need this game so badly. Huge demo from Nitrix. That might actually secure the game, but we never know. Can Nitrix read the double? No, it's actually going to be read out. 3v1, Spoods. I like him to leave it to the back. This is coming down to the wire. He's going to have the big clear out, but there should be a Western Michigan player to make a play here. They need to find boost quickly. He's going to find the second wow. touch, keeping it alive. Just barely. He gets the 100 pocket. Vesh with a quick shot. Nitrix, that's a huge touch. Can it be killed? No, not quite. J-Bar on the recovery. Gengar, he has the shot, but he actually is going to flip the wrong way. And that's going to seal it right there. A little bit of a mistake there from Western Michigan, but it might have not mattered if St. Clair was all back and all ready to defend. You never know, though. Stuff like that, it just, it, it, you know, it's tough. You need to try to find that game, but St. Clair on the side of them relieved as that ball hits the ground. Here they are bringing it to a game five scenario. It's looking good. This is what you want. Bring it all down to one game. This is the last. This is another time we're bringing it to another game five, game three scenario. It's a lot of close games today, but the Saints managed to clutch it out most of the time. Hopefully, they can bring it here today. It's going to be a tough one. Game five. It doesn't get any bigger than this. They need to keep their tournament lives. <laughs> they need to keep the tournament life alive here if they want to continue through this bracket. Obviously, in the losers, you do not have another life to give. You are on your last leg. You need to see what you can do here. Vesh, what can you do? You're going to get the 50. It's going to go down. Nitrix able to make a play on the ball here. Spoots has to stay back, though. The offense is coming, and he is there to answer again. It seems like no matter where they go, Spoots is always there to put a body on the line. Vesh with a quick clear out, going to force a 50 down to Nitrix's side. That's going to be a pass out to Gengar. Gengar with a top down clear. He's going to, tr sorry, Spoods with the top down clear off Gengar's shot. He's going to try to find Nitrix, and that he does. There's a bump on the field. But Spoods not able to do anything else. He had the bump, but he just can't. Obviously, that's a lot for one man to do. You can't just find the bump and the shot. That's very, very hard, obviously. And it just seems like there was no other support coming in from the offense. They just couldn't make it happen that time. Gengar with the quick clear. What can he find? Nothing as Spoots able to clear it out again. Time after time, he's always there. He's going to hit it to the sidewall. Who can he find? Can he find Nitrix? Yes, he can. Nitrix down the field. What can you do? Pinch center, but it's going to get forced up by J-Bar. Spoots, there to delay time. Can he get the 50? No, just simply too late on that one. A skirt able to beat his man up in the top. Nitrix hitting the flick. He's going to get over J-Bar, but skirt 
Able to stay in the play. He's coming off the ceiling. He has another flip to use. Never mind, he used to use to use this flip earlier. Sorry, to get down. So he didn't really have another flip to use there, leaving it for Gengar. Right now, I have to say, Western Michigan, they are doing really good on the pressure, but they're facing a little bit on their own right now. I mean, at this point, it's kind of had a deadlock 50-50. The first team who scores is going to have a lot of morale and a lot of uh, confidence going in for the rest of the game. Yeah, definitely, with how close these games are getting. The first oh goal will steal God. the deal here, and Spoods able to get it right out of the gate. What an amazing goal. Absolutely incredible from Spoods. He's taking it from the top, reads the double that literally nobody else was able to find. <laughs> I doubt that the, the defense even expected it, as the defender looked absolutely lost as that ball rifled down. I mean, I'm just speechless. That was an absolutely immaculate shot. As I say that, Western Michigan forcing some of their own, but they're going to be high, wide, left, right, center. They're not finding the goal right now. St. Clair in the driver's seat. Let's see how they handle 250 in the game. Yep, they're going to send it right back downfield. They want to secure a two-goal lead. Skirt going to knock it right back, though. And Gengar here waiting for on the, def yeah, the defense here. It's a very, very tight game here. Gengar usually playing more up front. Needs to stay back, but there he is, trying to carry it downfield, but now he needs to go back. Skirt going to send it into the corner for his team. Sending it up in the air. There's Nitrix trying to get a setup for everybody, but there's Spoots. Going to send it right back. It is a very close game here, back and forth, but Western Michigan needs to find a goal soon. But with Vash carrying it like that, could be a massive goal, but he doesn't see it. Avery, what are you thinking of this situation? I am stressed. I'm very stressed right now. This is very stressful. Obviously, it's 0-1 oh, for Saints. Wow. 0-2 now with Spoods getting his second goal of this game. Both teams want to win this series so, so, so bad. This is so important to both of them. And Spoods is really just showing uh. that he... Error. Anyways, Spoods is really Hopefully showing... Hopefully, we can continue here. I'm really hoping that we're still able we're to really see. But see what's happening. We there we go. see a little. Right. <laughs> Spoods is really just showing his skill and... His want to be here and his his need to win, I think, is really important. And he's really, really showing up for his team. I'm hoping that his teammates are able to help him as well with that. And I must say, you know, give him credit where credit's due. Nitrix keeping everybody alive right there. That was a huge save a couple seconds ago, and he keeps them in it. Spoods, he's going to be on the dribble right now. Vesh on the pre-jump. That's going to be an awkward second touch, though. Who's going to be able to help him out? Seems like it's going to be Nitrix on the side there. And Vesh clearing it downfield. A little bit of a missed touch from Skirt. He's get Oh, that's an awkward ball. Where's Nitrix? He's going to be able to find a little bit of pressure. Pressure going down the other way, though. That was a really good clear by J-Bar. J-Bar off the side. He's going to find a little bit of something. But Nitrix with the clutch demo downfield. Skirt is there. Spoods. Can he set up his man? No, not quite. Skirt with an amazing save. And it seems like no matter what right now, they are, uh, St. Clair is just really adding on this pressure. They're doing a really good job of burning clock. No need to send the full house as they have the 2-0 lead right now. You can actually afford to give up a goal. Obviously, you don't want to do that. But right now, they have a really good cushion. And if they can just burn clock, chew clock, keep the numbers of Gengar, uh, Gengar and Western Michigan low, maybe find a couple of demos here and there, this might wrap this one up. 45 seconds left to go as we hopefully close out this series. Yep, run out the clock is the game plan here today for St. Clair College. J-Bar going to go for a shot, and Spoods gets a massive save there, especially with the demo coming out from Vesh there. Skirt going to try and find some way to help out his teammate there. 30 seconds left on the click. clock. The St. Clair Saints are keeping up the offense here, not letting up the pressure. Skirt sending it downfield. J-Bar going to try and knock it up there too. The ball is high up in the air. It's going to the corner here. Spoods trying to get a set up here. It is anyone's game, but it's looking like it's going to be the Saints with a two-goal lead. Both teams very evenly matched now, but should have had that earlier in the game. The Saints able to craft the victory here. They really, really needed this one to boost their lives and, you know, they're just their morale going into the rest of the tournament. They looked kind of, uh, I won't lie, defeated as they fell down that lower bracket, but right now they are cooking and they need to keep on going if they want to keep on going through this bracket. They just got to rely on everything they're doing right now. It seems like it's working. A couple of defensive woes here or there. Hopefully they get cleaned up. They've been kind of happening a little bit around, uh, you know, throughout the tournament. But for right now, we don't got to focus on that. St. Clair, keep going through this bracket 
And, uh, you know, they're looking really, really good right now. They are. I mean, we saw their faces. They were smiling. It took them a minute to smile. I'm sure they were just like, ah, okay, game fives are always stressful. It's always good to take that breath after. And they did win that, which is very, very good for them. Like we talked about the morale. Mental is so important. And you could see it in their faces that they were so, so relieved off that game five. Although it was very, very close. This series was very interesting. And both teams clashed like very well it seemed very very close at some points yeah let's get a look at this bracket here see what we're going up against next if the games are finished here we are st Clair saints winning out against western michigan bringing us up against either indiana hoosiers or concord university for the rematch of a lifetime i who do you think is going to win out of that bracket if we had to guess i think if i had to guess I think Concord will be able to take it. Um, they're coming off the win off Waterloo right now. Indiana being sent down. They're fresh off a loss. They might be a little less on the mental side. I think Concord building a couple of wins, actually, as you see also taking out Carleton, as Carleton also had a little bit of a nice run through the lower bracket, but they're out from uh, Concord. I think Concord's feeling good. We should get the rematch, and I really hope so, because our Saints had their number last time. Hopefully, they continue, and uh, they have their number again. Yeah, I completely agree, honestly. I think I think it would be pretty interesting to see them face Concord. I mean, I we saw it once and I, I think it would be really it interesting to series. see it again. It was very it was very good. It was very interesting. It was a little stressful at times, as a lot of the series have been, honestly, today, which is very exciting for us. And you guys, of course, it's always fun to watch a very, very close game, although it is a little stressful. I know when my mom watches Rocky League, she's a little like, eh, it's a little scary. <laughs> Mama Spoods somewhere in the chat. She's out there. I know it's a little stressful as a viewer, but it's all in good fun. And at the end of the day, it's just a bunch of guys hitting a ball around with a car. So it's fun. That's what the sport is all about. But we're not done yet. We are advancing to losers semifinals. Saints going up against, we don't know yet, but probably uh, getting the rematch against Concord University. And then whoever wins that will go up against OSU Scarlet. And then we'll see who can crawl up in the final round and try and get the bracket reset out of losers. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more CRL Rocket League right after a quick break.
Hello, everybody. Welcome back to CRL Qualifiers. We are here in the semi loser semifinal, St. Clair College versus Indiana Hoosiers. It is looking at pretty, pretty spicy. We've had a lot of close games today. Saints barely squeaking out that last one. But they're playing very, very well. And if they keep labbing, they keep working on those mistakes, they might be able to crawl their way back to the top and maybe even face Nichols College. Yeah, and uh, honestly, again, like I said, Nichols the team to beat. But right now, you can't worry about that. you got to focus on who's ahead of you right now. Indiana, not really known much about them in terms of what I know. Uh, but, you know, every team at this stage of the tournament is looking to win. And they very well can, probably, I would imagine. Indiana comprised of Pablo, Tide, and I believe Big E? Yes. And as I said that, he's going to get a shot on net. Vesh with a quick save out. Starting quick with some pressure from Indiana. And uh, let's see how the Saints are going to combat that. Vesh sitting on the wall. He's going to elect... Nope, not to leave it for Spooch. He's going to take it himself. Sidewall redirect. He's going to have it on net, but it's going to be saved out by Pablo. Nitrix with a quick miss on top, but it's key that he does challenge that play there because he then forces Pablo into an uncomfortable position, not able to get the dribble as the next man up. Vesh can stop it. Spoots with a quick pick off the sidewall. It was looking like almost like Vesh was trying to get a bump in the backfield, but he just couldn't get it to go. Tough, but Nitrix sending it back into the corner. The Saints corralling, having a lot of pressure on the side of Indiana. Hopefully they can keep it up. Hopefully they can keep it up indeed. Pablo going for an amazing goal there, but Nitrix able to take an amazing save. There they are, both teams gearing up in the corner, trying to find something that works. It seems like every beginning of this game is very methodical. Both teams playing very safe, not letting any goals slip by, not making too many crazy plays, just feeling out what works and what doesn't work. He's tied, going for a little bit of a setup here. Off the roof, doesn't see it though. There's Boots with his team, Mike Nitrix. It's uh, very back and forth, just sending it back and forth, playing a little bit of ping pong here, but things are heating up. Right, I mean, the offenses will start to open up as the game comes through right now. What I want to see from St. Clair is a little more uh, backfield aggression, more bumps, more demos coming out on the side of them would open up a lot of good shooting lanes. Vesh looking to do that right there with a little nice redirect, uh, misdirection play. That's another thing I think I need to see, we need to see more of. Huge bump on the side of wow. Nitrix, and as I bring it up, it, it happens exactly like that. <laughs> Nitrix off the sidewall. It's as if he was listening to what I was saying. Going for the air dribble bump. Gets his man. And I believe that was Spoods finding it. No, it was Vesh who found the back of the net there. Good from Vesh to be there. Setting the Saints up. 1-0 as they get into three minutes. Great play by Vesh. Leading the charge here by getting a nice early goal. But there's Pablo trying to set up for one for himself or his own team. Not able to find it. It's in the corner there. Get it out of the corner. Missing the goal here. There's... Tide getting the demo. Spoods trying to gear up a goal for his team. Everybody's pushing up here. They're playing aggressive. They have a one goal lead. They want to make it a two goal lead. But just like that, Pablo goes for a goal, but it gets saved by Spoods. There it is in the corner. It is it moving fast here? Shots back and back, back and forth. <laughs> here we are. It's a very high energy game. And I will say right now, um, the offense now from Indiana uh, picking up a little more. Avery, what do you think the Saints need to do right now? Would you, in this scenario, do you elect to kind of kill time? Or do you think you need to kind of find a little more offense? I think Vesh is going to answer that for you, but you can make your own opinion of it. Thanks, Vesh. I mean, he kind of did what I was going to say. I was going to say, with two and a half minutes left, it's good to have an extra goal just for cushion. Um, but playing time is obviously very beneficial, especially because we don't know exactly how Indiana plays we don't really know their play style so it's always better to play on the safe side especially when you have room for error in a 2-0 lead it's always really good to have this room to to learn about the other team and see how they kind of play demo coming out onto Nitrix they might like playing aggressively Biggie with the shot and Spoods with the save there once again it's always Spoods I he is everywhere Seems like Vesh is going to try to get the redirect off the side. He will find it, but he's not going to be able to read the double. However, he's going to be able to double Pablo in the back line. Big E with the turn. He's going to get 50 by Spoots. Nitrix with a quick outlet pass, but it's not going to find anybody on the drop down. Pablo waiting. He's almost kind of feeding for a goal right here as he's cherry picking the net. He's going to find a demo, but Nitrix is going to be able to trade it right back out. Spoots. He doesn't quite have the ground pinch. That would have been really cool to watch, as he would have definitely found his man. 
but it's okay. He sets up Vesh well, but Vesh going to then get deleted off the pitch after Spoods. Oh no, this is a dangerous ball, but Vesh able to cover for his man back, and he gets the save real quick. Spoods with a huge clear. Half flipping back is Big E. He needs to make sure that he alleviates his pressure and alleviate it. He does. He now needs to try to get a clear off the top, but Nitrix is waiting for him, but he gets past Nitrix. Spoods with another save. St. Clair, whatever pressure is being thrown at them, they're dishing back out. They're dishing that back out, out indeed. There's Nitrix going for a setup there. Does not quite find it. There's Nitrix. Oh, it gets demoed by Pablo. Massive demo, sending him way back to the end of the other end of the field. Nitrix gets a good air shot there, sending it all the way back. Pablo's there to contest it, though. There they are, all the whole team setting up, looking for a goal. They need to find one soon with only 30 seconds left on the clock here. There's Nitrix getting a demo. The Saints are proving to be a force to be reckoned with here. They have an amazing defense. Just I say that, big shot by Big E, but Spoods is ready to save it. Vesh there in the trenches, trying to find a way in here. There's Tide going for a little bit of a goal, and there they are, a much needed goal on the side of Indiana Hoosiers. Let's go. I'm cheering for them. I'm cheering for the underdog. I always want to see. Say, are you cheering for Indiana I wanna, right now? <laughs> I want to see the last second comeback. I always cheer for the underdog. Of course you do, Matt. Of course you do. But on this side, we cheer for St. Clair right now. It's looking good so far. They just need to kill 12 seconds of time. However, <laughs> Big E making sure that it doesn't go down that easy. Tide, he needs the quick setup, and he's going to find it. Spoods, you need to delay time off the back wall. He's done just that perfectly, saving all of his boost to wait for the 50, uses it to ground, and that is St. Clair taking this game. And they are looking very, very smooth right now as they head in to game three. They are, absolutely, and they're looking comfortable as well. That game, they were down one, but with only 15 seconds left. I mean, Indiana didn't really have enough time to get to where they needed to go, I guess. They did show massive potential, though, in future games in this series. They have lots of time to score more goals and show us exactly what they can do. I think the Saints played really, really well that game, though, and I'm really excited to see where the rest of the series goes, honestly. Yeah, we are in for a good game here. Indiana did not go down without a fight in the last game, but Saints just played very, very, very well. Nitrix off the sidewall, what can you find? He's going to elect to just leave it. He has 79 boosts. He's probably going to use that to come back and go for another offense. Quick rotates coming out from the Saints here. Spoods off the ceiling. Can he use the flip? He can. Gets past his man there. Vesh getting past another. This is really opening up the defensive side. Can they find the bump? I think Vesh might have been able to... Oh, well, nope. the shot's going to be kind of <laughs> awry. I won't lie. It's kind of went really quickly there. There we go. He finds the bump this time. Tide carrying it down, though. This creates kind of a solo play. But Nitrix, big man down in the backfield. He's able to get rid of the bumper, and he's able to also get the save. Spoods off the top. What can you do? Setting up for a 50. Beautiful 50. Finds the bump. There should be a shot. But Pablo, huge save coming out on the side of Indiana. And a demo from him as well. Sealing the side boost. Can he beat Spoods to this ball? No, no not quite a Spoods saying, no, 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 you are not faster than me, young man, and I am able to get it out of the defensive zone. St. Clair being able to press up now. Let's see if they can find any offense on the other way down. Let's see what they got indeed. There it is in the corner. Vesh looking to get it out of there, but Tide going to carry it around to the other corner, try and set up for his team. There it is. Nitrix carrying it up in the air. There's Big E going for a huge shot. He almost misses. Spoods. Big save oh my God. by Spoods. Here we go, we're in for it now. 0-0, zero, zero. both teams very getting anxious for a goal here. There's the setup by Vesh, gonna get hit and saved by Pablo. Vesh still holding up the aggression, still holding up the pressure. It is very, very dicey here. There's Nitrix contesting a good shot, trying to keep it on the other end of the field here. There they are, all Saints are pushed up, but Pablo going, sees his opening. There he is, setting up for a goal. There's Vesh, the crazy save there. I believe that was Nitrix, yeah, actually. Was Nitrix. He was, was going to be able to clear off the back wall. Yeah, really good job from Nitrix. They're setting up on the backboard defense. 10 boost. What can they find? Spoods with the demo. Probably going to be the shooter in Tide. Really good heads-up awareness play from Spoods there, as he knows that the 1-2-1's one, one's coming through. Another huge save from Spoods as well on Pablo's shot. This man is everywhere. He gets the clear as well. Somebody needs to help him, and Vesh aids Spoods in that regard. He's going to find the clear. Spoods 
on another clear. He needs to try to get back down to this ball again, though. Pablo able to sniff it past him. And it seems like Tide may be wanting that shot back as he could have had a really good look there. Nitrix, really good pressure downfield. This is opening a lot of time for Spoots and Vesh to both get boosts respectively. Spoots using that boost that he gathered from Nitrix's pressure now to set up Nitrix. Nitrix not quite going to find his shot, but Spoots is there to 50 again. Vesh alone in the back line. You have one touch, but you need to get it past another. Wade Dash and get the boost. He uses his flick to go over. Air rolling right. He is going to take this ball at the pitch. Looking like Lionel Messi right now as he cuts through the defense. But it seems like he's not just quite going to finish. Pablo taking the ball off of him. Looking for the drop down pass to tie, but it's not going to find the marker. And now Vesh with the clear again. Dribbling through the defense. Taking it through one. Not quite getting the second. Leaving it right now. The Saints have a methodical play lined up. However, it's going to seem that they just didn't like the setup there. Nitrix opting to dump it down and now they go back on defense. The Saints looking really good and comfortable, but what is it being 0-0? When it's 0-0, it's any man's game. We have to see how both teams respond here. And there is a lot of time as well for either team to score. A minute and a half left. Even if one team scores now, the other one can get a goal back. I think it kind of just adds extra stress when it's just 0-0 for so long because you know both teams are working so hard. They're both doing everything that they can and it's just not getting them the goal that they need. Saying that, Nitrix is going to bring it onto the blue end and it's looking like wow. a pass to Vesh, which is a beautiful shot into that corner as well. This is exactly what the team needed. A minute left on the clock. This is the perfect time. And Vesh just with a beautiful top corner shot there. And Nitrix is locked right now. He's been doing very good this game. And he sets up what is going to be that St. Clair leader right there, forcing that 50. He is doing very well right now. And he's helping out really well in the defense. We need something to come through. And as I say that, Nitrix wow. again. But Indiana throwing all the eggs into the basket. This time it pays off as there aren't enough St. Clair defenders to get rid of all this pressure. Big E with a shot. Pablo looking to just make a misdirection play. I think he was going for a bump, but it doesn't matter. Spoo's just not able to get to that ball in time. And Indiana find their equalizer with 58 seconds to go. So I must say, lining up for a nail biter right now. Yeah, so much build up to the first goal and then now they're just starting to drop like crazy. Look at that, Indiana gearing up for another one, but huge save by Vesh. Gonna send that right down the field. Big E, Big E has his eye on the ball, going for another big save. Good shot by Nitrix, but it's going to be saved out. There's Vash passing it to his teammate. Does not find a good shot on the goal, though. There's Spoods in the corner there, setting it up. Does Nitrix get the hit? And he almost gets it, but a huge save by Pablo. And another shot on the goal by Vash, and Vash manages to scrape it in there. Amazing shot by St. Clair College. And hopefully Vesh just found the dagger, set up by none other than Nitrix again, off the pass from Spoods. It really was a 1-2-3 play. I love what I'm seeing out of St. Clair right now. All you have to do is burn 26 seconds off the clock, take this 2-0, get up to match point, and you gotta hope right now, Indiana, they gotta be, you know, a little bit stressed at the moment. Tied, every touch here is it has to be perfect, essentially, and it's not going to go that way. Nitrix with a huge time kill. Can he get past another? He does. That's absolutely huge. All that boost wasted from the other defender in Tide. Tide going to get the clear. Big E. He has that mid pad. He might be able to force a shot. Demo coming out. Is the ball going in? But it's not. Post and out. St. Clair <laughs> hang on by the skin of their teeth. Vesh knows it. Nitrix knows it. They all know it. Spoods taking a huge chug of the water there. He needs it after that performance. And St. Clair going up 2-0. They can relax for now. But you have to close this series out. Yeah, I mean, we saw Spoods as well take like a very big breath before he stepped the water. He was like, oh, like everybody, you could see it in their eyes. They were like, oh my God, we actually almost lost that. It's, it's scary and it definitely wakes you up. Uh, 2-0 in the series. It's looking very good for St. Clair. They have a lot of room for any fixes that they might need to make. As we talked about earlier, Nitrix has locked in. He's been playing very well, Huge making demo. space for his team, passing plays. It's all very, very important, and he's doing what he needs to do. Yeah, there it is. There's a big save by Vesh. Good shot on the goal by Big E, but not able to close that out. There's Spoos carrying it all the way downfield. Tide ready to save it, though. It is a very close game. We're here in game three. This is match point for St. Clair College. You might see the first 3-0 of the series if they keep up what they had cooking in the last game, and they do! Vesh with the surprise goal from way downtown. 
Nitrix is looking like Chris Paul right now. CP3, the way he's dishing out these assists. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing to see. He's finding Vesh in this back line. What they're doing is really working. It seems like Spoods is being able to get the pressure, alleviating that pressure, clearing it downfield. Nitrix with the setup play, the plug man. And it seems like Vesh just able to finish everything right now that Nitrix is dishing out. Another huge thing is that Nitrix is getting so many demos right now, really opening up the field. Vesh, don't tell me you can find this double. He just can't. I would have gone absolutely insane if he did. <laughs> Spoods playing shadow defense. Gonna get the quick save off from Pablo Shaw, but Pablo finds it. Moon Vesh. Nitrix up there to 50 again. Right now, St. Clair, this is gonna be a tough one to save out, but it seems like the shot just didn't come through. Vesh able to make the defense, able to make the attacker just awkward enough. Nitrix with a huge clear. They stave off. They stave off this offensive pressure that Indiana puts on them just for now as they try to set up the next offense. They are setting up their next office, and indeed, Spood not getting very far from that ball, sending it up in the air. Biggie gonna defend it, send it down lane again, but Nitrix is there to answer, and Pablo is there to answer again. Good shot by Nitrix, big save by Pablo. He's gonna try and send this down lane to the rest of his friends here. Spood's carrying it up into the air, knocking it off the corner. There they are, Vesh there, his teammate. Trying to find something there. There's Nitrix gonna bounce it off the backboard there, try and go for a goal, he just misses it though. And here we are, it's slowing down here. Team's trying to take a breath, reset, think about what they're going to attempt here. Taking it to the corner here on the same side. Spood carrying it up the wall. It's a very fast-paced game here. Vesh carrying it off of Spood's there. Nitrix, all three Saints pressing up. They need to make sure they don't overcommit too much as Pablo takes it downfield. This is a dangerous ball right now. Tide's going to be able to get a good touch here. Uh, the bump being avoided by Spoods, I believe. Spoods was looking to get bumped right there, but he just avoids it really big as it sets up for this stoppage right here. Pablo leaving it down for Tide. Or Biggie, sorry, <laughs> my bad. But uh, Biggie not able to find the shot. Tide's backfield waiting for the clear. Nitrix, you have to make a huge touch here, and he does. He's going to make another huge touch here as he gets it past the second defender. All he has to beat is Pablo, but Pablo knows not to, not to get nervous. He knows he just has to find a calm clear. Pass up by Tide. It's actually going to be comboed up by Pablo. Vesh awkward on the back wall, but he gets it. Nitrix, huge save from Big E's shot. And he keeps St. Clair up a goal with two minutes left in the game. Nitrix is really just showing up for his team this series. I think all of us are very, very pleased to see this, especially because... Oh my... Wow. What a demo. Wow. Wow. Okay. Sorry, let me collect my thoughts, I guess. <laughs> Nitrix... Again, proving me right, huge demo, leaving the net just completely open for Spoods. He's really just showing us, he's like, I want to be here, I belong on this team, and he's really just proving himself worthy right now. And he's looking so good through this series, as we've said multiple times before, he's looking to make another impact here as he clears the ball wide. They are doing really good right now, Spoods setting up that pressure off the demo, Vesh looking to chase the ball down. Both Saints at 100 boosts right now. How can they combo up? Spoods with the 50. Can he find another one? Not quite as Pablo has the clear. Nitrix up. That's a really good ball. Is there going to be a Saint shooter? No. And I'm actually glad there wasn't because uh, Indiana was actually set up really nicely there to allow a Saint to come in. They were kind of baiting the overcommit, but the Saints don't bite on this one. Nitrix with another huge demo to counter Vesh being cleared off the pitch. And it seems like right now, Spoods trying to find something in the back line. He's not quite going to get it, but he can force the 50 and get yet another demo. These Saints demo heavy as we roll into the last minute of the game. Yeah, the last minute of the game, a two-goal lead. It's looking good for the Saints, but Indiana not putting, uh, losing out on the pressure here. Tied, getting a full charge. Here we go, Vesh going to bounce it out. They're going to probably try for another goal. They want to secure a three-goal lead and guarantee their win here and keep up the pressure. Huge demo by Vesh. And there is Nitrix. They're in the goal on the back line, keeping up the defense. Spoots trying to find some way to make a good in here for his team. There's Nitrix setting up. There's Vesh going for the air. Spoots going to meet it in the air, send it down to Indiana's corner. There they are. There's this huge setup. There's I was gonna say that's a setup. That's a goal by Spoods. Amazing shot. He's managing to find these crazy bank shots time and time again, securing the 3 0 lead for St. Clair College. Spoods realizing that all three players from Indiana are up. All he needs to do is read the sidewall. It doesn't matter if it's a shot, it doesn't matter if it's a pass. If Spoods can just get something to go there, there will be no one in the back line to stop it. He finds the shot, puts Saints up 3 0. Nitrix looking to do the same. He's gonna to try to go up 4 0. 
20 seconds left. Right now, the Saints, if I'm Indiana State right now, I am definitely creasing a little bit. This should be it as the Saints do march down that clock. 10 seconds left. The Saints should be able to put it away. Nitrix says one more for the road. Off the pass from Spoods. And they're going to clean up in what was a very clean series. Absolutely. I mean, game three, 4 0. It's, it's big. I, this is obviously really, really important for St. Clair. They really, really clearly want to win this. Obviously, the game is done, even though there is five seconds on the clock. It's not over till the ball touches the ground, but it's wow. in their net again. Okay, thanks, Vesh. Uh, nice. Five. Just oh. one more. I guess why not? Just to Everybody add gets the a stats goal. a little. Everybody gets a goal. Every, some people get two. Some people get one. Everybody gets at least one goal on the Saints roster, and they have to be feeling good, honestly. 3-0, best of five, that's really, really important for them and really useful. Yeah, that is great for the mental. Everybody played amazingly. Great teamwork, great setups, great goals all around. Yeah, and I think the Saints looking really, really good, and they're doing, they're, they're honestly, they're, they've looked, that's the best series I think they've played so far. Absolutely, I I agree. will say that. And it's important because they're doing it at the right time, right? So... Right now, there's no better time for you to have to lock in. It seems like all of the issues that they had in that series completely drowned out. They played so good. I want to take a look at our bracket, see what we got cooking up. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll see if we get that bracket up. Here we are. We are going up to St. Clair Saints versus OSU Scarlet. We have our work cut out for them, but I just want to keep talking about the last game that happened. A 3-0. Our first 3-0 in the series. I've been guessing it time and time again. We didn't get time to guess this time, but I would have said 3-0 because uh -huh. I believe in the Saints. Likely story. <laughs> what happened to rooting for the underdogs? What? Well, we are the underdogs. We're oh, losers okay. bracket. We're clawing our way back up, and we are going to the grand... Uh, Losers, Losers finals. Final. Losers yeah. finals. Almost said grand finals. We were up there. I was looking at the top there. There we are. We're going to losers finals. How does it feel? We've worked our way all the way up through losers. Just one more opponent, and then we're there in grand finals. Well, I must say they're looking really, really good right now. But this is the losers bracket. You get up. You need to take two best of five series off of Nichols College, and uh, it's no easy task. But if it's any team that's going to get it done, we know it's our Green Saints. So uh, we're going to keep on rocking through this lower bracket. Saints, OSU, when we come back.
Here we are in Losers Finals, St. Clair College versus Ohio State University. Another rematch of a lifetime. We are here. Things are heating up. How do we think this is going to fare? And uh, this is a really big series right now. Obviously, we know these guys, OSU, the ones who sent us down here, trying to look for revenge. A Spoods get the quick save off of Gaines. Let's see what can the Saints do here. Nitrix up the top. He's going to try to find the center. And uh, Gaines with the flip reset. He's going to try to move it downfield, alleviating some of that pressure. Liss off the field, off the demo. I feel like I am scared of that man's name. We know what he did to us last time. <laughs> And uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how this almost seemingly new revamped Saints uh, team is kind of uh, going through. And I'm calling them that because they have looked lights out ever since being thrown down here. And uh, I think they've definitely got the confidence to rock this one out. Dash on the dribble. What can he find? Not much, but he's going to force a 50. Spoods. Can he beat the man in the corner? Not quite. Bliss. But he's going to get his boost pad robbed, actually. Let's see how this sets up. Desan going to be able to center it downfield to Liss but it's not going to go through. Vesh with a quick clear, and it seems like St. Clair right now alleviating some of this pressure that Ohio is putting on. Shot coming up from Spoods and a save from Liss to boot. I mean, like we've said before, Liss is scary. I'm really hoping that St. Green isn't too scared, like as scared as we are, I guess. Like, I'm just intimidated right now. Already coming out with a shot as well, saved by Nitrix. Like we said though, Saints played very, very well last series. So hopefully they can transfer that over to this one because this series is so, so important. Really hoping that pressure doesn't get to them. Liss is a very, very talented player as well as everybody in this series. Everybody here wants this so, so bad. It's so important. And I'm honestly really excited. Nitrix already with the demo. Nitrix is kind of just tearing through the field these past few games. Even in last series, he's just absolutely hitting everybody and making space for his team, which is so, so important. And two minutes pass, no goals yet. There's lots of space for both teams. Yeah, but oh. Vash getting a quick goal just as he say that. There you we think go. you can hear me. Securing the goal lead every time you talk. I know. I, like every time goal. I say something, I'm just proven wrong or something by them. <laughs> That's the me. caster's curse right <laughs> there. There are Vash bringing the Polish power back into the game here. Got to bring that up. Getting the goal out of the gate. A much needed lead to start off here against Ohio State. And right now we see Vesh on the play. What can he do? High off the ceiling, but he can't quite get the flip. Like can go for the air dribble, dropping it down for Spoots. Spoots with the center. No one there on the side of St. Clair to finish. Spoots, he has the 100 pad. What can you do off the sidewall? List is going to be able to meet him. Shooter, it's going to be an awkward ball. Can Spoots beat the man to the net? He does, but he needs some help. Vesh able to give that to him. Desan. Awkward touch, but he has one boost. He can't do much better than that. He grabs the mid pad on the way back down. Spoods, almost looking like he wanted to fake a breezy flick there. Not really finding it, though, as he leaves it for Desan. Now, Desan clearing it out. Spoods with another challenge on the list. He's going to win this one out. Nitrix waiting in the backfield. He needs a play to sort of develop. Spoods trying to look for one right there, but it just doesn't go. Gains off the top, but Nitrix beats him to the ball. A little bit of an awkward save by Liss as there was pressure mounting on the back from Vesh. He's going to still be there. Forcing up the 50. Spoods on the catch in the midair. Can he find the 50? He can. Not in his favor, though. Nitrix looking to clean it up. A lot of back and forth right now as we get into this game of volleyball. Not Rocket League, as it looks <laughs> like. And uh, right now, I think uh, if the Saints can just keep this up, it's looking pretty good for them. Yeah, both teams playing very high. There's Liss. They see an opening. They can't quite close it out there. Their teammate goes for a shot, but Spoods manages to save out. Desan keeping up the pressure, though. Sending another goal their way. There's Gaines going for another goal, and that is a goal for Ohio State University, bringing it to 1-1 in game one. Slow and methodical is the play here. We see the passing from Liss to Gaines off the back, and, I mean, you just can't slot them much better than that. Top corner, extremely hard to get a, to get a car on that, and it's just not going to be the case as we hit a minute 20 left to go. Nitrix, a little bit of a weird kickoff wow. here. Saints bring out some kickoff strats. Vesh, he's going to be able to force the 50 and get an assist to boot. Nitrix there on the cheat. He's going to just find it, placing it just wide enough so Liss has too much of a hard time trying to get back and finding it. Won't be able to do so. Saints up 2-0 as we get into a minute 18. And that's huge as well. I mean, 
up a goal is always really important, especially off of a kickoff. You don't usually see that often. Usually kickoffs are all kind of the same. So it's a little odd when it something messes up and then it's scored. And it's always fun to see that as well. Seeing something new in Rocket League is always really, really interesting. With a minute left, let's see how Ohio State is able to answer. And they are going to wow. get a goal as I say that. A lot of back and forth with this team, a lot of passing plays, and everybody was up as well. They were very, very committed to this goal. 2-2, two, two, 55 seconds. And I guess I said 2-0 earlier. I did actually mean 2-1. Sorry for the folks at home. Uh, Ohio State finding their equalizer there as it's 2-2 now with under a minute left. Pressure rising. How is Desh going to react? Liss beating him to the ball. I feel like Liss is just always there no matter what for his team as they try to score. They try to forge their way through this game, but Vesh looking to say different. He gets the demo. He's going to leave it for Spoods. Spoods on the solo play. What can you do? You have the flip. Can you have the beat? No. Gaines off, willing to challenge. Gaines with a quick clear. What can Vesh do? Vesh is in a really awkward position. Gaines with a quick shot out. Saved out by Nitrix, but it's in a weird position. Huge save by Spoods as he forces the 50 to go wide. Nitrix, Spoods on the side. What can they do? They need to find Vesh, and Vesh they find. Vesh on the air dribble. He has wow. no boost though. Can he force the 50? No. Quick save by Desan, and really, really good by him as he recognizes with Vesh out of boost, not willing to force the 50, trying to find a side bounce. Seems like it's coming off the ceiling. Gains with the ceiling shot, but it's not going to quite fall. Vesh off the long clear. What can they find? Ball can't touch the ground. It seems like Ohio State not electing to go for overtime. They try to get a ball at the back, but it's going to there be killed. OT, ladies and gentlemen, as we have game one in this thrilling series. Already going to OT in game one. These teams are so evenly matched. St. Clair Saints have learned from their losses, and they want to win it here and get the lead in this series. But... Ohio State is giving them a run for their money and with their overwhelming offense and pressure. It is hard to deny that they are a force to be reckoned with. They Absolutely. Are. I agree. I mean, Ohio State is, as we have played them before, we know the talent that they bring. And 2-2 first game overtime is very, very interesting to see. It really just shows like you said, how evenly matched these teams are. And it really just adds to the stress of it all. Like we're only on game one and we're 40 seconds into overtime, 2-2. It's kind of scary, I guess. Like how long is this series gonna be if this is how it's looking? And right now back and forth we go, Gaines off the side. He's gonna get bumped out by what was Vesh actually, I believe, or a teammate, Spoods, trying to come off the sidewall. He's not gonna find it. Gaines, a little bit of a backflip, trying to delay time, actually leaving it for his other teammate. And now Gaines with the side boost. What can he do? He has the air dribble. He's trying to beat a man, but Nitrix there with the save. Vesh with the demo. Nitrix with the clear. This is a big play from the Saints right now. Doesn't seem like they're gonna be able to get a man to it though. Vesh on zero boost and same with Nitrix. This is big right now for Ohio State. Spoods electing to clear, giving his teammates time to gather boost right now, which is very important. Vesh on the quick drop. He's not going to find anything though, as right now OSU setting up what seems to be a little bit of a passing play. Bad miss there by Nitrix. That might come to bite them in the butt later, but we'll see. Vesh with the flip reset. Seems like Nitrix did a really good job of recovering in the back line. He'll be there for the next one, and he's going to set up Vesh, who's going to set up Spoods. Nitrix now working down the sideline. What can he find? Nothing through the corner, and it seems like for now, pressure is being relieved by OSU. Oh, it's, it's a very back and forth game here. Ohio State, very, very good on the offense, but just as I say that, the Saints are making their mounting their own offense. It almost gets a goal, great goal by Vesh, but Desan there to get the block. This now getting the ball and gearing up for a good push here. Spoon's gonna knock it right back. And there's Nissan gonna send it towards the Saints goal. And there's Nitrix there with the save. It's a very close game. Like you said, it's like volleyball, but a little bit more tense here with only one goal needed. And they get a big block. It's back and forth here. It's getting I really will close. add that quote unquote big block though required a team pinch. Lots of boost being wasted there. They're definitely going to have to stand up and stand up tall they must in order to clear this ball out. Vesh is going to try to do just that obviously from before. And now they need to work on clearing this ball. Spoods off the side. He's gonna find, no, Desan's gonna cut him off. Looking for the double off the ground. He has zero boost, so we can't work with it. He's going to leave it for Liss. Liss, can you read the double tap? No, Nitrix able to meet him up top. Going to be swatted down now. Gaines, he has 23 in the tank. Gonna get passed by Vesh, up to Nitrix. <clears throat> can Nitrix find Spoods? Sorry, I got choked up on my own words there. Wait, 
Wow. What just happened? That was almost like a ghost hit there that kind of like forced <laughs> the ball to kind of just keep moving. But it doesn't matter as Ohio State clears out. And uh, they are, you know, it seems like whatever St. Clair throws at them, and whenever Ohio State throws at St. Clair, able to get cleared out. Just as I say that, ground pinch coming up. Does he have the bump in list? He does not. Vesh with a really good save to close it out. Three and a half minutes into overtime right now. It's a little exhausting for these two teams. It's just constant back and forth. It's very stressful, I guess. Nitrix trying to get the ball in the corner there. He's going to pick up full boost. But Liss is just absolutely tearing through. Spoots, lots of boost in the tank. He's going to try to beat up this defender with the flip reset. And he gets it over him. Wow. Oh, he's he's just to carry it into the net. Spoots. Oh, my God, team captain showing us exactly what he's capable of. What a beautiful, beautiful solo play by him with the flip reset. So amazing. Take a drink, young man. You deserve it. Spoods with the absolute crazy play to lock the Saints in game one. I must say, I think they're looking really, really good. Revenge is in the water. Spoods in the green team. They can smell it. I mean, absolutely, and they must be feeling good after that. What a great way to end a game, especially over time. You really tire out that team, and being able to have that extra goal after such a long overtime is so, so important. And I think this team's really looking good, and I'm very, very excited for this next game. Yeah, but cruising in over the top and dunking that in into their goal. St. Clair is starting off with a great win there, but Gaines gets the demo right off the bat. He's sending it down the field into the... Ohio State's corner here, and Besh gearing up for a good goal, and Besh getting an amazing goal and amazing assist by Spoods. What a way to start off the next match. Spoods gonna start off the sidewall. He's gonna find one, he's gonna find two for the triple tap into the assist there. Vesh making sure that he also follows his man just to put it away. St. Clair up, 1-0, 4.50 to go. Kickoff on the way, favors Spoods. Looking to avoid the demo there off the kickoff, and he does. Nitrix on the 50. He's going to find it, but it's going to be a little bit of an awkward ball. Vesh being lured out here from Liss. We know what Liss can do for this team. Spoods, though, electing to clear it with a flip reset. He has it. It looks like he's setting up Vesh, but Vesh just can't quite beat his man. Spoods, though, is everywhere right now. It seems like this man has been everywhere on the pitch for this entire tournament. And now that there's some support coming in, it feels like right now we are seeing the best of St. Clair today as they're able to flourish in all areas right now. Nitrix setting up the 50. He's going to have it down to Spoods with a long clear. All St. Clair having boost, and they are looking good through four minutes of action. Sorry, one minute of action, four minutes yeah, left. Feels like there's been four minutes with how many good plays have gone on already and how long that last match went on <laughs> in OT. Here we are, Nitrix in the corner. Looks like they're gearing up for another goal, but Deeson ready to defend it. Deeson carrying it down lane, gearing up his team for a goal themselves. And they almost sink it, and they just barely miss. No defense in sight. Nitrix is going to carry it all the way downfield, gear up for another goal. But there they are. Gets defended there. It's back and forth. We're in the stalemate again. It seems to be a very close match. And with that one goal lead, St. Clair is looking very, very good. And I will say right now, Nitrix is going to try to find the shot. Not quite going to fall. Vesh, what can you do off the back wall? Can you burn some time? Yes, you can. Do you have the flip? Electing not to use it, going for the ground. Wow. Absolutely juking the defender. He's going to set up the 50. Demo on the side of Nitrix. Can Nitrix find the shot? Can he find the double? No. Just saved out. Spoods looking to clear here. And we see an awkward backflip from Gaines, actually. He's going to want that one back, and he's wow. going to find it. Off the double. It's almost like he just knew what was going to happen. Maybe that's why he's on this pro team and I'm not. <laughs> Liss able to find the uh, bump, honestly, into the pass. Gaines just being able to clean it up right now. Tying it in at three minutes. 1-1. One, one. It's looking to be a good one here. Here we are in game two. Here's the kickoff. Already on the Saints side. Going to try and get it out of the corner there. There's Spoods carrying it to like a pretty open net. But there's someone to stop that goal there. Couldn't really read the name. <laughs> it's okay. I just want to say real quick, because uh, I've been looking over, I can tell you're trying to say something. Avery, what are you thinking about this match right now? What are you kind of like breaking down? What are you, what are you reading throughout? <laughs> I'm just so excited. I just, I think that this series is really, really exciting, especially because we've played Ohio State before. And I really think that the Saints look so good right now after last game as well they've really carried it over and you can see the aggression you can see the shots that they're taking they're feeling really really good and it's always just something that i love to see i i love to see a confident team and even though it is 1-1 with two minutes left i'm very very confident in st Clair's abilities to 
get them the lead oh, in this no. game, but I don't want to <laughs> curse it. I'm scared. Spoons, thank you. You saved me. Oh my goodness, with a beautiful save there. I almost cursed it. I'm maybe I just shouldn't speak anymore ever again because I am scared right now. No, 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 no. I mean, I think you have great takes. You have to talk, even if it means you're maybe cursing the team. <laughs> I've done it about like three times so far this stream. So I mean, uh, I, look, maybe if St. Clair loses the series, you just blame it on me. Maybe I was a problem <laughs> on how they got to the lower bracket. I don't look know. at that. You know what's not going to be a problem is Vesh reading this beautiful double tap right now. I'm gonna break it down, which gets. See the goal replay. There we go. Sorry. Just open. Just the, yeah, it looked like it was just open, and that's why I wanted to see that. I wanted to know, did he beat a defender? No, I guess, I mean, I guess no, it just, just, OSU was just overcommitted, long shot, and Vesh is just going to be able to read the double. A little bit of an overextend from OSU there. And now St. Clair has a goal lead. It seemed like that came out of nowhere. Surprised everybody. Here they are, Spoods trying to close out another goal lead. He's in the corner, brawling out. And uh, there's Vesh. Trying to find some way that he can interact with the ball there, watching for any big bounces. There's Nitrix. Sees an opening. He's going for it. He's not quite get it, though, because Liss is ready to defend. Fish going up for another goal. It looks pretty open, but there's Gaines, ready to defend it. The defense from Ohio State is impeccable, but now they're flipping to offense, looking for something to change this in. One minute remaining. That was a great shot of the goal, but great defense by Vesh. It is getting pretty down to the wire here with only one minute remaining. St. Clair right now, sitting pretty with 49 seconds left, but anything can happen. Only a one goal lead. You don't have that comfort cushion. You cannot give up a goal and give up overtime. Spoods looking for the back wall clear, trying to find Nitrix on the redirect. It's going to be found, but a quick save out by Dison. Flicks over Nitrix. He's going to try to uh, alleviate some of this pressure and find the play in Liss. It's going to go off the corner, cleared out by St. Clair now. Vesh following this ball. What can you do? Pass forced out by Gaines, and it seems like Nitrix trying to put some pressure on this OSU defense right now, but oh, Dison wow. able to clear it out. A little bit of an overcommit right now. They need to recover. Double commit on the jump there. Vesh, though, buying his team time. Can he find this double? It's going to be cleared out by Gaines. Ten seconds left to go as this clock ticks down. St. Clair, you got to buy time. You have to find a clear. They do. That should ice the game, but you never know. You need this ball to touch ground. Spoots, what can you do? Fakes the challenge, but oh no. That's a huge clear right now. Liss, can he find oh, the touch? Wow. No, he can't. I thought the ball was coming off of the corner, but it seems that it just was stalling out a little bit. Luck on the Saints side, <laughs> ball touches the ground, that kills it. Saints with a 2-0, up. Yeah, that, they are playing very, very well. If they get the th reverse 3-0, get their revenge against OSU, would be a great, great comeback here. I think OSU is the one that knocked them out yes. of winners, so this would be great revenge on the Saints side, and they are here to play very, very well. It's exciting, too. I mean, seeing the switch up in this series as opposed to the last one, it's very, very interesting to see Saints up 2-0 right now. I, I think it's obviously very good for them. I Obviously, their mental is a lot better than how it was when they originally faced Ohio State. I think it's really, really important to have that. And Game 3, all they need to do is win this, and then they're out of losers, essentially. Yeah, but then again really big mission on the other side if you do come out of this series but they don't want to focus on that right now they need to focus on what's in front of them 2-0 right now as the saints are in 30 seconds into the match Vesh with a quick flip reset it might be open but Liss able to just get there in time in the nick of time sending it out nitrix he's trying to find some pressure a little bit of a redirect try from spoods there but it's going to be ended up cleared Ooh. out Vesh with a crazy save off Liss's, uh not Liss's shot uh that was i believe gains i'm assuming Anyway, Liss is going to come back down and try to find some more pressure, but it didn't happen. Now St. Clair kind of clearing the ball out. Nitrix really good dump down into the enemy's back line. Vesh, what can you do here? Can you force a 50? No, not quite. Spoots trying to lurk in the defensive back line. He finds the touch. That's a really big demo from Vesh, but Spoots only with 14 boosts. Can he find the flippery city? He can, but no power off of it. Again, not having a really big boost number. Can't really do much there. Nitrix, shadow defense, having to use all that boost to force a 50, but he gets there and he does. Huge 50 on the side of Nitrix. He has to make sure he doesn't get demoed going back. Spoots off the top. He finds the ceiling, but it's a little bit volatile as the ball is just really wild off that bounce. Vesh setting up a 50 here, and it seems like both teams playing a little bit of volleyball as we go back and forth. That is a very close game here, very back and forth, but the net is open. Does not find anything bringing bring that to the corner there. 
Vesh looking to find something here. Spoods on the defense, gonna save it for his team. Send it into the corner. There's Nitrix there to join him. Gaines sending it to his team, passing, passing it, going for a shot. Good save by Vesh. It is a tough game here. Both teams very evenly matched. Could be anyone's game here. I feel like the next goal will seal the deal here. Here's Spoods going for one. He's not quite find it. There's Vesh though to follow up. Dison misses the defense, but there's Gaines to follow that right up and Liss to follow up on the one that Nitrix followed up on. Wow, this is moving very, very, very quickly. There's a, there's a lot happening. Sometimes it's a little hard to keep track of, especially when you don't understand the game. I can only imagine what this is like to watch when you don't understand what's going on. I understand the game. I just don't understand the terminology. No, I just mean exactly. like anybody. For the viewers at home. The yeah, yeah. viewers at home. <laughs> I would never say you don't know what you're talking about here. <laughs> um, I think so much aggression from these teams already two minutes left no goals yet very different from the last couple of games uh but i don't think it's anything to worry about on the side of saint Clair. don't want to cast her's curse but they are very comfortable right now up 2-0 in this series and i think this game is going pretty good for both sides i think both of them are playing very very well and able to keep it where they want it to go and I think it has to be said right now, St. Clair, they're coming off of a really good confidence level, knowing that in order to lose this series, they'd have to give up a reverse sweep. Obviously, one game, though, can spark the uh, the sweep for anyone. So if you're St. Clair, you really need to try to just close it out. Make sure you don't have to go through that embarrassment. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens here. Spoods with another great save going off the top wall. Not very challenging shot, but nevertheless, if he doesn't save that, obviously, it's a goal. Vesh off the top. Wow. What can he find? Flip reset. Is he going to use it? Can't quite find the mark. Spoots having a quick aerial to get up, but he's beaten from a guy on the ceiling. Who was that? How was he even there? How did he even read that? That was very impressive. Spoots off the shot, but Dison able to get the quick save up. Vesh trying to center. Can he find the ceiling shot? He can, but Dison again reading out. Dison He's an insane goalkeeper in these past couple of shots here that we've been seeing. And it seems oh, like right wow. now, OSU setting up their offense, able to go off the back of Dison saves, but it's not going to be happening as St. Clair relieving that pressure once again. Yeah, one minute left. in, no goals scored. It's a very, very even game. St. Clair just needs to score one goal, and it could be them winning the entire series here. It's 2-0. Ohio State really needs to win this here. But without even it's going, just as I say that, Ohio State wins a very much needed goal. Look at Liss getting the nice bank shot there with their team there in the support stopping Spoods. Huge demo. That's very unfortunate for Spoods as well. That has to be so frustrating knowing that you were right there for it and you just couldn't make it. Gains with that amazing demo. It's so, so important. He was very able to make space for List there. Wow! So oh my Vesh god! He's gonna make some for his own team with that beautiful play. You can see it on his face. He's very proud of himself with that shot and the assist from Nitrix. Just beautiful. Well done. St. Clair, it's not over till it's over. Not zero seconds left on the clock. 30 seconds. Can they win this game real quick? Kickoff going awry on the side of Ohio State. It seems like List in the back line. He has zero boost now. He can't make a challenge. Vesh able to put it down. 19 seconds to spell the series. Potentially. Spoods with a quick shot. Saved up by Liss. He's going to have to recoup back line. You do not want to give this game up. We need to force overtime or win. Eight seconds left. You need to stand strong, defense. Vesh with a quick flip. It's not going to find anybody. No one's going to bite on it, though. It's going to be opted for a ground, but hold on. Here we are. I thought that Gaines just made possibly one of the plays of the tournament, keeping it up there <laughs> if that would have gone in, but not quite. Vesh with a free shot, Gaines with a quick save, Spoods off the top, can you catch? Yes, you can get the catch. He can't get the flip off the ceiling and use it though. Nitrix getting bumped out, but he actually ends up un inadvertently bumping two Ohio State players, which is not actually that bad for the trade-off of what you were trying to go for. Quick save by Nitrix. Quick redirect by Vesh. Spoods, you have to beat this man up top, and he does, alleviating the quick pressure from the Saints. Nissan's ready in the corner, gonna send it down the field here. Gearing up for a big push there, but Spoods and Nitrix there to meet him. Gaines gonna send it right back down there, keeping the pressure on. They need this goal now more than ever. It is game point, or series winning for St. Clair if they score just one more point. The tensions are high, Spoods is carrying it in. Is anyone there to help him out? But no. Ohio State has a great defense here. 
Edric's going for it. He ba doesn't bounce it off the backboard there. Dash. Gonna try and air carry it in. The Saints are keeping up the pressure very, very, very well. But there, Ohio State finally knocks it off of their side of the field and more towards the middle here. Now it's in the Saints' corner. It is getting very, very close here. Oh. It's a little stressful. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm sensing this is kind of the same. It reminds me of a little overtime we saw earlier. It was a very long overtime, and it involved a crazy play from Spoods. Maybe we could see something like that again. It would be obviously very, very helpful for Saints Green. But Ohio State needs this goal now. They, this is, it's, it's do or die for them at this point. Like this is the tournament. They need it. They need this game. If they can't get it, they're out. Whereas Saints Green, if they get it, they move on to very, very difficult bracket reset. But still, it's always really nice to go into something with a win in your pocket. Two minutes into overtime almost. Vesh with almost a shot, but it is going to be saved out. Nitrix trying to keep the pressure on, getting it past List. Over to Vesh towards the net, but it is going to be saved by Gaines. The aggression is really coming out from both teams here. Spoo's trying to do something with it, but he's just not going to get it. Vesh hitting it back to the orange side. List hitting it wide. It's just seemingly always on the orange side, especially when it's going towards the Saints roster. And right now, St. Clair, they're doing such a good job of keeping up this pressure right now. You can almost smell it. They can sense it in the water. They know that this game can be theirs. Vesh, 70 boost. You have the air dribble off the standing shot. He's able to get past two. Can he beat the third? No, Desam with a quick save out. Right now, Nitrix trying to find a solo play, or not a solo play, sorry, a center, as uh, that gets cleared out there. Vesh, you have to have a huge clear here, and he does. Can you use the flip and beat your man? Yes, you can. Spoots off the sidewall. What's he gonna do? He has a huge clear. Can he find the redirect? Yes, he can. Vesh almost putting an absolute laser in, saved out by Liss. Liss keeping Ohio State alive, keeping them in this game. And we have to see St. Clair how are you going to stop this iron wall defense? How are you going to fill the gaps? Are you going to find the daylight? Or is Ohio State going to keep themselves alive? It's anybody's game, but Ohio State is putting up the pressure here. Huge shot by Deson. A huge save by Vesh. It is getting very close here. That was wow. a fast ball right down, putting that right in front of OSU's net. But Gaines is going to send it right back down the lane here. Desan going to make another goal. Ohio State mounting up the pressure. To hit, well, got the hit off the backboard, but not able to follow it up. Liss <laughs> sending it right across the side field there. And Gaines there as the strong stalwart guard. It is a very, very, very even game. The Saints want to snuff Ohio's State's light out right here. And Nitrix just misses the goal. It's so, so unfortunate too. Back and forth. And we are four minutes into this overtime. It's almost as long as a normal game. Yeah. We shall see how this goes. It's a very, very close game. A little bit of a dangerous ball and that wow. is going to end it. You hate to see it end like that. Huge error on the side of the Saints right now. You can tell. Pinch comes back. Nitrix just snuck up a little too far, but That's you can't tough. blame him. No one can expect something like that, right? Horrible way to end the game. But nevertheless, give Ohio State their kudos. They kept this iron wall defense up, and it ends up paying off as they take what is now an interesting series. This is true. I mean, interesting is definitely the word for it. Exciting, stressful, all of it. Anywhere that you can think of is this series. This series makes you happy. It makes you sad. It makes you scared. As we talked about, Liss is terrifying. But our Saints roster has gotten a little scary themselves, honestly. I'm very proud of what they've been able to do throughout this tournament and what they've been able to pick up and improve on, and they're really showing it in this series. But they're still in it. We're going into game four here. Going into game four here. And it is a very tense match. Saints just need one, and Ohio State wants the reverse sweep started here. We're off to a very difficult start for the Saints. Nitrix is going to get the demo, though. So it's going to turn it around for us here. There's another demo right back from Gaines. The ball is being sent back and forth, but the net is open. List there, the big save, but Spood's going to sneak that right by, but Gaines ready to save as well. It's so back and forth here. Keeps getting sent to the corner. There's Spood's ready for the save as well. Oh boy. You've gotta, you know, you just got to say right now, you just wish uh, Spood just put a little more firepower on that. Maybe it gets past Gaines. <laughs> Not the case there, though. Gaines making sure that he stays back, stays composed. Vesh off the sidewall. 16 boost is going to force the ground pinch. 
50 it out. Nitrix, you have to beat this other man. He does. And Vesh, can you get down for the shot? Is it going to be more of a pass? It is. Where is Spoods or Nitrix for the shot? There's Nitrix. It's not going to go the way, though. They need to find a really good save there. It's not going to happen. That is near impossible. As we see Gaines passing it out to Deson. They had that play written up immediately. They knew exactly where they had to be. Spoods and the rest not able to come back on defense. Yeah, it was a very unfortunate that Spoots was not able to save that there, but you know, you can't blame him. You know, it's a team game. You all got to be ready to take up that defense role. And just like that, OSU mounting an amazing offense and keeping up the incredible pressure as the OSU we saw earlier today and the last time these two teams played. So there's lots to lose here. You want to get the revenge against them. You want to win this out. You have a two lead, two point lead here in the series. So it is very, very tense. Really good shopping force out there by Gaines, but it's just going to be saved out. Veshi is going to be demoed on the play, though, from Liss. Deson trying to find a man in the center. Not going to find it, though. Nitrix beats the guy. He is going to see if he can get a demo in the backfield. He does. Can he find two? He can. Where's the shot going to go? Vesh, pick your pocket. Pick your corner. It's in. He snipes an absolute beauty of a shot through. Fielded by Nitrix's, uh, well, let's say, aggressive play style in the back line as he finds the demo, finds the bump, sets everything up. Yeah, I mean, that was beautiful from Nitrix as well. We 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 just continue to talk about it, how impressive he is in this series. In the last, he's really just showing improvement along with the whole Saints roster. It's really, really important. 1-1, one, one, three minutes on the clock. This is very, very good for St. Clair, almost with another goal from Spoods, but it's just going to be saved out. Gaines trying to get the flip reset. He is going to get it, trying to score, but Vesh is going to be there along with everybody else on the Saints roster. So that was very, very hard to score for him. It does stay on the blue side until Nitrix has something to say about it. Wanting that clear, Spoots taking it up the wall, trying to beat this defender, but he's just not going to get there. It's just a battle of the clears at this point and the demos, I guess, as we can see. It's just constantly back and forth and a demo and back and forth and another demo and so on and so on. And honestly, it seems like right now, really aggressive play style coming out from both teams right now. They're just trying to hang on to this 1-1 lead, seeing who can just thread the needle, who's going to be able to find it. Vesh is going to be able to find List on a demo, and then Gaines is going to be able to find uh, Nitrix on a bump. You know, just coming out here, both teams playing very aggressive, really stressful game coming out. Both teams know exactly what is on the line. Winner going to the finals, if, well, winner of the series going to the finals, sorry. Uh, and also winner if Ohio State wins this, of course, forcing that game five if St. Clair wins this, going to the finals. You gotta think, tensions are high, but you have to lock in. Vesh is looking to do just that. Carrying that ball down, electing to leave his boost full as he will now take it for the solo play. However, it's going to be hit out by the OSU, def uh, OSU attacker, uh, Liss, trying to find something on the sidewall. It's looking very, very good here from the Saints. Really big redirect. Can wow. Vesh find it? He can! Zero boost and a dream as Vesh able to take that one. He knows exactly what he's going to go for. Wave dash, his kickoff, sorry, not kickoff, his car is going at supersonic speed. He knows he can just line that turn, sending the uh, defender of OSU into the break room. And uh, he knows he has him right where he wants him. Hits that quick flick, sending the Saints up with the lead. However, that lead may not last for very long as OSU works down the field. Yeah, and I mean, oh, oh, sorry, my no, bad. You go, I was you just go. gonna say it was really good from Nitrix how he just let the ball just bounce right off his car into Vesh. I think that was perfect, perfect positioning from him. I think positioning like that is really, really important. That's all I was gonna say. Yeah, that was amazing positioning indeed with one minute remaining. You know, they don't just have the finals on the line here. You want to get revenge against Ohio State, who sent you here to losers. You don't want to just win. You want to win in style. So here we are. Desan mounting a good pick there. Vesh going to get the good demo, though. Just like that, Spoots sends it way downtown and carries it gracefully into the enemy's goal, securing the two-goal lead against Ohio State. Very critical here as there's only 42 seconds left. Ohio State thrown to panic stations now. They got to start sending full house. They got to start taking risks. St. Clair's going to have to meet those, and St. Clair has to burn time. Anything possible with 42 seconds left. Vesh on a really good kickoff, though, on the way of Claire. However, 
quick recovery now by OSU. They're going to send it into the end, but Spoods with the save, Vesh with the demo. Vesh is still on the bottom. What can he do here? Centering play for Spoods, but it's just not gonna happen. 26 seconds left. This is what St. Clair needs. They are burning time beautifully. The wow. shot's gonna come out. The two in Spoods and Vesh know exactly where they have to be at this time. Let's see this play. It's actually gonna be Nitrix, my fault. He's going to force Listen to a horrible position. All Spoods has to do is play the 50. Nitrix looking really good in the back line throughout this whole series. It's gonna come back to bite. And I'm gonna say it, I think this might be it here. I think that might be the dagger. Wow. And if that wasn't, this one certainly is. Saints running away with it for what seemed like a 1-1 game for so long. They drill their spot into the finals, kick OSU out of the lower bracket, and they are headed to the grand finals with Nichols College where they will have to force a reverse sweep. And a, sorry, not a reverse sweep, a bracket reset. And uh, it's gonna be a tough one, but we'll see how the green team can handle it. I think that's so interesting as well, seeing how differently they've played Ohio State, especially considering Ohio State are the ones who knock them into the loser's bracket. This kind of reminds me of like when you're driving and someone speeds past you and then you pull up at the same red light. <laughs> I feel like that's exactly what just happened here. It's like, okay, why? We're at the same spot kind of thing. And Saints are just gonna knock them out and move on to the finals. I think this is really, really good and exciting for them. Dash able to get a couple touches. Obviously, none of this matters anymore. The Saints know what they've done. <laughs> They're just being mean. They're keeping the ball up. There's no reason to do this at all. Oh, it's fun. But it's fun. Everybody <laughs> in Rocket League does it. That should end it right there, and it does. Saints are your victors heading into the Grand Finals. Yes, they have made their way all the way through losers here and finally got their sweet, sweet revenge against OSU, the ones who kicked them down the stairs into loser's bracket. They crawled their way back up and finally cemented their place in the grand finals against Nichols College, which is going to be a very hard fought battle, but maybe with how well the Saints have been playing, they'll be able to find something here. And let's just review that last game. Like every single player was on point there and just scored amazingly. I just want to look at the bracket one more time as we're getting really close to the end here. Just to confirm, Saints are going to be, when it's all said and done, kicking out OSU, set up into the bracket with Nichols College. And man, Nichols College, we've seen them face our gold team. They are no pushovers. They've swept it's the OSU. They've swept Indiana. They swept Arcadia. They've actually swept oh. everybody. They haven't even lost a game so far today. And we, are you telling me that now we have to come back and win six against them? It's going to be tough. But oh if there's boy. any team who's going to do it, it's this new revamped Saints green team. And, uh, man, they're lit with a fire under their bellies, and they cannot wait to get some sweet, sweet action in this grand final. Like I always say, the green team is the dream team. And we will be right back after a quick break with more action for CRL qualifiers, grand finals. So don't leave. We'll be right back here.
Here we are in the grand finals. St. Clair College Green versus Nichols College. And look at that. K Frost on Nichols College side stirring it off. Very, very strong here in game one. Five seconds in and already scoring a goal. I've casted this team before. I can tell you right now. K Frost, Polar, and who's the third again? I can't. Oh, yeah, Pyro. Sorry. I know they have like four people. So I just kind of remember their bench players sometimes, but I don't remember their other starter. But anyway. K-Frost, Polar, and Pyros, I casted them before when they were facing the gold team. They took them all the way. This team is absolutely unbelievable, as you can tell. They haven't even been beaten earlier today, as I stated before, as they've swept every single team that has crossed their path. St. Clair looking to change that right now. Vesh with the pass of the sidewall to himself, but he's not going to be able to read it out. Pyros, what can he find on this sidewall? He's looking for a setup, but it seems like Spoots, that back wall defender, leaving it out for Nitrix. He's going to get the quick clear, but... It must be said, Nichols College forcing really good pressure early on. Let's see how the Saints come back. Let's see if they can make the come back here today. Look at them carrying it all the way down lane and just another goal by Nichols College. You can see why they've swept so hard. For some reason, they have that secret sauce that lets them dance across any team and manages to sneak in that goal whenever they want. And it is, you know, it has to be said, Nichols College, all three of the players on Nichols College, of course, very, very good. Some of them competing in, uh, you know, RLCS, you know, regional qualifiers and stuff like that. So they all have really good experience uh, and they are, you know, just the clear, they were the clear favorites heading into today. Hopefully Saints trying to change that. But Nichols College showing why they are on top on this bracket so far. Seems like K-Frost looking to try to get the clear. Nitrix, really good job to avoid the bump there. Vesh, what can you find in the, in the solo play? Not going to find very much, as it seems like Polar able to slot one in. The defense just back too late. And it seems like right now, St. Clair, maybe a little bit of fatigue coming through as they were on the lower bracket. Lots of games to have to be played right here. Nichols College looking lights out to start out. Nickel College, Nichols College was out of the game for a while, but they are back and raring to go, starting off with a really three goal lead in just two and a half minutes. It is going very, very quickly here for them. And Vesh looking to try and take some offense back. They need to score a goal very, very soon. And Spoots off the back wall. He's going to try to find the clear here. Seems like the 50 is not going to come out, but it doesn't need to. Vesh, he has the flip reset, baiting out Pyrus' flip. Can't really do too much. K Frost bumping in the back line going on. It was called looking a little bit sidetracked in the back line, but it seems like they are going to recover just fine. Spoods trying to make a solo play happen. Not going to happen on the side of St. Clair. Polar up to 50 Vesh. And right now, it feels like no matter what St. Clair throws at them. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. I was going to pause. <laughs> yeah. You know, I may have been able to hit the reverse caster's cursor. That would have been beautiful. Mm -hmm. But it seems like no matter what St. Clair's throwing at Nichols College right now, they are ready, and they seem like a wall. Another team that just has a defensive wall to them. Yeah, it's like watching a bunch of just, like, pros go at it here. They are just so clean, have so much control of the cards. And just to say that, Vesh manages to score a goal. Very, very well done, Vesh. Vesh quickly reminds everybody right now why this green team is here to play Nitrix with a really good pass, and he's also going to find a backline bump on the goalie, potentially. Vesh reading that double beautifully, as he usually does. And now we have 1-3, and at least, if St. Clair at least loses this game, you can't say they got shut out. They have something, some sort of momentum, some sort of gap to work with. Let's see how they can recover. 2.15 left, still a lot of time to be played here. Vesh with the flip reset, through one, but K-Frost able to bait out the save. Spoods, what can he find? Challenge, just a little bit too late coming out from Spoods, but it's okay, he had barely any boost. There's not really much better of a challenge that you could have put on it in his perspective. Polar, making sure to center this ball. He's trying to find his man. He has exactly who he was looking for, K-Frost making sure that he's just sitting there. Nobody sees him on the defensive side. Spoot's not able to get to it. Nitrix just too slow on the ball. And it seems like K-Frost just knew exactly where it was going to go. Picked St. Clair's pockets. Nichols College lead 4-1. Minute 56 left to play. Yeah, they are playing exceedingly well. Avery, do you have any thoughts about how this is going? I mean, I'm just kind of, I guess, taking it all in. We, we know that Nichols College is obviously a very very good team we've seen the bracket we've seen it all saints have won but they're still down by three it's just 
I mean, so many demos as Not well sure. coming up from Polar there to make space for Pyros. And now it's 1 5 with a minute 35 seconds on the clock. Saints Green. I, I wonder what they're thinking, honestly. I guess that's what's going on in my head. I think right now, if I'm the Saints, I think that I'm looking at what Nichols College is giving you offensively, and I'm starting to realize some sorts of pattern here. It seems like Nichols College really good at finding those backline bumps, especially. Demos, I mean, few and rare in between on the side of Nichols College, honestly. But right now, the big one is finding bumps. They have someone who's sneaking into the backfield, always finding a bump on somebody. And while it doesn't have to be the goalie, it can just be a defender. But that's when they're on offense. Now they're on defense. And on this side, Spoods and Vesh wow. catch them completely lacking. Vesh with the pre-flip. He knows exactly where this ball is going to be, and he knows exactly how he wants to position his, position his car. He's going to find the shot. 5-2 to the to Nichols College, but St. Clair, again, finding some sort of momentum to build off of. They're not out of this one just yet. They aren't out of it just yet, indeed. It's a very, very close match. We, they, like, it's winnable, I mean. <laughs> like, they are putting up a great fight. Indeed, they just need to score three more goals to even it up. It's a big gap, but it is doable here with how they can manage to find these goals. It's a very... Coming down to the wire here, though, with only about 45 seconds left on the clock. It's not looking great for Saints, especially with how aggressive that Nichols College is being right now. Good save by Spoods. Polar there to meet the ball in midair. Wherever the ball is, Nichols College is right there with it. Good big save by Nitrix. And K-Frost chasing that ball down lane and almost just barely saves that goal there. K-Frost doing so good to work on the 2v1. He's just going to avoid the bump, and he just places the ball top bar right where it needs to be in order to go out. Right now, Saints looking from the fake from Pyros. They need to find some sort of offensive pressure, but with only 10 seconds left, I'd have to say this one's looking pretty close to over, and that will do it. K-Frost able to read the wall. Polar, just another touch to burn time. Can Nichols find one more goal? No, they cannot. Nitrix going to just carry this one out, lobbying to pinch it into the ground. That is game one. Off the books, you know, it's over, it's said, it's done with. If I'm the Saints right now, wipe it off. You know, you just gotta think, what have they been showing us on offense? How can we counter it? What's been working on our side for offense? How can we continue to do that? Absolutely, I agree. And I mean, as we know, Nichols is very, very good. I, I don't think Saints are too stressed right now. They seem pretty relaxed, pretty calm. I think they're just thinking about the next game and what they can do to improve, how they can maybe get a little more aggressive, get a little more bumps out to make this space because we know Nichols is not just going to give it to them. They really have to take this space by force, and I think that's really, really important for this team. Yeah, they have their work cut out for them here, though, with Nichols College playing so 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 well it is going to be a tough one to come back from k frost he's trying to find the center right now and he does pyro's not able to tuck it in though quite yet seems like right now k frost rotating back on low boost as st Clair clears it out of their own back end pyro's looking to do exactly the same trying to set up polar for the shot does polar have the read he almost does that would have been absolutely insane on the side of nichols college spoods he has zero boost he has to be very careful with how he wants to use his flip Playing backboard defense, he sees the shot. Can he get there in time? No, not quite. Vesh able to stop it just for the moment. But K Frost and Nichols College sending the full house. Polar with the initial pass to K Frost. Looped out, a lot of pandemonium happening in the backfield, but K Frost finds himself in front and he can 50 it right in. Nichols College up 1 0, 30 seconds into the game. And I must say, it's looking like right now, Nichols College is doing a very good job of getting these Saints back on their back line. The Saints really have to find a way to sort of break through this defense and break through on their own offense, to say the least. Lots of work having to be done here for the Saints if they want to contest. Yeah, Nichols College is so calm and collected. I don't know, on that last goal, they all just, there was no panic driving. They all just stopped, made sure to know where that ball is going and just drove it straight in there. They're calm, they're collected, and they are focused and ready to defend against any goals and make those goals when they need it but it is going a little bit slower for them than it was the last few games Saints playing much more better defensively it's only one point up it was like three points up at this same point in the last game so they're learning they are trying their darndest to make this work 
And I have to say right now, very stressful game. I can only imagine, Avery, you're probably feeling that a little bit <laughs> as uh, 330 off on the board. What are your thoughts right now? I mean, we can see that they're trying to come in with aggression, especially with Nitrix. Nitrix is kind of just wreaking havoc on the field, just hitting who he can and demoing who he can. Never mind, it's Vesh. Vesh is now demoing whoever he can, trying to make the space for his teammates. Whoever it is, it's really important. And at this point, it's gotta just be annoying for Nichols, just like, please stop hitting us is probably what they're thinking. But I don't think they're too, too upset about it. They're one game up in the series, one goal up in the game. Saints have three minutes to do wow. something in return, and that's exactly what they're gonna do. That's exactly what Besh is gonna do for his team there. It's really important, and this is exactly what they need this game. With the assist from Nitrix, I think this is a really good start that could maybe give them the momentum that they need here. Yeah, and obviously with 256 left, lots of time on the board, but it's looking pretty good right now. And if St. Clair can just, you know, line this one up, whether it's overtime, whether it's game win, they just need something right now to contest. Vesh looking off the backboard. What can he do? It's going to be saved up by Polar. Passes out to K-Frost. Challenge, though, and it's going to be beat. Polar in the backside, but he's going to have his boost stolen. Vesh, quick shot, saved out by Pyros. Two Saints up. I cannot let that go. That's probably going to be an overcommit. This should be a goal for, K for Nichols College, and it is going to turn into that, just as I said, that two-man commit there. It's going to leave Pyros completely free for the pass. Polar coming down, and Spoods just can't recover in time. Yeah, just barely missed that by a hair from Spoods. Knew the save was needed and coming, but just was not able to get there in time. With how fast Nichols College plays, it's tough to do anything about any choice that they make. So. Saints are, it is only down one point though. We do have two minutes and 20 seconds left in the game. So it could be very close, like this goal right here. But they are ready for it. They are calm, they are collected. They think this through. Nichols College is always ready. And it always seems like you were saying calm and collected, and I have to agree with you right now, Matt. As I, as you know, I just got to look. There's so many good saves coming out on the side of Nichols College, and the reason why is because they're not panicking. They're just sitting. They have the boost. They know they can make the play, and they're just sitting, letting the ball come to them, realizing, hey, how can we hit this in a better way than not? And uh, it seems like, you know, Nichols College, they just seem composed, yeah. And I think they're not letting anything get to them. They know they're in the driver's seat. They know they have to burn time. And if I'm Nichols College right now, I just keep on doing exactly what you've been doing this whole time. Wow. Again, calm, composed. K-Frost knows that this is going to be a pass. Polar, he knows he just has to make a play. And whether that's a bump, whether that's getting Spoods into an awkward position, whether that's just making a weird play on the back line, messing with Spoods' vision on that, what would have been a save. You know, it's just simple. They're under a game plan right now, and it's working like a dream. Minute and 32 left, and I must say, Nichols, it just seems like they're just dominating right now on the field. Again, you can't, you know, you got to give kudos to the Saints for competing right now, but right now it's looking a little bit ugly. As I will say, Nichols College, like I said before, you know, you have these three players in Pyros, Polar, and K-Frost. They are all very good. Some of them have a little bit of RLCS experience, which is the best experience you can ever get if you're coming into CRL. And, uh, you know, you just got to think, you know, what's it going to take for these Saints to get back in this series? What's it going to take indeed? It's going to take a whole lot. Polar here, bouncing it back, trying to get out of the corner here. But the Saints mounting a good offense. But all three of Nichols College there to send it right back to where it came from. And Pyros playing a very, seeing where that ball is coming. Sees an opening, goes for it. Doesn't quite get a solid hit, but he's ready for it. K-Frost there to tee it up for him. But there's Vesh to knock it right back. It's just so back and forth until Nichols finds the perfect opening and they know when to go in and swipe for it. A big save by Spoods. Polar's going for another goal right now. Gets sent right back. Oh boy, it's so back and forth. But the net is open now, right now for the Saints. But K-Frost, it will take it all the way back and gear up for another goal for themselves. They have a 4-0 lead with only, or a, a four, yeah, three point lead, only 30 seconds left on the clock. It is getting very dire for the Saints. And with 30 seconds left and a three goal lead, I think that's going to be it for this game right now. That should be the icing on the cake. And if I'm Nichols College right now, you're cruising. If I'm the Saints, really good save out there by Vesh. But, uh, you know, it just, it needs to, they need to find something to change up here. And if they can't, 
it's just not going to go the way of what, how the Saints want it to go. Obviously, Nicholas College doing a really good job of just shutting down the Saints offensively, making sure that they're calm on their own offense, calm on defense, stopping all the pressure coming in. And it is unfortunate, but Nichols College, they are a very good school, and the Saints are going to have to really dig deep here if they want to make an impact. Yeah, even if they don't win this, you just want to try and be the team that takes a game off of Nichols right, College. Right, right, of course, of course. ends the sweep streak. So I think they might have that in them here today. I believe in them to take a game off of them. Because they're if they keep playing at the rate that they've been playing, they're playing ever so slightly better every single game. So maybe this next game will be the one where they take that round off of them. And I just have to also say as well, right, like St. Clair... This could also just be a little bit of fatigue setting in, right? Exactly. Really hard road for the Saints, right? They come through, they get all their, their top bracket wins, they get knocked down by OSU, they then have to claw their way through the bottom bracket and then meet up with OSU again, beat them, then go for Nichols College where they know they have to then beat them in a in a bracket reset. Like, you know, it's it's hard. It's hard. And it's not it can be very draining on the mental. And I think it's just showing a little bit right now because I think that Nichols College is just, you know, they've had that break that St. Clair haven't been afforded to have. And I think it's just simply, you know, a little more of, okay, these guys are a little more calm. They've had the time to like, you know, stay composed. They've just been kind of thinking about, they've been watching, seeing what St. Clair's been oh, doing. Probably they've, probably been, they've probably been thinking about <laughs> how they can get the upper hand on them, right? Yeah. So. It is what it is, but that's the advantage of why you want to stay in that top bracket. Nichols College showing why they belong in that top bracket. St. Clair trying to dig one out here with four minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Very doable. Nichols College up one, obviously. That goal coming in from before. They take the opening lead, but Vesh looking to equalize right now. Same with Nitrix. What can he do? He's going to try to create the 50, and he does. It's going to get cleared out, though, by Nichols College. However, in a dangerous spot, Spoots faking the challenge, but Pyros doesn't care. He already has the 50. He's going to then leave it to Nitrix on the back wall. What can Nitrix find? Flip reset. He's going to use it. Can he find the double? No, not quite, as this one rattles out. Heartbreak on the side of the Saints there, as we really hoped that that one may have been the equalizing shot. Yeah, it's very, very tough, because Saints are playing very well, but just making tiny itty bitty mistakes in Nichols College are exploiting those tiny mistakes very very well they're trying to keep up the pressure here and trying to find a goal here goal here to even it up oh, it is a rough tough road that they have ahead of them here I agree honestly and we talk about the Saints little mistakes I think that it's also more of Nichols not making any mistakes at all really like Genuinely, this team is very good, they but as I say that, they <laughs> made talking. a mistake. Hey, Rick, I guess I should, I, should, <laughs> I should speak for the rest of the game because a mistake is made. That's with a little bit of a bump onto the defender there, and Nitrix is going to score that. This is winnable. Three minutes, 20 seconds, 1-1. One, one. Not all is lost. Do not lose hope. I think that's really important to say and keep in your mind that hope is so, so important in these games. Nitrix getting really, really aggressive. Polar trying to clear it there. Vesh is going to be there. You can see this team's trying to play aggressively, but I maybe it's fear in that Nichols is just, they just know. Like, it's, it's kind of scary playing against a team that is so good because you wonder really what you can do when you're just getting bumped around the field like Spoots there. That's so, so unfortunate. The bumps and the demos are huge for these two teams. And Nichols' aggression, I think, is, is really, really big. And that's what's affecting St. Clair the most right now. Yeah, they are playing very, very well. It is neck and neck here. 1-1, one, one, 2 minute 30 left on clock. We're halfway through this. And it's dead even. The Saints just want to try and finally get a goal lead on Nichols College. Because if they do that, I think they can play defensively and maybe take a game off of them here. It's getting very, very close. Polar going for a goal, but gets stopped out by Spoods. Spoods waiting, trying to find an opening with K-Frost there to shut him down there. It's getting knocked off the ceiling. It's going crazy up there in the corner. Up very, very high. It's being sent back and forth. A little ping pong movement here. It's passing it back and forth. And it is. There's the demo by Pyros. That could be disastrous for the Saints, but the Saints 
Vesh to send it way back. And Vesh is open there. Maybe gets an attempt on a goal, but there is Pyros there to shut it down. Gets his respawn there in time. K-Frost juggling it in the corner. Bring it around. Polar trying to stop Vesh's push there, and he does so successfully. There's Spoods. Able to take it there. They're making shots on the goals. It's getting a little dicey here. Nicholas College is gearing up for a big offense here. Send two players off. There's Vesh. Yep. Good clear. There's Pyrus getting a good demo off. And there, Saints managed to take it back. He's heading down to the wire here as we're closing in on a minute. Only a minute left. It is 1 1 here in game three. This is match point for Nichols College. St. Clair needs to find a goal soon if they want to stay in this and maybe take it to OT. Vesh with the delayed flick, and he's looking to do so right now. That's going to set up the shot for Spoods. Yo! It's going to roll in. Spoods making sure that he finds that bottom corner. Really amazing shot there from Spoods. You don't lose hope like Avery says. You need to stay with your mind in this game. Spoods is going to do just that. Our captain keeping the team alive for now. Minute left. How can St. Clair rebound? We're going to see the kickoff going the way of K, uh, of K Frost right now in Nichols College. Spoods on the sidewall. What can he do? He's going to be lacking a little bit. He's just going to be lurking in the defensive end. Vesh trying to find a challenge up top, and it's going to find it. Nitrix missing his challenge up top. That's not very good, but it is okay for now as it is taking a long time for Nichols College to advance the ball downfield. However, no longer. They try to get the 50. Vesh stalwart on the clear there, like a turtle with <laughs> the armor he's putting on right now. <laughs> K Frost with all that boost. What can he do? How can he clear this ball out right now? Nichols College have to send the full house. Vesh, this is a huge play off the backboard. Spoods doing an amazing job right there, finding one through a defender, but he has to get back. That's actually going to be a volatile pinch. That's what wow. happens when, when Nichols College sends the full house. St. Clair able to capitalize. And you know what? They are looking like they're going to take this first game off Nichols College. They get that at least done. And it also is the fueler for, look, if they need to reverse sweep, this was step one of three. <laughs> they are done step one, on to step two. It seems like right now they have Nichols College a little bit worried in their own back end. I'm sure Nichols College is very composed overall. But what I mean by that is just in the game. I'm sure they just have this, you know, they have it locked, they have it done, they have the win, they have it on the board. If you're St. Clair, go. how can you now build off of this? You have the momentum, you have the power dynamic shift. What can you do? Can you get this game too and keep it going? I mean, Saints are also the first team in this tournament to pick up a game on Nichols, which see I, I think it is huge, honestly, as they say, never back down, never what, <laughs> never give up. <laughs> honestly, I think that's just what the Saints need to do right now because that game can be exactly what they need to continue on, bring it to the next. Uh, the St. Clair Saints have shown that the Giants can bleed here. St. Clair College is playing very, very well. They might be able to take this. They ended Nichols College win streak here. The clean sweep is no longer an option. So Nichols College is going to be coming back with a vengeance to prove that they are the superior ones here. Five minutes for the rest of your tournament lives. What can you guys do now? Vesh finding the quick shot out, but it's going to be saved out by K-Frost. Nitrix with another shot, another save by K-Frost. K-Frost being that backline defender right now for Nichols College doing a really good job of staying composed. We've seen him throughout this entire game. If it's either a 50, a really good save, or just something to alleviate pressure, K-Frost has always been there for this team. And right now, Vesh trying to make him a little bit awkward as he tries to dribble down the field. Nitrix, what can he do? Nothing really much else as he tries to go for the air dribble, runs out of boost. Spoods off the sidewall, 59. He's trying to force a 50. He does, but K-Frost able to be the better of that one. Vesh trying to force another 50. Pyros chain dashing wow. off the wall. He's trying to get a a hit on the Nitrix. He's not going to find it all of a sudden, though. Shot coming out. Can it be read by Spoods? It can. And what I mean by that was the uh, the shooter actually was staying in the air. He was trying to dunk Spoods again, but Spoods able to place that ball well enough just so the def just so the attacker couldn't get another shot on it. Spoods off the sidewall one more time. Bumps coming out from Vesh here. Both teams looking pretty good right now. And I must say, St. Clair actually looking very, very good through uh, three minutes and uh, 40 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, it is... A very, very good game on our hands here. We thought maybe in the beginning when they won the first two games that Nichols College was going to continue their sweep with St. Clair, giving them a good run for their money. And maybe, depending on how this game goes, taking it back with a reverse sweep. 
Vesh with a quick shot. It's going to be saved out, though. Spoods on the demo. He's going to get demoed. He needs to try to alleviate some of this pressure coming back. Him and Vesh going to do just that. Nitrix, big booming clear, and you need that, young man. You need to set up your team right now. Vesh trying to come off the wall, but he only has zero boost. Avery, what are your thoughts so far on what we're seeing this game? I think the Saints are looking a lot better than they did comparing them to the first couple of games. I think that's really, really important. I hope that they found the momentum that they needed and it's not too late for them. This game is really, really important because if they lose it, they're done. Um, Nichols is very, very good, but Saints are putting up a big, big fight. That last game, they really showed that they're starting to lock in a little more, which is very important. Wow. Oh Nitrix with a beautiful flip reset. Absolutely amazing. Look, everybody's like, wow, Nitrix, good job. Everybody's yeah, so are. proud of him. This team is just really showing just greatness, honestly. Gracefulness, yeah, greatness, all of it. Yeah, there they are getting the first lead against Nichols College here. I think this is the first time this has happened for the Saints here today. So that is a very, very good start here. And Bash already going for a little bit of a goal there, but not going to find it, but that's all right. Just make sure not to overextend here, because that seems to be their problem. Right now, I must say, Saints looking really, really good. Almost kind of reversing the first two games that we saw. Looking like the script has been completely flipped here just for now. However, 2.10 left and there's a lot of time. Huge plays coming out from Nitrix. He's been kind of the one putting on the offense, on the shots, actually. And we need to see more of that from him. Vesh on the wall. Oh, sorry. Vesh on the wall, but he's going to try to set up Nitrix on the double, but the double's not going to get read out. Polar off the clear. What can he do? He's going to try to find a bump down low when they get the shot lined up, but it's going to take too long. Shooter not online, and it seems like right now St. Clair able to alleviate some of this pressure. Shot maybe coming out, but it's just wide. No boost, and that is going to be wide. Getting down to the wire here. Nichols College needs to find a goal, and they find it just as I say it, and bring it to 1 1 at 135. Polar coming off the sidewall. He's going to elect to use his flip to just build that distance. It's just Spoods and K Frost. Spoods thinking that K Frost is going to shoot that ball to the right. K Frost shoots it to the left instead, but you have to give Spoods the effort for at least getting up there and challenging really hard as the shooter can decide all what he wants to put, and the defender just has to take a guess. Guess not right on some from Spoods that time, but it's unfortunate. However, this game is tied up now, so we have to see what's going to wow. happen and how the Saints are going to respond, and we're going to learn exactly what's how they're going to respond right there. Vesh being set up. Nitrix with the pre-jump he or pre-flip. He knows where the pass is going. Vesh, he knows exactly where this ball is. He knows where he wants to put it. Defense in shambles. St. Clair 2-1, minute 22 left in the game. They might actually take another game off of Nichols College if they keep this up. They keep They're in it to play, man. Yeah. Do they not just... caster's curse, guys. Yep. I swear. No <laughs> more. No more caster's curses. But no, I agree. Saints are looking a lot better this game. 2-1. A minute left. All they really need to do is play a really good defense. If they want to get another goal, that would be good to just get them that cushioning that they need. But as of right now, they it's just about stopping Nichols College in their tracks and trying to end this momentum that they have because they have absolutely been tearing through this tournament and running into St. Clair, losing a game to them. Maybe they can get in their heads a little. Yeah, if they get in their heads, they can maybe even win this. It seems like that one ending that streak may have taken the wind out from Nichols College's sails because look at these goals, look at these shots. 30 seconds left on the clock and it's looking ever so more in St. Clair's favor with a huge goal from Nitrix. Look at that. Passing back and forth off the wall and Nitrix sinks it in from the corner. Great shot and St. Clair has secured a two lead with only 30 seconds left. Ever since being knocked into the lower bracket, Nitrix has just unlocked his true potential, honestly. <laughs> he's looking like a completely revamped player like he as he was before. He's finding shots now, finding demos in the back line. He's creating a lot of plays. This is exactly what St. Clair need out of him, and he is delivering right now, to say the least. St. Clair with 10 seconds left. Going to be a quick shot Ooh. sent out by Pyros, and now it is in reach. 3-2 with 8 seconds. If you're St. Clair, Kickoff strats got to come out. And same with Nichols College. You need to ground this if you're St. Clair. And Nichols College needs to find this last goal. Wonder how they're going to get it done with eight seconds left. Let's see how this works out. Seems like Spoods is going to be on the kickoff. No, it's going to be Vesha. Spoods goes back. Nitrous sheets up. That's going to be a lot of time burnt off. However, 
Nichols, they have the boost, they have the solo play to make it happen now. Ball in the air, it's, it needs to be killed now from the Saints. I don't know if it's gonna happen. It's a high arcing ball, but there's no shooter on the side of Nichols. Wow. They faked the pit. And they had a, wow, that was actually really <laughs> ballsy, but really smart from the side of St. Clair. Spoods electing to actually fake the clear on that little touch, and he's actually gonna let a Nichols uh, attacker almost get a shot off on it. However, the Nichols attacker is always expecting that Spoods is obviously gonna try to put it past him. Likes not to do so. Ball gets grounded, misdirection play, and that puts the Saints up on a 2-2 tie series now. Step two done. How are they gonna get step three done? Yeah, way to go from St. Clair College, bringing us to a game five scenario from what was looking to be another 3-0 sweep. Not just taking one game from Nichols College, but taking another additional game. And they're looking to make it a third as we get into the next game here very soon. <sighs> what do you guys think? That was a lot. I mean, I think... Like Patrick said, even if they pick up one game against this team, it'll be really good for them. But they have picked up two. And I feel like everybody's kind of starting to realize that maybe this is a lot more winnable than everybody thought it would be. Like we say, root for the underdogs. And St. Clair is the underdog in this situation only because Nichols has just been so like powerful throughout this whole tournament. And I, I don't know, I'm just very, I'm very excited. I think this game is a lot more exciting now that Saints have shown us exactly what they can do. Polo's definitely gonna be wanting that shot back a couple seconds ago. You saw he just put it low and to the left. Man, that really could have opened up the scoring. Let's see if they pay for it. Spoods off the sidewall, has the flip, he has the dribble, he's past the defenders. Lofting shot, can someone from St. Clair be there to clean it up? Nitrix does just that! Team play from the Saints! They open up the scoring, and they are the ones in the driver's seats. Yeah, they are leading the charge here. Look at that. All three of them needed for that little goal there. It was a great thing indeed. Kickoff going on the way of the Saints right now. And just a reminder for all of you, if we do win this game, again, long way to go. It is going to force the bracket reset. However, good confidence from the Saints right now to keep it going. They open up the scoring. Nevertheless, of course, that's what we want. We want that bracket reset. We want another series. Nitrix trying to clear the ball up front. He's going to do just that. He's going to try to find the, beat the man in the corner, but it's not going to work out. Spoods able to get the challenge off. Vesh getting demoed in the back line. That's actually massive, but K-Frost has no boost. Uses the flip to get over one. 50 is the second one. K-Frost, are you kidding me? That was absolutely insane, but Vesh is going to get the save forced out. K-Frost on zero boost. He has to rotate now. Nitrix, can you beat Pyros? No, it's going to be a pass back out to Polar. Spoods on the back wall. He's going to have to clear out. K-Frost on the pass. There's the shot. Vesh with an amazing save, keeping things 1-0 up for the Saints. Demo coming out from K-Frost. The offense is moving. The defense needs to rally. It seems like Nitrix is going to try to do just that. Passes on the oh. edge, though, and eventually it's going to come through. Pyros on the pass. Polar with the shot. You know when they keep on adding pressure on like this, demos were coming out. I know Vesh was the victim of one, and when he's coming back, it's just tough to get a save out on that ball. Yeah, Nichols College finally got a goal after a, a few minutes in. Ooh, it is heating up here. They are giving it their all. They don't want to lose this. They haven't lost a single series here yet today. They don't want to have the bracket reset. They're going to have to earn these points. Two hard-fought points once again with how the Saints are doing. It could be anyone's game here today. We've got three minutes left on the clock. Both teams playing very amazingly, giving it their all. There's Nitrix with the demo. Polar passing it down lane there. There's Spoons, though, to meet him there. K-Frost going to keep the pressure on. All three of Nichols College are pushed up here. They really need to find something here. Vesh sees the goal is open, goes for it, bounces off the backboard, but there's Polar there to send it down lane. K-Frost boosting around. Wow, good shot by Nitrix, but good block by Pyros. And there's the open goal, but there's Spoon's amazing save. Things are very, they're heating up very quickly here. It's a very back and forth game. Pyros with a quick challenge in the corner, and I must say, Avery, what are your thoughts so far? Tie game, 225 left. What are your thoughts going into it? I mean, I I hate to say it, but it's, it's a little discouraging to look at the bracket. You know, obviously before this series, it was very discouraging, especially as the side of Saints Green. It's, it's scary going against a team like this. And I think the first game or two kind of showed maybe those nerves that the Saints had going into this or any stress levels or it's exhausting having to play so, so much, you know. Um, but I think that 
they've woken up a little bit and they've really shown us how good they can play against this team. Like you said, a couple of these players have been in RLCS, I believe. They played in RLCS, which is huge and giving them such a big advantage. So I think major kudos to St. Clair for being able to play so well against a team like this. Indeed, they are giving it their all and they are, it's paying dividends for them. There they are. Spood's going to carry it into the corner there. Spood's Nitrix going to carry it way down lane. Pyros misses the, the slam there, but it's in the corner there. Polar's going to send it down the field there, but Spoods is able to save it. Upper They're bounce. gearing up for a big attack there. It's in the net, but it just gets fished out of there by Vesh there. <laughs> Crazy play. Things are getting very, very close. A little too close for comfort for St. Clair there. And that one might have been the nail in the coffin, bouncing so long, and it finally gets cleared out here. Saints fighting to keep themselves alive. Vesh trying to make a play on the sidewall. Spoods now, he beats a man out. He's going to beat the second defender, but Pyro's there to cover for his team. However, his team is in a very awkward spot. However, K-Frost down to Polar. He's setting up Pyro's for the shot. Pyro's on no boost. He's gonna fake the aerial though, and he's gonna go for the low challenge, stealing the boost in the, in the center. Oh my God, Vesh, what an incredible save to keep yourselves in it. He had to make an absolute insane read on that ball, and he does. Keeping St. Clair in it for now, 26 seconds. Can you bring it to overtime? Can you finish it off? Vesh, he's going to get oh, beat no. off the ceiling. You hate to see it, but eventually pressure makes diamonds and Nichols might have just found theirs with 21 seconds. You see Polar, he's already pre-flipped. He thinks that Vesh is going to do exactly what he did in trying to ground the ball. 21 seconds left though. This game is not over. St. Clair, you need to find a goal to keep yourselves in it. Vesh trying to go for the solo play, hit out by K Frost. He's going to have the flip, but it's going to be beat. Polar, he needs to waste time on this wall if he wants to get into CRL right now. Spoots with a huge demo though. It seems like they need to craft an offense and they need to do it now. Nitrix with a huge play. It seems like there's a shot. Where's the, where's the shooter? It's not gonna happen. They need to get it and they have no boost. It's grounded. The Saints able to craft an opportunity out of it. They fought so long, they fought so hard for this. But it just seems like Nichols College, with a little less fatigue and a little more, you know, time on their side, obviously, <laughs> with that second goal, they find it. They will be in the CRL. I didn't. I'm going to have to be honest here. I did not expect the Saints to get so, so close to the bracket reset there. It was very, very well fought there. They played amazingly. It was a down to the wire there, too, in the last game. Absolutely. It's just a shame that they couldn't do it, but they played hard. They had such a good run through loser's bracket, and they had a good run in the winner's bracket as well, bringing it to grand finals. Do you have any thoughts? I mean, I think it was really exciting, honestly. Although they didn't make it to the bracket reset, they still picked up two games, which is huge. And that's two games more than anybody else in this tournament has picked up on this team. And I think that's a really, really big win for them. You saw it in their faces. They weren't too, too upset about it. I think they should really be proud of how they played today because it was very, very impressive. And I think they all did a really, really good job. Yeah, uh, that was just well played overall. We can review the bracket if we'd like as well. See the path that we took all nearly to victory here today. And that. I think, you know, you really got to give the Saints, absolutely, they fought their heart out. 3-2 victory on the way of Nichols College. Saints almost, they were even in the driver's seat for that fifth game as well for the first little while of it. And I think it really speaks volumes because Nichols College is a school that honestly a lot of people thought coming into it in the CRL 1 qualifier, really thought they were honestly going to be able to make it. Kind of more of an upset, really, that they got thrown down into this tournament. Just so happens we got put in the same pool against them, but we at least did our best did our damnness to make it work. 3-2 to Nichols College, GG's. And uh, I mean, there's nothing really more to say. Saints showing out really well. Spoods, you know, time and time again. Oh my God, that the defense from Spoods was absolutely amazing. Keeping the Saints in it time and time again when we really thought there was no hope left. You know, uh, Vesh finding some of the most insane goals when we needed him to. That really big uh, striker for our team. And Nitrix, you know, a lot of people, you know, 
were looking at this team and they were looking at, you know, the sub and it was like, oh, well, was it going to work? Turns out, yeah, you know what? It did. He did very well, especially after they got knocked down in the lower bracket. He really unlocked, right? He was kind of that big backline uh, guy getting the demos. And then, you know what? After getting knocked down in the lower bracket, he started finding passes. He started finding, you know, goals, you know, he started shooting really well. And I honestly think that, uh, you know, for, for a team to basically be knocked out of the uh, qualifier one and then coming into the qualifier two. They really impressed me. I think they did the best they could for sure. And uh, yeah, I'm very proud of the Saints right now. I agree Definitely. for sure. Do you have any more closing thoughts anybody before I close it out? Uh, I mean, I do know that uh, tomorrow we are casting Valorant. Uh, mm -hmm. You more on that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm the Valorant guy. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll well, claim to be that. But uh yeah, it should be a, a good time tomorrow for Valorant. But before we close out, I want to give a big thanks to Avery and Patrick for uh, joining me here on the broadcast today. And thank you to everybody in the back as well. Daniil, TJ, Amanda, holding it all down, making this whole thing run. And thank you to the viewers at home for joining us here today and for this amazing CRL qualifiers in, a walk, in Rocket League. Almost had it perfect. But anyways... Goodbye. We'll see you here again tomorrow. Thank you very much.